Yes, inshallah, we are online, Brown Bay. <clears throat> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, everyone. Welcome to this uh, stream. I'm sure you're going to enjoy this, inshallah. We have with us brothers Imtiaz and brother Adnan Rashid. Mashallah, we're blessed with their presence today. May Allah make, uh, give everything they do a barakah, inshallah. The topic is something that's very important and something that, particularly in our discussions with the Ahmadiyya community, is something that uh, often comes up and is often brought forward as a main thing to discuss. And so in meeting this challenge that the Ahmadi often put forward, we, this is uh, one reason for having the stream. And the topic today is specifically the position of the Ahmadiyya community on the death of Isa alayhi salam. Um, so um, without further ado, I'm going to hand over to Brother Adnan Rashid to give us a brief introduction and then we'll commence from there, inshallah. Salam Thank you brothers. so much, Brother Imran. Thank you so much, Brother Imtiaz. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah amma ba'd. A'udhu billahi samir alim min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Ma kana muhammadun aba ahadim min rijalikum Walakin rasulullah wa khatum al-nabiyyin Wa qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam La nabiyya ba'di, la nabiyya ba'di, la nabiyya ba'di Respected brothers and sisters, dear Ahmadi friends This stream is dedicated to you this is for you. The Ahmadi missionaries for the last two to, two to three months, we have been engaging with them. They have been saying that we, the Muslims, are running away from their favorite topic, which is the death of Isa alayhi salam. Okay. And now that we are addressing the topic, they seem to be running uh, away from it. We were waiting for us to finish with other topics that we have already, alhamdulillah. Now, we are addressing the favorite topic of the Qadiani missionaries, the favorite topic. They have been, you know, running marathons on Twitter. They have been challenging us on YouTube streams that why don't you discuss Akida? Why don't you discuss uh, the death of Isa alayhi salam, which is the most important point between us, although it is not. By the way, it is not the most important topic between the Muslims and the Qadianis. The most important issue between the Muslims and the Qadianis is the fact that Mirza claimed to be a prophet. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani claimed to be a prophet. That is the real problem. The problem is not these side things Mirza claimed and you have made them to be a problem between us. No, there is no discussion in the house of Islam among Muslims on the death of Isa alayhi salam because we believe he hasn't died. There is no discussion on the finality of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. There is no prophet coming after him. Okay, so there are no conversations on this. this there's no debate. Qadiani missionaries, to distract the masses, to distract their own audience, they deliberately throw these spanners in the works to, to basically take away attention from the main issue, which is Mirza. Mirza's character, Mirza's person, Mirza, Mirza's claims, Mirza's lies. But now that we can see that they are so keen in discussing this topic, we want to discuss it now, openly, publicly. So we invite our Qadiani missionary uh, interlocutors to join the stream and defend their position, their aqidah, their beliefs. This is their belief, right? Whatever Mirza wrote about the alleged death of Isa is their belief. They have to believe in it because Mirza is a prophet to them. And whatever Mirza wrote with regards to the alleged death of Isa is his belief. So we are addressing specific points. We like to have pointed conversations, pointed discussions. And we would we will request from the Qadiani missionaries who are joining us to save our time, stick to those points. Stick to the points that we discuss in these the, in this stream tonight. Imtaz Bhai has all the points that we will discuss. Stick to those points. Do not distract. Do not digress. Do not change the topic. Do not start discussing apples when we when we want to talk about pears. So listen to the points very carefully and address those points directly without changing the topic. So those points, th those five points that were extensively discussed in the last stream are still going to be discussed in this stream because this is a very important topic to you. This is your, this is your favorite topic. And here we are discussing it. Here we are discussing it head on, right now, right here, tonight, inshallah. So I'm going to go over to Imtaz Bhai before I do that. I want to highlight again 
This is an exercise of love, compassion, and mercy. We have no hatred. We have no feeling of, uh, you know, uh, uh, we we don't want to we don't want to hurt anyone's feeling. Okay, we want to simply present the truth to save our lost Ahmadi brothers and sisters in humanity from hellfire. We want to save them, right? This is all it's about. It's our love and compassion. So please, please, those who are watching right now, take this conversation in that spirit. This is what we want to do. This is what we intend. Over to you, Mtaz Bhai. Allah bless you. Go ahead, inshallah. I may drop out for some time and then I'll come back into the stream, inshallah, join you guys. But continue. Over to you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Imran Bhai, uh, um, you want to say something? Uh, please, brother, continue, inshallah. Uh, okay. Brother Nan has done the introduction nicely, mashallah, for us. Alhamdulillah. So, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillahi wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillahi amma ba'd. First of all, again, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, everyone. And uh, as brother Imran, brother Adnan have already uh, introduced, it is same uh, title the same subject the same theme alhamdulillah we are discussing uh since our last stream and that is ahmadiyya position ahmadiyya belief with regard to death of isa salam, and inshallah then we'll move on to the second coming part as well let's see if we can do it today or maybe inshallah in the future because we have no rush because we do not have any intention of point scoring or winning the argument Inshallah, with Allah's tawfiq, with Allah's permission, we are doing something very little for our akhirah, and that is to help people to see the truth. And Alhamdulillah, we fully know that if we are deliberately putting some wrong information or by any way, shape or form, trying to mislead people, we will be held accountable on the day of judgment before anybody else. So Alhamdulillah, we are aware of this responsibility. So we do not have Alhamdulillah any such intention. That's why we have no rush. We are not here to win the argument. We are here to let both sides, our Muslim side and the Ahmadiyya Jamaat to inshallah see the truth. That's our intention. Now, Obviously, uh, we, we don't want to just have it like a one-way traffic. Inshallah, uh, we will share the link uh, now. Inshallah, Brother Imran will share the link. And uh, we'll request our Ahmadiyya friends to join the stream. So, Inshallah, we can have a fruitful discussion as we did last time with respect and in the world of non by with compassion. So, Imran, Inshallah, if you can uh, share the link uh, so people can join. And obviously... Uh, we, we want Ahmadiyya clergy to join so they can, inshallah, present their position. <clears throat> Alhamdulillah, so the link is shared uh, in the chat, inshallah. Brother Nan Rashid has shared as well, I've shared, and also uh, the channel has shared as well, inshallah. So please uh, uh, make yourself uh, avail uh, the, the stream with that link, inshallah. And I just want to re-emphasize that this is really a, 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 an exercise in trying to find the truth which means we're trying to clarify things and we're really looking for responses to the questions that are going to be raised to, in, in, in the, the, that procedure. So what would be really useful, Brother Imtiaz, if, you're, uh, if you can hear me, is that um, if you can just recap maybe some of those, you mentioned five points, just in a, just in a brief way so that the people who are actually uh, 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 listening, that there may be people who, who didn't see all of the last stream or didn't attend the stream, they will know which points specifically that we're mentioning. And then we, we can talk about them maybe one at a time or uh, according to whoever wants to interlock, inshallah. Ajim Ran Bhai, Jazakallah Khair, that's definitely very important. Thanks for reminding me. So like I'm saying it repeatedly, that this discussion is with the Ahmadiyya Jamaat. And Ahmadiyya Jamaat has a very specific position with regard to death and second coming as well. Now, with regard to the death of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, I said last time that there are many small things as well. We're just trying to stick with the main points. And the main points are as follows. Number one, that Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam was put on the cross, even though before that, he was arrested, etc. I just skip all of that part. So he was put on the cross. 
and he was there on the cross for a few hours off but in that being on the cross he did not die he fainted he got injured then he was now this next point is when he was taken down his body was taken down as the christian passion narrative in the gospel it was taken to the tomb for those two or they claim to be the three days as the the sign of jonah but regardless so the body was there in the tomb and then for 40 days as we understand the concept of pentecost so for the 40 days which is again a christian understanding he was being done the treatment through some ointment so he can be healed from the injuries of cross so it, his body this is the second main point his body is being taken down putting in the tomb for two or three days then for 40 days being given that treatment through that marham isa ointment of isa and once he is healed point number 3 comes in that he migrated to kashmir and after being to kashmir then the next point comes that point number 4 that he stayed alive in kashmir either up till the age of 120 or 125 they have both narrations in their books and then point number 5 that he died there in kashmir shrinagar mahalla khaniyar and there's a specific again specific grave there is called the grave of yus asif so this grave is the grave of or the tomb of or the shrine of isa alaihi salam so again skipping many small details these are the five main points which make up the ahmadiyya narrative and we are saying it again and again we requesting them to defend their narrative not anything else we are not discussing with the with the zahiris to discuss about ibn hazm no we are discussing with ahmadis now in the previous live stream imran bhai we were only able to discuss first point so and with regard to first point as razi is in the back stage and he will definitely acknowledge that that he openly admitted that this position with regard to first point the isa alaihi salam was put on the cross he was there for few hours he fainted injured but he survived he said it is not the position of any mufassir we are not going beyond what happened after the cross what happened etc now we are just with the first point with regard to the cross he admitted that it was not mentioned by any mufassir he acknowledged that alhamdulillah and I appreciate that he was very straightforward to acknowledge that. So I really appreciate his honesty on this point. And obviously, he's a good man. I'm just saying it. So now, <clears throat> let's see that if they have to. Obviously, we want to move on, Imran Bhai, because there are other four points. And to be honest, I mainly want to go to the fifth point. But obviously, we'll give them the chance to discuss second, third, and fourth as why, well, because fifth point is very important. Inshallah, we'll quote the uh, Mirza's writings. that this is the specific miracle this grave part in kashmir there is that specific bhari mojza heavy miracle of mirza gulam is to disclose these details then inshallah there are many other things which will be coming into the discussion once we start the discussion so over to imran bhai <clears throat> okay jazak khair for that summary so that's really interesting actually to hear all these points laid out um It's very interesting to see the narrative that the Ahmadiyya uh, are bound to, really, um, and we'd like to see sort of some of the evidence for this. The last stream was seven hours, if I remember, brother. Is that right? And we covered one of the points in the seven hours. Is that? And in the, in the end, it was that this is not a position of any mufassir. Alhamdulillah. Okay. So that was really interesting. So we obviously in in the in the spirit of trying to get through the information. um we're going to try to sort of clarify things and underline things as we go and if if there are points where i think that the conversation is going off um then i i may bring the person back and obviously this will be timed uh brother uh, mtr's 2 minutes is sufficient for responses initially is that do you think that's sufficient i would say imran by that uh, inshallah once uh, any of the first uh, ahmadiyya cleric they join inshallah we can see that but i would highly recommend to fix a time and i think 2 minute is a sufficient time to make up but obviously in case if somebody is making a point they need to ask the second or come shall we give them and yes. inshallah imran bhai once the first person comes whoever is up to them that whoever wants to come in 
we can basically give them this uh, option. But uh, my request, Imran Bhai, inshallah, once the first person comes and we are going to start the discussion, I have few important questions which I will request them to answer. So inshallah, once I ask those questions, it will give the viewers very, uh, a lot of clarity that why I'm asking those questions. Because without answering, being answering those questions, we can understand each other's position. Okay, alhamdulillah. So that's really useful. So of the five points that you mentioned, so being put on the cross, um, being taken down and healed for 40 days, um, being uh, uh, then take, being taken to Kashmir and then staying alive until 125. And the fifth one was um, actually being in a specific grave, this heavy miracle that you mentioned. Which of one of those would you like to start uh, to, to ask the brothers to discuss today? Is it uh, is going to be point just... two? I might just in case if they want to add something to the first point, if they want to present the evidence, because we need to see the evidence on this point. The Isa alayhi salam was put on the cross. He was injured. He fainted, but he did not die. So if there's any specific uh, evidence they want to share, inshallah, we're happy to engage with that. And if not, then there's no point to again go into circles. Then shall we can move on to the next point. Okay, alhamdulillah, jazakallah khair for that. So let's, uh, I think we have Brother Rosie in the background, I can see him. So uh, I'm just going to bring you on, Brother, inshallah. Welcome to the stream. Jazakumullah, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Is my voice clear? Yes, we can yes, hear you. So, first of all, Razi, welcome to the stream, brother. Allah. And uh, like I said, Razi, before that, uh, uh, inshallah, we will begin the discussion. Uh, I want to ask a few questions, Razi. Is it okay? Yes, yeah, sure. I have some questions as well. So that's fine. Allow that's fine. After you, okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So, basically, Razi, these questions are uh, there to understand your narrative, okay? So, Razi, my first question is, is Jesus of the Gospels and Isa alayhi salam of the Quran, are they one and the same individual or are they different? Can I answer now or do you want to ask everything and then I answer? No, no, that's it. It's a, it's okay. a one by one shot. Oh, one by okay, one. okay. So, basically, Hazrat Isa Islam of the Gospels, when you say Gospels, you obviously do not mean Injil that's mentioned in the Quran. You mean the Bible we have today, right? Yeah. So, the representation given of Hazrat Isa Islam in the Bible, there are many attrib uh, uh, things attributed that Isa Islam was like this. He was like this. We don't believe that's Ashi Isa Islam of the Quran. However, we do not deny everything. For example, the prophecies of the spirit of truth in John, we believe that is from Hazrat Isa and prophesied Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. For example, I'll give you one example to explain. One miracle mentioned in the Bible of Hazrat Isa is that his first miracle was turning water into wine. Right? Now, was that actually Hazrat Isa miracle? I don't believe so. Ibn Taymiyyah al-Jawab al-Sahih also mentions that Isa al-Islam turned water into wine. Is that actually his own view? No, he's responding to the Christians. So there are things in the Bible which obviously there's tahrif. However, do the Christ, the verses of, for example, Nabi says uh, coming, that is obviously Hazrat Isa al-Islam's own prophecy. And Hazrat Ahmad al himself explains that I prove from the Bible, our founder explains that I prove from the Bible that this Messiah they have made in their own book cannot be the true Isa. Now the Christians are left with two options. Either they have to accept that Isa lesson was all this that's mentioned in the Bible. If they accept that, he, it's proven that he is not God. Second option is they have to deny the Bible altogether because such a person cannot be God. And that's the Ilzami Jawab technique many Muslim ulama used. Okay, uh, Razi, uh, thank you very much, Razi. Imran, you can start on my time as well. Okay, inshallah. Okay, Bismillah rahman rahim So, uh, Razi, uh, basically, you said that uh, I believe, and you can, inshallah, give me response in your turn, 
So your was your answer yes or no? So my question was that is the the Isa Ali Salam of Quran and the Jesus of the Gospel are they one and the same? So please uh, clarify for me because I did not understand was it yes or no. Number one, you can note down, brother. Second point is if you're saying that it depends that which event so there's a criteria to decide that when it is the same when it is not the same so please tell me their criteria in your turn that on which criteria we are going to determine that when is it exactly the same and when is it not and last point brother uh, is that i want to uh, mention one example okay maybe i don't want to mention i first want to hear from you shall i'm done i'm done brother Inshallah, just to clarify that. So, in the in the response that you gave, you you mentioned there are some things you take and there are some things that you reject. Uh, so, is the answer uh, a complete no or a complete yes? It doesn't seem that to be the case. And if there is a differentiation, what criteria are you using to sort of work out which to accept and which to reject? Is that yes. is that sufficient of your uh, your question, brother? Yes, brother. Okay, exactly. So let me just uh, I'll, I'll reset the time. Uh, yes, brother Rati, and please give us your thoughts. Okay. Yes. So basically, I think my answer was quite clear. But if Muhammad Imtiazbe can answer the same question for us, that is the are the prophecies of the Bible where Isa Lassam is speaking of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, are those actually the Messiah mentioned in the Quran or are they not? Or Deuteronomy, the prophecy Musa Lassam made of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is that about is that actually has it Musa Lassam's prophecy or is it someone else altogether? Maybe Brother Imtiaz can give his view first. And the criteria that we have basically set is that you know, whatever the Quran affirms, we accept. Okay, and this is why I want to bring back to point one because we went back and did research and we realized that some of the things maybe Imtiaz can clarify, we don't say. You know, it's not right to say he lied or anything like that because it could be we misunderstood him or he wasn't able to phrase himself. So that's why we want to clarify point one, which I think should be the discussion because that's what we came here to discuss. And I think that's what people want to hear as well. As for our view on Isa, some of the Bible verse, the Quran, we can have a separate stream on this in detail. You can uh, stop my time. Zakula. Okay, brother, um, okay. brother yep. Yos. So yep. it's in, so the question's returned, and I think the the <laughs> uh, this is interesting because it's uh, and and the and the point is there are some prophecies that you would accept. Uh, so how are you differentiating? So it's not really I don't know if that was an answer or not, but actually this is the the question's coming back to you. So what are your what are your thoughts, brother Mtiaz, on this? So Bismillah Rahman Rahim. So Razi asked me the question to give him or tell the audience what is our criterion to decide. So our criterion is that Quran is the muhaymin. So whatever Quran confirms, we confirm. Whatever Quran rejects, we reject. So Quran is our criterion, brother, number one. Number two, uh, you asked, uh, you, you said in your turn that you really came here to discuss about the first point. And uh, we can have this separate stream for this question that is Isa of the Quran, same as Jesus of the Bible. Razi, here's the reason why I'm asking this question. Because if you need, inshallah, I can give you the, the, the reference as well. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure you know already. There are two pieces of evidence Mirza Ghulam has used to establish his narrative. One is the gospel narrative, number one. And number two, his special revelation. So these are two primary things which he has put forward. Now, obviously, when he's quoting the gospel narrative, we need to know that is he acknowledging that Isa alayhi salam and the gospels Jesus, are they same? Now, you said that your criterion is Quran as well. So let me ask you a question. Uh, do you accept this position that Sayyada, Sayyada Maryam Salamun Alayha, when she was pregnant with Allah's power, miraculously, she was given in the nikah, in the marriage with Yusuf the, carpent, with, with Yusuf the carpenter. 
do you i just gave you this as one yeah. example that yeah. i want to hear from you on this example yes so now we're going off topic with so, all so just, due respect just before you, just before yeah. you start brother uh, Rez, let me just uh, so it's it's very interesting because in the beginning when i was hearing the points that uh, uh, brother M. charles was mentioning um particularly the first part of it um the first two points i, I was really thinking of this is what the gospels say and it, that's what came to my mind immediately, sort of having discussions with Christians over many years and even reading that, you know, there's a book called The um, uh, the Crucifixion uh, or the uh, what's it called? I think it's called The Crucifixion. Um, and it's a PhD thesis and it gives the thesis of the healing. I don't know if you've read this. It's quite a, by Kalga. It's written about maybe 20 years ago. Interesting uh uh, very, very strange reading, but interesting reading. And so I was really thinking of this. So what one? So the thing that was in common with both of your answers is you both said, you know, we put the Quran first. Alhamdulillah, this is what we expect uh, to happen. But then what Brother Imtiaz is uh, clarifying is actually, um, yes, we agree with this point. But actually, the, the what Glamour is Ahmed, as far as we can establish, there are two main ways he evidenced his position is by the narrative within the gospel specifically and then a, a specific miracle. Um, so in, in response to that, you, you, the question then you were given was, one of the Bible narratives is that uh, Maryam al -Islam was married to Joseph, Yusuf. Now, if that's the case, do you accept that? Or Because it's mentioned within the Gospels, she was engaged to him or, or, or married, however you want to think about it. Do you believe this to be the case? And if not, why not? Yes, so this is the thing that our topic, we should stick to the crucifixion, right? But just because... Quran doesn't mention something, it doesn't mean it didn't happen. This is a normal usul everyone accepts. Quran never denied it. So for you to claim that because it's not mentioned in the Quran that a nikah took place, you cannot, we've never claimed that the birth was because of that marriage. Let me make that clear. We accept the virgin birth, right? We do not deny that. So anyhow, if Imtiasib allows, oh, my time actually didn't start. Um, you can take so I just, off I just want to clarify before you carry on. So you, what you seem to be saying is that you do believe that she was married to Joseph. It's not the topic of today, but the reason, if I tell you, you why, want I to know my view, yes, we accept it. it. If you want the to reason, know my view. The reason why is, what's trying to, what we're trying to clarify here is the extent to which the gospel narratives are taken by the Ahmadi. And this is what's, uh, that's the question in hand. And because this is one of the bases, the foundations that Ghulam Reza Ahmed uses to establish his position um so the this and this is part of the the, the story of jesus uh, uh, -Islam in the quran in in the gospels so we need to clarify if you accept this so, so yes. you seem to be saying that you do believe yeah that, and it um, doesn't contradict the quran that's what i'm claiming but that's an argument you understand an argument from silence yes so this is the point that i made in the start that just because something isn't mentioned in the quran you cannot take the opposite view but i would like to hit on point number one because things were mentioned and i'll start my time now uh one minute 46 left anyhow imtiaz claimed last time that where allah the almighty says imran bhai, uh, imran bhai yes, uh, sir, i think sir. uh we need to go in a logical sequence because yes. i have mentioned my reason for this very clearly because if Ahmadiyya position is that Jesus of the gospel and Isa of the Quran are same then it has implications inshallah and I will when we start discussion inshallah I will prove that point number one number two Razi said that it is Quran is silent and it is not important I want Razi to understand this and I want the viewers to understand I this point. I didn't say Quran well. isn't important. So what did you say? Why would I say Quran isn't important? Brother? No, no, no. You, say, you said that you, you said that this point that was uh, Yusuf and uh, Maryam, were they married or not? This point is important or not, right? No, I said to today's discussion of it whether is, he was on it the cross or not. This okay, is so we, not so, Yeah, okay. so I understand. Yeah. So we did clarify the reasons why it is important because we're trying to establish so the extent I want to, to discuss this point of number one. If Brother Muhammad Imtiasib does not want to discuss that, then maybe you can take another guest if you want. But I came here to discuss point one and the points you mentioned last stream because when we check the facts and what you were quoting it was the opposite so we want to start discussing that because for example you claim that this 
concept uh, uh, of Razi, one second. If you just allow me to finish one, one, one second, second, because what you're doing is you're you're taking the conversation to another place. I'm taking it uh, to what it was advertised. I understand. That we I understand what you're saying. This, but we've started so that's this. That's why I want this, to discuss. We've started this. this particular stream with this particular question for a particular reason, and I gave my answer. But, but you're this is what's being discussed. So it's not sufficient just to say I'm going to say something and we're going to leave it. Expect us to sort of push back a little bit and ask. So this for isn't the topic then. The crucifixion. So the topic is actually uh, how the Ahmadiyya arrive at their position, and there are two position, two ways of doing this, two foundations that Ghulam Raza Ahmed, as far as we're aware, set. One was the gospel narrative, and the second was this special revelation that he received to disclose yeah. this. Now, what we're trying to do is, to what extent do you do you accept? The gospel narrative. So Allah the Almighty. I'll answer, answer again. Just, I'll answer yeah, let me again. I question, understand your question, brother. I, don't but I haven't asked the question. Time. So, you have, you understand it if you haven't listened okay. to the question. So, the question specifically is Do you accept that Yusuf <laughs> was, are you sorry, Yusuf, uh, who is the, in, in the Bible, is the is the husband of um, Mary, is, is that the case for the Ahmadi? And you seem to have said yes, that it is the case. Is that correct? I seem to. I clearly said it is the case. Okay. There's nothing I'm just to hide on this. No, I'm, not, I'm not saying that you're hiding it. I'm yeah. just saying. So, don't, so there's no need to get answer some again. I'll answer again if you like. Okay, well, no, you've answered that. I'm just clarifying that that was your position. Yeah. Okay, so I'll explain my position. Our position as Ahmadi Muslims is that the Quran is Muhammad. Okay, Quran is Hujjah. It's Kalamullah. We also accept that there are certain things that Allah the Almighty reveals to the Mujaddideen and also Hazrat Ahmad al Asim who came as the Hakam and Adal to break the cross. Allah opened things to him as well. Did he claim in his writings that this nikah is mentioned in the Quran in these words? He hasn't. Does it contradict the Quran that such a nikah happened? No. Do we deny the virgin birth? No, we believe it was the virgin birth. It was a miracle of Allah. So now this is the answer. If you don't like my answer, I can't really, you know, change it just to make you happy. Yeah, so it's not, it's this not really about liking answer. the answer. It's I would about like actually, to go to the uh, point uh, one, which uh, is what sorry, the title uh, uh, of the right, stream is. Just, just I'm, I'm not emotional. Yeah. So it's not about liking. We're actually talking about the facts here. So you, what you clarified is that this was something that was revealed to Ghulam Reza Ahmed, and it's not from the Quran. This is what you've you've said. I never today. said it's not from the Quran in that sense. Quran is silent on it. That's, that's what I that's said. That's the same thing, isn't it? I don't Quran want people doesn't... to think look, that what one you're second, saying Razi, is against Razi, the Quran. Because because you're making a point where there is not a point. So for example, the Quran doesn't say there are pink elephants on Mars. The Quran doesn't you can't, say you can't, you can't say so do you understand? So what you can't body, say is that believe in it, if right? somebody says Razi, there are pink elephants on Mars, this doesn't contradict the Quran. It, it, you, this is not a position to take. So what you can say is the Quran is silent on this, that's fine, that's reasonable. And then we'll ask Brother MTS to give a response to that, please. Yeah. So basically, uh Razi, uh, obviously I did not want to use the you know the very academic terms, but I know I have to use that because uh, you are trying to say that we are just going off topic by putting this as a starting point. Now, Razi, listen this one. You understand the concept of ontology and epistemology, Razi? Do you understand? No, I don't. You can define Okay, I explain. Okay, I explain. Okay, in, in the in, in ilmul, uh, in the knowledge, in the, in, in the discussion of what is knowledge, there are two things. One is called ontology. Second is called epistemology. Ontology is what it is. And epistemology is how it is known, what are the sources of knowledge. Now, in this case, ontology is that Jesus or Isa alayhi salam, he died in Kashmir, but he was put on the cross. This is called ontology. What is epistemology? What are the sources? Gospel is the primary source. Now, if it can be, if it can be established that the source of knowledge is dubious, it is not authentic. It means that the narrative which is being supported through that source will be considered unproven. Now, you said something when I was saying that uh, Mirza Ghulam, he used gospel as his evidence. In your turn, please say it clearly that Mirza Ghulam did not use Bible as his primary source. Then inshallah, I'll give you the reference. Now, just to summarize what I said. In the discussion, 
one of the major source of knowledge is gospels and because gospels are not authentic source of knowledge hence anything supported through gospels is not proven so this can i uh, should i start yeah start so, please yeah so first thing you said is that i mean the thing you just said is that one of the major source has it ahmed al asam gave historical points on his gospel and gospel is not authentic source of knowledge so anything supported through gospels is not proven there are prophecies of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the gospels as well quran says that you find the mention of nabi sallam in the torah and injil and till today the muslim ulama explain that deuteronomy 18, 18 the prophecies of john refer to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam millions of christians accept islam ahmadiyya and sunni islam even shia islam because of these prophecies mentioned in the bible i believe they're from god i believe deuteronomy 18:18 18 is from allah the almighty the prophecy of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam even in bukhari there's a mention of one of the prophecies of the bible for rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the one with the the man will go into the markets i can't remember the exact reference anyhow the point is anything hazrat ahmed al asam said his basis is the quran anything that contradicts the quran we do not accept anything he has said is proven by the quran and his claim is that according to the quran in a hadith hazrat isa alaihissalam has died a natural death and will never return and he gave shawahid from all the sources we believe the gospel things he mentioned those are furu we do not call that aqida you ask us to prove it from quran and hadith he never claimed it's in quran hadith he never said it's written in the quran the hazrat isa lasam was wounded he never wrote that so for you to demand that evidence from us is not you know academically honest anyhow if you allow in our next turn to go to point 1 so we can open tabari and the view of the tabi'in which you said are from nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam you said the tabi'in learned from sahaba who learned from nabi sallam and when we went to that view it was all the substitution theory uh, okay uh, we want so, to so, just one just to clarify a point that you made so no one's asking you to give evidence of uh, from the from the gospels first of all we're establishing the foundation of the gospel as a source of evidence There's a different. There's a subtle difference between the two. So when you're being asked about to the extent on which you take the gospel narrative, um, this is the this is we're questioning the foundation of the conclusion that someone's coming out with. So you've you've again you've you've mentioned that what you take is because of a revelation given to Ghulam Raza Ahmed, and not necessarily because of what's in the gospel. Is that correct? Is that your position? As I understand you saying, or is the gospel itself something that you would take as a as piece of evidence a source of evidence not unless it's not, if it contradicts quran obviously it can't be a source of evidence this itself should that i don't take everything from the gospel however if there's something in the gospel that does not contradict the quran and approved by the hakam and adil who was sent to break the cross i accept that does that mean i have to provide every single thing or it's written in the quran no this no, has just, not been the good no, we're clarifying your position on the source of evidence at the moment yes yeah, so we don't so what believe you're saying the is there's two there's two ways you accept what's in the gospel if it doesn't contradict the quran or if ghulam raza ahmed said it was okay to do so generally yes okay. these are the two things, things and not please. just this the third thing is quran also confirms some things so that is obviously also authentic like the prophecies of nabi sallam in particular which all the muslim ulama accept sure okay brother intiaz your thoughts please okay bismillahir rahmanir rahim so first of all uh, razi ask me that we muslim use the gospels or the bible in general as well he gave the example from the book of deuteronomy 18 18 the prophecy of nabi muhammad sallam now ready i all you i already gave you the answer for us quran is the muhaimin and you know surah al araf has mentioned this so we accepted from the bible from the gospel on the basis of quran that's number one so our point is very clear ready after that uh, you know razi you are you are you said this thing repeatedly in two turns you said that uh, is uh, mirza ghulam came as a hakam and adil because he has to do the you know this uh, the breaking of the cross so that's why he was a mujaddid and he has to give some additional information i want you to explain in your turn 
मैरिज ऑफ यूसुफ द कारपेंटर प्लीज नोट द क्वेश्चन रजी मैरिज ऑफ यूसुफ द कारपेंटर विद सैदा मरियम सलाम वॉट इट हैज टू डू टू ब्रेक द क्रॉस You have to explain to us. So, to the, the link between two. And next point is, I want the viewers to understand this point very clearly. Mirza Ghulam's position is that when Sayyida Maryam Salamun Alaiha, she was pregnant during the pregnancy when she was five months pregnant. During the pregnancy, she was married to Yusuf the carpenter. Now, I want you viewers to understand this point that why it is a big. blasphemy why listen very carefully allah subhanahu wa taala is going to establish the isa alaihi salam is born without any human agency as human father now if this lady in this case sayyida maryam salamun alaiha she is pregnant and living at least for 4 months with yusuf the carpenter and then she is going to come and uh, she is going to make this claim or this position that i have this child without any human father who would take her claim seriously you need to address this point so it is not something quran is silent it is actually putting a big question mark as it is clouding the quranic narrative number one number two as you know jews they do not believe that isa al islam was born without any human father so when jews are given this information from your hakam and adal that maryam was living with yusuf For at least for four four months, from fifth to the ninth month, this, yeah. Then why would they accept the claim of Quran? Do you do you understand the question, brother Imtiaz? Sorry, Imran, my. Oh, uh, sorry, yes, uh, yes, brother yes. Uh, Razi, you understand the question? Yes, yes, I understand the question. Okay, so do you please explain why. How could if someone who is already expecting for five months, and then is married to somebody. and why they would take any any of this uh, claim of a chaste birth seriously okay so i have the reference is just a little break anyhow i'll answer that uh, when i get to that point the first thing imtiaz said said is that we must have used bible so before i get to that let's make it clear we're off topic 100% we're off topic anyhow the rusty why are you saying this because can i finish topic. please no because your time hasn't finish. started yet so okay because you're making a claim that is not correct this is the topic where to the topic is we're establishing uh, the what what the sources the ahmadiyya use to come to their position about jesus and the narrative related to him there are two the gospel writings and the revelation that specifically given to Ghulam Raza Ahmed which you've mentioned you said that the quran is uh, something that you talk, that take initially this is your main point anything that contradicts that you wouldn't accept we respect that position that's not a that's not a, the issue the issue is here is now reconciling the information you're given with this claim yeah so the question now I'm being asked you specifically about the topic of of the degree to which you take the gospel narrative as one of your the foundations of the evidence of claiming your narrative about Isa al Islam including his death so this is all related how can somebody who is uh, five expecting for five months uh, conceived has is pregnant for five months then gets married then makes a claim that this birth, uh, birth, uh, this birth is a virgin birth be taken seriously so that's really the question okay. to you and we would like to know your answer to that Yes so the first thing is brother that the Quran made it clear that Hazrat Maryam alayha salam was pure okay Quran made it clear and clarified the Jews still raised an allegation even if we take your view the Jews still raised allegation and called Maryam alayha salam the worst of words okay now this topic i would have to get all the references of Hazrat Ahmad alayha salam together to give you the full picture of what he has explained this is not the topic of today i have one of the references if you want me to read it out i can however our topic right now is point number 1 then you asked that he came as hakam and adal and brought some new things this reminds me of another you said not, this no no not, not new thing i said that why he has to mention the marriage of that's Mr. what Dr. i'm about Dr. to say yes, that's what yes, i have written yes. yeah so you're saying that 
Hazrat Ahmad Alassam came as Hakam and Adil. So why did he mention this? Hazrat Ahmad Alassam in his book Kishti and Nu, for example, explains one aspect of this. And he also explains that this was a tarihi error of the Muslims and he corrected it. We never claim that the, every single thing he has said about Isa Alassam or Maryam Alassam has a direct relation with Yaksir Salib. I never claimed that. I was speaking about the crucifixion sense that this is why hey, Reza, just i'll pause your time for a second so what do you clarify what you mean by tarihi error we want, i want to understand this what so do you the mean tarihi error of the muslims is that hazrat maryam alayhi salam never had any nikah this is what hazrat ahmed alayhi corrected in malfuzat quran doesn't say that she never had a nikah this could be your belief. We accept the virgin birth, by the way. I don't want anyone to confuse themselves on that. On the same pages, Hazrat Ahmed al accepts that the virgin birth is haq, it happened, okay? Now, the thing is, brother, Hazrat Ahmed al wrote thousands of pages. I did it. If you had advertised the topic, Maryam alayhi salam nikah with Yusuf, did it happen or not? I would have had those references. Right now, my focus is on point one. Brother Imtiaz last time claimed it's from Nabi Sassim, the tafsir of Salaba in Tabari and by Qatada. It's all substitution theory. It's not from Nabi Sassim. And I don't well, think... You're, you're sort of deviating from the question. Yes, I not. will deviate to this. I'm going to repeat that, that. I'm going to stick to number one because that's what was advertised. And that is what we... Brought because what happens there if well, you give uh, me brother Rosie, it's not about advertising because this is a twenty seconds. It's I want to... conversation. Let's just not say having... one last one thing. Second, just one second. One last thing. We're not having. You got. You got time. Okay. We're not having a superficial conversation. We're trying to get really to down to the deep understanding of where your position comes from. Okay, I understand. Now, if what can... you've what you've said is something that's quite interesting because you're making because. Even even other brother and are going to present the argument to you. When I'm hearing the idea that you, the Ahmadiyya accepts that um, Maryam al-Islam was married to Joseph, then her bringing her ch the child to the people would not have caused the reaction that it caused. It's a very logical thing. It's it's really it's it's from I, and, and I don't I don't I haven't brother Imtiaz hasn't presented anything to me before. I don't, to me, just hearing this, it doesn't make sense. It, okay. it's, it appears to contradict the narrative that's clearly there. Can I answer now? One second. I haven't even asked. A, I'm not asking a question. I'm just telling you what my position is. So what? This is why we're asking you to clarify this because you're saying that it doesn't contradict the Quran. Now the responses to this, um, brother Imtiaz is going to give. But we, you go at the end of your thing. You just you, you deviate back. You go back to some another another discussion. We can come to that. But let's finish off this line of thought, please. Now you've got a few seconds left. You to be okay. free field to take them, and then brother Imtiaz can. So quickly, the point is that many times streams happen, claims are made, then when we go back, it's the opposite. So we want to be given a chance to clarify. We should discuss point one first. This topic of Maryam alayhi salam, and I can address brothers in, brother Imran's question in my next turn, that why the, the question you just asked about why they were shocked, because we can discuss okay. that. No problem, after. that's fine. So brother Imtiaz, uh Please, um, uh, just so take uh, brother brother Rosi has tried to explain that he, he wants to talk about something else. We understand this, but on this specific topic, he's saying that they still believe in the virgin birth, although they do, they accept from Gulam Ahmed that this was revealed to him specifically that this had happened, and um, it seems to coincide with the Bible as well. Very interesting. But there were but the response to um, your question specifically, I think, is coming in the next section. Your if you give me answer. 20 seconds, I can answer it quickly. If Brother Imtiaz yeah, wants to. Yeah, please, have the 20 seconds, no well, problem. Brother uh, Muhammad Imtiaz himself said that, why would the Jews raise allegation? Because you yourself said that she had her nikah, according to us, while she was pregnant, right? So they would still be shocked that how come she had a child that early. But like I said, I have to go back, get all the references. I have one of Malfuzat, but this isn't the topic today, like I explained in the past. So I'm going to stick to number one. If you don't want to discuss number one, just tell me and I'll, you know, happily leave if that's what you like. But okay, I will stick to number that. one. So, so the, Brother Imtiaz, the, we, the response is that they were still shocked because the pregnancy they were delivered early. The, 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 the child was born early. So please, your thoughts. Okay, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. First of all, because we want uh, the viewers to be very clear, because Razi is saying something repeatedly that we are going off topic. So I want people to understand it is the most important topic, Alhamdulillah for Ahmadiyya, 
and with regard to that topic this is the principal discussion why because ahmadiyya they are going to use a source in this case gospels okay to prove their narrative if we can disprove that this source of information is not authentic until and unless something from this one you can either establish from the quran or you can prove that it is not against the quran these are two conditions razi either established from the quran to support or you can prove it's not against the quran now this is the reason that we want to have this discussion razi and secondly you saying that if i don't want to discuss you want to go razi i said in the beginning we have no rush our discussions between muslim and ahmadiyya they are for more almost for one and a half century now basically we have no rush razi inshallah we'll go bit by bit because our intention is not to score the point you have said many thing alhamdulillah i can disprove them in 10 seconds but no this is not my niya my niya is to people to understand the topic so yes we have to discuss today now you initially gave us the criteria that you said that if quran is the muhaimin right now you need to tell us from the quran from which ayah of the quran you are taking the narrative of yusuf marrying with maryam number 1 number 2 quran says that there was a bohtan in surah, surah nisa for us ayah number 156 wa bi kufrihim wa qawlihim ala maryam bohtanan azima you have to tell us what was this big allegation bohtan on maryam salamun alayha and after somebody says that she was living and marrying with yusuf how this bohtan would make any sense it is actually giving them the evidence because they their bohtan is being supported and you still need to tell us why mirza need to give, up, yeah why mirza need to give this information that he was married she was married with yusuf in order to break the cross what's the link between these two so that, so there's two aspects to this so one is the clarification of the of the 22nd answer you gave before and then what is the link with this piece of information about the marriage of maryam al islam to yusuf what is the link between that and the the breaking of the cross so just yeah. please uh, uh, uh so uh, in diasebo ashi just read out the promised messiah's answer on this question is that fine with you go ahead go ahead what yeah. okay one second let me just open it because you seem to you know you continuously ask this question i answered a part of it as well uh let me just if you can just stop my time so i can quickly open it um jins I apologize for that. All good. Take your time, Razi. Okay. So I'll uh, I'll share my screen. I want to answer the other points too, but I'll just go through this first. So this is Malfuzad Jil Som, right? Volume which, three. Which edition? Which this edition? is the new one. This is the new one. Um, it's right here. Masia Lesam. I don't know why it got cut here. um that has it happened to me before i've taken the screenshot anyhow it says that uh hazrat taqdis ne zikr kiya is you said so it's the question is about masi bin bab and he explains that isa lesam was born without a father then he says aur hum is baat ko kya kare ki ye tarikhi galti muslimanon mein paida hui hai jo sahi tarikh se sabit hai कि मरियम का यूसुफ के साथ निकाह हो गया था और फिर उससे औलाद भी हुई थी सो हजरत अहमदम इज मैं मरियम अल्लाम चिल्ड्रन आफ्टर एंड शी डिड हैव निकाह विद यूसुफ नजार हमने तो इस औलाद का जिक्र किया है और इसी किस्म की गलती वाक्य सलीब के मुतलिक हुई है एज फॉर हाउ डज ए ब्रेक द क्रॉस इट्स नॉट इन दैट सेंस डायरेक्टली रिलेटेड बट many believe maryam alayha salam is god as well anta qulta lina sitta khiduni wa ummiya ilahaini min dunillah so it refutes that allegation for those christians who would try to say that because she only had a miraculous birth she wasn't a uh, you know god forbid uh, she they say she was a part of god now if you can give me 30 more seconds because it took so long in the start to open everything but the question of if a woman got married uh, what, what was the bohtan that was the question the bohtan was exactly this they said isa lesam is now zubilla illegitimate and if she had a nikah and you know the child came before 6 months the jews would still bark and raise allegations so 
this is off topic completely, brother, but I've given you my answer. Now, I request if we can, you know, go back to topic number one and the substitution to which Imtiaz claims is from Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam based on his words. He never explicitly said it, but when we went to what he told us to check, it was all substitution. And he said, Tabin from Sahaba, from Nabi Sassim explained Salaba, it's all substitution theory. So we want to discuss why Brother Imtiaz made this claim that it's from Rasul Brother Razi. Brother Razi, it's best not to imply <laughs> to people theories that they obviously they don't hold. Yeah? No, he but gave let, us let, the reference. Sure, I understand he gave you the reference, but the implication that you're putting forward, I think it's uh, it's interesting. So uh, let's so let's get back to the point that's being raised here. So you, you mentioned a couple of things there, Brother MTRs here. So one is that he quoted from this new edition uh, some text, and he said that this was... Uh, uh, that this, this was a, a, a <laughs> historical error for the Muslims and that there was a real history, a Sahih Tariq. And from that, the source was established that, th that not only was there a marriage, but there were children after. So interesting, I would, interesting to, uh, it would be interesting for me to know what this Sahih Tariq is, if it's not the Gospels uh, that's being referred to. Um, so Brother Imchaz, your, your thoughts, please. Uh, and, the, and, the, and the Bukhtan was that pregnancy you know, was short and therefore the people still would have raised an issue. But but I'll give you your thoughts, please. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Razi, again, uh, please, you know, don't just say again, again, that you came here to discuss that. Razi, if I have to stay here for next 24 hours, Alhamdulillah, I would stay here. Okay, we'll give you opportunity. So don't worry at all. Now, what I'm trying to say, Razi, is because we wanting, we are trying to, we are still confused, to be honest. We are trying to understand that to what extent Ahmadiyya Jamar is going to accept biblical narrative. That's our question. Because this is one of the source. And you, I, I said to you before, if you want to challenge, because I'm saying it again, there are two primary sources which Mirza used in his writing. I'll give you the name as well, Izala Oham. The primary source is biblical narrative and his special ilham. These are two. After that, yes, he quoted the verses. I'm not denying that. But I will show to you when he started to establish his point, how he began, what he used as his first source. I will show you. Now, you are saying that even if even if nobody would have said this thing, Jews will still raise the Bhutan. That's not the question. The question is here that if somebody has ascribed a partner, a husband for Maryam, he has not helped the Quranic narrative. Because Quranic narrative is preserved in our tradition. And that is, there's no link of any male with Sayyida Maryam Salamun Alayya. That's the Muslim position. And that's how the Quranic narrative is strengthened and supported. Anybody coming and ascribing a husband to Maryam and during pregnancy of Islam, he how he has helped the Muslim narrative. Because Quran is here to clarify that Bhutan. I quote Surah Nisa already. The Bhutan was, you know what the Bhutan was. They have to clarify this. Uh, Quran has to, somebody saying that, yes, she has a partner. You destroy the Quran. What I'm trying to say is, by you are accepting even those biblical information which are anti Quran. So don't try to say that Quran you believe as a Muhammad or a God. You know, you are taking Mirza Ghulam as the authority, not the Quran. And last point, inshallah, my, 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 my time is over. You have to tell us, I, mean, I said already, you have to tell us today, Razi, what are those Sahih Tariq? What is that authentic history which Mirza Ghulam used to bring the use of narrative? You have to tell us today. So, do you, so I hope that was clear yeah, for you. Yeah, so so the, 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 the early pregnancy still would contradict the correct narrative okay. in that the way it was raised and because uh, the way the Jews ob objected. And the second thing is, is that the, what is this Sahih Tariq? What is this, the true history that's being ascribed uh, to? Where is that? Please? Yeah, so uh, I'll start my answer by asking, where in the Quran does it say that no nikah happened? There's no mention of this in the Quran, that no nikah took place. I'll just read out a passage from Hazrat Ahmed al regarding Imtiaz's question that is ayat me dono hamlo ka jawab hai. Bukhtan and Avima answers both things. Our khulasa ayat ka ye hai the summary is ke Isa ki najayz vala na Isa ki najayz vala that he did not he did not have an illegitimate birth or na wo sleep per mara nor did he die on the cross. Balke doke se samaj liya gaya ke mar gaya. It was 
thought out of deception that he was the one who died. Isliye wo makbul hai aur uska aur nabiyon ki taraf khuda ki taraf rafa ho gaye. This is why his rafa and the other ambiyas rafa has uh, happened. Like they were spiritually raised to Allah. Ab kaha hai wo morvi jo asman present Isa ka jism ponchate hain. Yaha to sab jagra unki ru ke mutalik tha. Jism se usko kuch alaq nahi the. Discussion has nothing to do with his body physically going up to the sky. So. The question remains that the Quran does not deny any nikah. We accept all the verses of the Quran, and Hazrat Ahmad Al Asam writes that Quran me ayah ha walati ahsanat farjah. For Maya Mohsanat to Quran Sharif me khud nikah wali orton orton per bola gaya hai. This word is used in the Quran for those who have nikah. Which nika. word? Wh- Verify. This is Surah Anbiya, verse ninety-six or ninety-two. I can't read Urdu numbers, so I apologize. But it's Wallati Ahsanat Farjah. It's about Hazrat Maryam alayhi salam. I think it's Surah Anbiya, verse ninety-two. Can you let me actually open it? Which word are you saying? Because I want to clarify. Let me pause this because let you're me making a claim there. You're saying it's that this verse term 91. is only used for. Yeah. Married women. What time is that? So I'll repeat what Hazur says and what our belief is that he says, chapter twenty-one, verse ninety-one says, "Wallati ahsanat farjaha." That he, remember who the one who guarded her chastity. This word "mohsanat" is used in Surah Nisa, verse twenty-five, for those women who have nikah. So you cannot so which, which word specifically, Radi? Wal mohsanatu. Your, your the claim is well, mahsanatu means only married women. Used, it's used for married women as well. Yes, both as well women. because they're yeah. two different. Because, because you're trying to establish something uh, from the from the commentary uh, the the comments by Grammar's Ahmed that this term is only for married women. But now you've said as well. Which means it's not only for married women. So I just want to clarify that. Did I first claim that it's only for married women? Yes, yes, you said that. Okay, I apologize. I take okay, that so... back. That was a slip of tongue. What I'm saying is, Mohsanat to Quran Sharif me khud ne kawali orton ke liye. Meaning this word Mohsanat is used in the Quran for women who have nikah, and the same and, word and is used for husbands. But it's also used yet. for women who don't have nikah as well. It's used for chaste women. Can you show the verse you're referring to? Actually, no, no. I'm talking about your claim about the, because what I'm trying to clarify a point, because yeah. you, because you're you're responding to that question of uh, marriage women or not married women, and you're making evidence for this was own this was specifically a married woman being referred to talking about Maryam alayhi salam, and you're saying the Gulam Azhar Ahmed has given a commentary and he says this word specifically means married women. That's your evidence you're presenting. And I said, which word is it? Only I said he said it's used for married women. Okay, so how is then this an evidence if it's not used exclusively for married women? That's the point I'm making. That Quran doesn't well, deny. Making, well, let me finish. Let me finish. You're you ask me a point, question and I have ten seconds. Second. I understand you. I understand your the, the point. The every reason that you provided this commentary for Ghulam Azhar <laughs> Ahmed was to establish that Maryam al Islam was married. Yeah. And that his view that doesn't evidence. contradict so on, God. And the evidence you provided, you said that the reason it's believed that to be the case, this Glamour Ahmed's commentary is, because of a specific word. Yeah. And the word I asked you, what was the, I was interested. What is this word? That's only used for married women, and you said muhsinat, and then you said actually no, it's not used only for married women, but it can be used for both. So then, it, then you have to take the dominoes back. How then is it an evidence for Maryam al Islam being married if it's not exclusive for married women? No, but it, it, I I it, it said that. Used, okay, can you show the verse where Mohsanat is used for no, something? No, it's your evidence you're presenting. Okay, so uh, this is the point that I'm making that the reference I said because I felt like you're saying the reference is saying it's only used for married women. That's why I took no. it back. But in the Quran, how is it used? I right now I don't have all the references, but if. Anyone, if one of you knows how it's used, otherwise you can show it. But the point Rezi, is, it is sorry, used brother. for women who brother, have nikah. Brother it Rezi. is used for. Are brother, you denying brother, this, what, brother Rezi, You're reversing the argument on me. I'm not making this argument. You're making the argument. So can the, you show? You, you are presenting evidence. Women? You're presenting. You're presenting evidence to us about the uh, the marriage status of Maryam al-Islam. You're, this is the evidence you're presenting. And you're saying the reason you're what you're presenting to prove that is this commentary from Ghulam Azhar Ahmed. You said, let me read exactly what he said. 
And then you said that there was a verse that is being referred to by Ghulam Reza Ahmed, specifically in the Quran, that uses the word uh, uses a word which means specific for married women. So I, I was interested in this word, and I said, what is this word? And you said, Muhsanat. And now you're saying to me, actually, you've, you've taken, and I clarified, are you sure that this means only married women? So I'm checking the Quran and based on this... What is the verse that you're referring to, so please? This, uh, the verse I was referring to is Surah Nisa, Wal Muhsanatu Minan Nisa. So that's, what's that got to do with married women? That's referring to married women, brother. Or I unmarried think, women. I don't think any Mufassir has said that's not about women... Who, uh, about married women until I, for a year probably the no, no, first Muslim to claim this in history already, of Islam. Already, one second. Because yeah. you're, 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 what you're doing is, is very interesting because you're presenting the evidence that this word refers specifically to married women. Yeah, in chapter 4, that's, verse 24. That's, that's what you're saying. So, yeah. Muhsinat is specifically for married women. Yeah. Yes. In this ayah, chapter 4, is, verse Is that 24. your claim? Yeah. Okay, that's what I, that's all I wanted to clarify. Are you saying why, that claim why, is wrong? Why did you I'm why confused. did you take it back? Why did you take it back? Because I'm confused that you're I took back, you're confusing what I took back. I took back that the reference of Hazrat Ahmad al-Asam said it's only used for that. That's okay, so why I took it back because claim, I misquoted sure. him then. So you're I, saying, I, I, I want to understand you. Chapter now. 4 verse 24 I, is I, only I, about married women. Yes. I, I so you're saying that no, I'm not talking about the verse. Because you've changed the goalpost from the word to the verse. You said the word muhsinat refers to married women only. This is the this is from Ghulam Reza Ahmed. In chapter four, verse twenty-four. So I want so now I'm clear, I'm asking you to is this yeah. the position you're holding that the word muhsinat specifically is for married women? In every scenario, is that your question? In every single scenario in the Arabic language? So is this an is this an exclusive term used? Is an exclusive meaning used for this particular verse, but not for other words? So the, uh, in other Arabic, times, let me clarify the point to yeah, you. Yeah. Because now you're because this is another equivocation. What you're saying now that this that this its word is not exclusively used for married women everywhere, but in this particular place, it's exclusively used for married women. Is that what you're saying? So what I'm saying is that the word muhsanat is used in the Quran for women who have had nikah. If you're asking me in the Arabic language, is the word muhsanat only for women who have nikah? It's also used for free women. We don't deny that. Our point, what do you mean by free women? Like women who are free of not all, married. Yeah, not okay, married as that, well. That's what I want to but women free of any. Uh, free of any men but our point is that the word muhsanat is used in the quran for married women as well so for as you well. to say okay good. Yeah, this is what let i'm trying to finish let me just so finish my point can i finish my point please can i finish my point no i'm not done my I'm point clarifying your point because this okay, is the point can i finish my you. point you, you you finished your point because i was trying to clarify it from you you're saying that this word can apply to married women as well yeah and the free therefore, chase therefore women, the non-slave women. Not, therefore, it's not an evidence specifically for married women. No, it is an evidence. It is an evidence. The other ayat where it's using muhsanat that I have here, wal muhsanat min al mu'minat, it's referring to uh, slave women as well. It's used for okay. that as well. Uh, well but I my think, point I is our clear. view isn't against the Quran. Do you agree with that? Based on the Arabic. So I'm going. To, so for your position is nothing to do with the verse you quoted, in my perspective. But I'm going to let Brother Imtiaz continue, please, Brother Imtiaz, please. I'm going to reset the time. And can we go to point one now, or because if we need, Imtiaz, we need to clarify, we need to clarify, we need to clarify this, brother. So let, let, let Brother Imtiaz because... have his response to your your points, Brother Imtiaz, please. Jazakallah, man. By okay, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So again, uh, I want for the sake of viewers to clarify this point that why this discussion is happening. It is very important. Mirza Ghulam is using gospel narrative to support his position. And we are hearing from Brazi and we are discussing here the gospel narrative is not authentic source. We can only use it with two conditions. Either Quran approves it, number one, or number two, it must not go against Quran. Now, we have just given one example that even where the, uh, the gospel narrative went against Quran, listen everybody carefully, 
still they have accepted the gospel narrative it shows that what uh, mr razi said in the beginning that quran is the muhaimin no for them mirza gulam is the muhaimin and that is we saying that islam versus ahmadiyya these are two different religion now i want people to understand please razi note down this point i am not getting any answer from you so far number question number 1 in quranic narrative we have zakaria alayhi salam as the guardian as the caretaker of maryam salamun alayha in the gospel narrative you have yusuf the carpenter why mirza gulam want to go to yusuf the carpenter and wants to leave the zakaria quranic narrative number 1 number 2 why i say it is against the quran quranic narrative the isa alayhi salam was born without any father and jews were raising allegation against maryam salamun alayha if somebody ascribes a husband to maryam during the pregnancy this person has clouded the islamic quranic narrative it is against the quran point number 3 only 3 point razi you have to produce clear reference from mirza gulam where he says that Isa alayhi salam was born without father i want to see this reference razi okay that's the three point that's it okay so i'll okay. start um, yeah let me just reset your time uh, razi go for it uh, go and for on it. my please my request to you is please remind brother razi before his time start what are the three questions i wrote them down don't worry so okay. in this so particular section, section I, just, sorry, no, it's, I think it's important because this there's two there's a few things here that you've raised so one was the difference between the guardianship of Uh, Maryam alayhi salam between the gospel narrative and the Quran so Zakaria in the Quran alayhi salam and Yusuf the carpenter in, in the gospels the second thing was that uh, with uh, the Quran sp- really specifies without any male intervention and this is carried out throughout because no male inter- no male is mentioned at all in relation to her and therefore this leads to the allegation now in the in the gospel narrative there is a a, hus- a husband and that that raises an issue about why would there be a, uh, something raised uh, as a point anyway but the other point now now to clarify this that your position is that there was no male intervention and this was how the birth was was this is your position you're saying that you have what brother mtr has asked for is a reference from ulama ahmed specifying that this is what you believe um Uh, please start whenever you'd like to start please yeah, I'll quickly answer these points so the first thing is the Quranic narrative that Hazrat Zakaria Al-Assam is the guardian we accept that as well so did Hazrat Ahmed Al-Assam there's a difference between guardian and husband these aren't contradictory number one number two you ask that why did he choose the Bible over the Quran he didn't that's what we're seeing that he accepted that Hazrat Zakaria Al-Assam was the guardian your third question was that show where Hazrat Ahmed Al-Assam said that Isa Lesam was born without a father so i have many references one reference is hamamatul bushra he says that god almighty had informed the jews through some of his prophets that a son from among them would be born without a human father in mawahib ur rahman i'll give you the page as well volume 7 page 315 rohani khazain then volume uh, 13 page 29 sorry, sorry volume volume 7 page volume 7 page 315 shrashi Make sure it's the new edition. That's fine. Volume. Uh, okay. What is the page of that? Volume. Book? Volume seven. Hamamat yeah. Busha, page three yeah. fifteen. It's hundred percent around that area. Okay. okay I no can problem. open it on my turn and then I'll share. No problem. Then no Mawahi problem. Mawahi and, uh, Razi, 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 we, we can stop your time here, Imran Bhai. Razi, so please just clarify for us. Oh, I should open the that... scans for you now. Okay, no, no, you don't need to. Just keep, keep on moving. We want to save the time as well. Razi, listen this point very yeah. carefully. Please make a clear statement. You are saying that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad believed that Isa alayhi salam was born without any human father. Yes or no? Yes, of course. Okay, no problem. Go ahead. Give me the reference now. You gave me one, seven three fifteen. What else? Okay, I'm just okay. So, uh, volume seven, page three, fifteen, Mawahi. Uh, that's Hamam to Bushra. Then, volume thirteen, page two ninety to two ninety one. He writes the first thing which he did to bring this was about was the creation of Isa Lesam without the agency of a father through the manifestation of his divine powers only. Then, in Al Hakam, 
He says that anyone who believes... two are enough. Let I want to enough. give this third one. I want to give this okay. third one. Okay. He okay. says our faith and belief is that Jesus was born without a father and Allah has the power to do all things. The ration... Who said this? this who is said Hazrat, this? Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmed al -Hassan. Date and reference, please. al hakam June 24, 1901. The ration... Page number? Page number? I have the scan in my email. Let me open it. You can... Send yeah. to my telegram, please. Okay. Send to my telegram. You have that. You have with my telegram. Send to my telegram, inshallah. Okay. One second. God, we need to save time, Razi. Oh, no problem. I got the answer. You gave me three. I'm I want to. Up. I want to quote this last one. I have it right here Razi, in front of me. Razi, you have given me three. Let me verify. I'll come back to it. You okay. Move but on to I want to quote this one. Just like you have the freedom to quote what you like. I want no to problem. quote this one. Go ahead. This Go is ahead. the Al-Hakam one. You can save the reference. If you can share my screen. This is the one where he, Alasam, explains that one who denies this. or uh, He explains that bin Bapte, Hazrat Masih Sam, bin Bapte. And then he, at the end, he explains that جو یہ بات کہے کہ بن باپ پیدا نہیں کر سکتا ہم ایسے آدمی کو دائرہ اسلام سے خارج سمجھتے ہیں وی دیکھر سچ ا پرسن آوٹسائد دا فورد اف اسلام ناو امتیاز بھی نو 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 رضی رضی ویٹ رضی ویٹ رضی ویٹ آن دس پوائنٹ سو بینگ بون ویڈاوٹ اینی فادر اس ایڈ دا ایکسکلوسیو فدیلہ آف سیدنا عیسیٰ علیہ السلام اور دی آر ادر پیپل ایز ویل ہو آر بون ویڈاوٹ فادر Born without father? Like My question, listen, 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 listen to the yeah. question first, Razi. I ask you to give me the reference that where Mirza Ghulam said that Isa alayhi salam was born without father. You gave me three references. Now, yeah. my question is, is this the exclusive feature of Isa alayhi salam being born without father? Or, according to Mirza Ghulam, there are many such examples. Hazrat Adam alayhi salam. Other than him? There... History, according to history, there are some historical articles which mention examples. I myself haven't studied this, so I'm not so ready. What is to your it. belief? Wait, wait, Razi. What is your belief as Ahmadi yeah. that being well, obviously Adam alayhi salam is a different, you know, example? Okay, he was born without anything. Okay, Allah made him. My question to you, Razi, is yeah. that Isa alayhi salam was born without any human father. Alhamdulillah, Muslim, they believe this, but at the same time. Muslim belief is that he is the only one born without any human father. You believe and believe Adam alayhi salam. Brother, Adam alayhi salam has no father, no mother. Right? So he, is, he doesn't have a my mother, question, right? My question is, a lady, a lady giving yeah. birth to a child without husband. Yeah. Okay, let me make it very clear now. A lady giving birth to a child without husband. Muslim belief is Sayyida. Maryam Salamun Alayya is the only example. Do you believe this? Does it say this in the Quran? My question to you is, I will prove the Quran. You, do, you, you first tell me. What do you believe? It's not in the Quran or a hadith that she's the only one, so I cannot claim she's the only one. No, no. What is your belief? No, did Nabi Sism ever say it? Like I said, I haven't researched Sorry, uh, this topic uh, in depth. Imran, right? bhai, I need the I need the answer on this one. I understand. I understand. It's not it's a Quran or a Hadith. We're going off topic Razi, number one. one, is one, 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 one no, no, no. Razi, wait. Razi, wait. This is a separate stream on this topic. Razi, 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 one, second. Razi, one, second. Razi no. one second. This is very important because what because what because every time you just seem to be arguing from a position of silence. And I, I gave you the example of the Quran that doesn't say there are pink elephants on Jupiter. It does not mean that, that you can make someone can make the claim that there are pink elephants on Jupiter and it's look, not against the Quran because this Quran says she's the only woman. Why are you so, claiming it then? So, so you're the doing what is, you're telling no, me. No, to do not yourself. at all. Not at all. So th th this is the point that we're being made. So is this is the the question is a very straightforward one. Do the Ahmadi believe that the virgin birth of Jesus, peace be upon him, is an exclusive event or not? Do you believe it is? If yes, yes, where is it in the Quran? So I'm asking. So you've you've heard. You asked me. I said yes. I'm asking. So, so before we come, before we come to the where, the first question is: What is the position? That's what we're trying to ask you, and you seem to be very defensive so about this. The question. reason, the reason so you is you me, accuse yes. us. You accuse but, us that you quote things that aren't in the Quran, see, and, and you give the pink elephant Rezi, example. You have no I'm quote. I'm asking you for a quote. I'm asking now, you for your position. If you don't as want to discuss in... point Rezi, one, just tell me, Rezi, brother Imtiaz. Honestly, this isn't worth my time. It's a topic I myself didn't study well. 
You know, okay, I need so that key that I have your, read all the Malfuzat. Let me finish, Rezi. please. I'm we, just we finishing Rezi. my point. Brother Rezi, Rezi, I didn't go Rezi, through all the Malfuzat on this, me. so I don't want to say something against Rezi, my view. Uh, I'm, I'm, if you talk over me, I, unfortunately, I'm going to, I don't want to, but I'm going I'll to I'll mute myself. Okay, it's very good. So the point here is, is that we're not asking you for evidence in your position yet. What we're asking you for is, what is your position? Now you're saying you haven't researched the topic, but it's it's a it's very it's very interesting that you haven't researched this topic because this is really what you uh, you spoke about Isa Islam and 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 what his life was like and what his death was like all the time. The question now is not actually about where does you get this belief from. The question first is what is your belief? We want as as Muslims we want to know what is the Ahmadi position on uh, whether or not the virgin birth of Isa Islam was an exclusive event or not. Very straightforward question. You asked me, I said yes. What's the evidence? I, maybe I would have to look it up. The, Same that's not the with point. me. Same no, with but the me. Point, but that, so the first question you can answer though, right? Is it is it the position that the Ahmadi hold? Do you hold, Razi? Do you believe that the virgin birth of Jesus, peace be upon him, was an exclusive event or not? So it's nowhere in the Quran or a Hadith that it was only for her. So you say... It's possibly that it could not be. It's possible that it happens with someone else as well, yes. Okay. Do I have examples of that at the no, moment? Asking, no, I don't. I'm ask you for example. Yeah. Razi, just relax. I'm just I'm making it example, clear that you know, I don't have no, that's fine. We can come to this specifically. because Can we go to point one now? Because we're because we're establishing differences between us. This is good. Okay. So, brother, but MTR, the topic was death of Isa Lassam. So, I think even yeah. viewers will be like, what's going on here? You know, we came... I studied that so I can discuss that, you know, and you say, why do I discuss other topics, but I haven't researched this? I discuss from Quran and Hadith. Let me help right? you understand, Ren Razi. So the, the point here, and I'm reiterating, but the point here is that the, the Ahmadiyya position is based upon two fundamental sources. One is the Gospels, and the second is the statements of the Quran. Razi, no, this isn't true. So we're, not, we're moving the Quran for out of this position because we, we, we have this position. But I'm telling you, this is the two main sources that you bring for the narrative specifically about the the way that he was hung on the cross and the, the taken down and the healing and all this this part of this aspect of the discussion of the five points. The, 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 the evidence produced is from the Gospels or it's from Ghulam Reza Ahmed. And your evidence what, what, is from what, Israeliyad. What's happening now? What's actually no, it's not from that, but we'll we'll get to that point later. But let's but discuss point, that, right? But the point here is actually we're looking at the the fun the foundations of one of the sources. Is it something that we can use, and to what extent do you accept it? Okay. And this is why these questions about uh, the Maryam al-Islam and the virgin birth, and you know uh, who was a guardian, and why would it be an issue uh, for uh, someone to have an early birth if they were married? Why why would it cause a problem? So these points are being brought up so that we can understand. So, so brother Imtiaz, yeah. please. Uh, Please continue. Then, and we do a separate stream titled Hazrat Maryam alayhi salam and the virgin birth. And all these things we revise because Hazrat Emlesam, as you know, wrote so much. We have to have everything together and we bring that forth. That will be more beneficial and I will have everything with me. Right now, we're trying to discuss point one. Is substitution theory, which Muhammad Bay claimed that is from Tabi'in, from the Sahaba, because he said, open Tabri, open Katada, it's from Nabi system because it's Ilm Ghaib, it's all substitution theory. This is what we want to discuss. If you do not want to discuss this, Muhammad Bay, maybe the guy after me has more knowledge on this subject. You can be, that's where we have to go, Brother Razi. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Let's, 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 let's Brother MTR's that I didn't know, I none of us ran away. We came to discuss it's this not, topic. No one is saying not to you. Discussing Razi, the don't get defensive. Don't get defensive. I'm, don't being, worry. I'm not being defensive. I'm you're, just you're being defensive. that we came with the proofs and now I'm, the topic changed. Yeah. So this is the point here. You know? one, one the, whole so the point here is you bringing proofs. Razi, if you're bringing proofs, then the foundations of the proofs are open to question, right? Yeah, but we and that, didn't and even let me present my proof yet. Where, 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 why, what, what's the point of presenting a proof if you can't establish its truthfulness? You believe it's true. So let, it's the Seed Tabari substitution let, theory, which your stream uh, claims uh, is from uh, Nabi uh, Sallam. Let, let uh, Brother Imtiaz continue uh, and then we'll go from there, okay? Brother Imtiaz, are you not going to discuss point one today? Then I can leave if you like. 
because I don't want to waste your time and you don't want to waste my time. I'm that, here to that, discuss. Buddy, it's all up to you. One. So if you if you don't want to hang around, let's know. Yeah. I, we understand. So we won't this topic is not one. comfortable. I know that this topic is not comfortable. Yeah. But actually, something for us that helps us clarify the positions between you and us. We're trying to okay. come to a some sort of understanding, and these are important things for us. The Quran. So I think I says, answered the question. So will we discuss point one or one no, brother Resi. Muhammad? Resi. You can Resi. just tell me. If you answer a question, it has to have some sort of comeback, right? But, so let Brother Imtiaz come back okay, to you. Sure. Brother Imtiaz, please continue. And please also tell me, will you discuss point one with me or no? We, all, of the five if, points, all the five points are up for discussion, but in a systematic exactly. order. And so Brother number Imtiaz, one should have been first, but it wasn't. So, but okay. the, no, it's so this is again, now this is uh, un, unreasonable behavior. So your number one is what? Uh, to do with the um, the whole point of here is actually that Jesus was put on the cross and didn't die and was taken down from the tomb. The which continuation taken, from which last is, week. Which is taken, which is taken, from, which seven hours you spent on this point, yeah. which was taken from exactly the point. We're trying to actually get further than sticking to this one point. That you, you, The narrative is taken from the Gospels. No, it's from the Quran. The narrative is taken from the Gospels and from Glamour's Ahmed statement. And, and what, we try to, what we're trying to do now is establish the verification, verify the, 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 how good these sources are and how much you take from them. So, Brother Imtiaz, please uh, continue. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> First, uh, with regard to your question, am I going to discuss point number one? Yes, absolutely. This affirmation, yes, Razi. Okay, now, Razi, uh, there's problem here which you are not addressing. There's a big elephant in the room. People can see, but you are not willing to acknowledge that. Here's the point. Let me say it again in a different way. Are you saying that the passion narrative is in the Quran? I'm sure you're not saying this. The passion narrative is in the Gospels. So, and passion narrative is the backbone of the entire Ahmadiyya narrative. Because if Jesus, Jesus being put on the cross and then being in the tomb, all of that, that is a very important. And Razi, listen very carefully. At least people are listening. It is the miracle, special miracle of Mirza Ghulam. It is a special miracle, this thing. Okay, so don't deny this, Razi. Now, in your turn, question number one, you have to tell us what is the source of Mirza Ghulam to quote the passion narrative, if not Gospels, number one. Question number two is, <clears throat> you are saying that, okay, if Quran is silent, it does not mean, Razi, we have given you as one example. It is not the question of silent. It is that you are taking Ahmadiyya and Ghulam Mirza is taking things from the Bible, even though when they go and destroy the Quranic narrative, in order to support this point, we gave you one example of Yusuf and Zakaria. So, Quranic narrative, Islamic narrative is around Zakaria. Your narrative is around Yusuf, which is a biblical narrative. And then, uh, Yehudi, the Jews, they were putting allegation. Jews were putting allegation. And by Mirza ascribing a husband to Maryam during pregnancy, he did not help at all to Islamic narrative. So again, it's good against that. And lastly, in your turn, Razi, tell me, you have to tell me, Razi, that is there anything in which Isa and Islam was exclusive? For example, we Muslims believe that him being born without father was exclusive. For example, we believe that he spoke at that young age as a child is exclusive. We believe that he testified that his mother is, uh, is, 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 a, is a pure lady. So... I want you to give the audience example that in which you believe that Isa salam was exclusive. Was he exclusive in the virgin birth? You said no. Okay. You said no. Now you need to give us some example if you have one. I'm done. Okay. Th uh, thank you for that. Brother uh, Razi. <clears throat> yes. So four questions. First question is you said that Hazrat Ahmed said that the tomb Isa was put in for three days was his miracle. You have to show that from his books. I would like to see the reference of that. You said that the Gospels is the backbone of the Ahmadiyya narrative. This isn't true. Our backbone is Quran and Ahadith. Even if we concede, like Adnan Bay loves to concede, brother, my time actually, you forgot to start it. 
I'll start it for you. I'll give you extra time. No worries. Exactly. Like Brother Adnan loves to say, you know, to, uh, for argument's sake, we accept that Isa Lassam died. We accept Nabi Sism is in Khatam and Nabin in the sense of last and all time. Even if we accept Isa Lassam wasn't put on the cross, Quran and a hadith are muhkam that he died a natural death and won't return. So the backbone is the Quran, not the gospels. This is a mistake on your end. As for Yusuf Zakaria, I already explained that Hazrat Tahmilasam didn't deny Hazrat Zakaria being the guardian. Having a nikah and being under someone's guardianship, they do not contradict. Then you said that Hazrat Tahmilasam did not help the Islamic narrative. He actually did because he made it clear that Hazrat Maryam salam, was pure and he defended Hazrat Maryam salam, from all that allegations. Then you said, is there anything exclusive to Hazrat Isa Lassam? Hazrat Isa Lassam was one of the Ulul Azam messengers of Allah. That is one of his great qualities. And if we look at his life, that is exclusive. When the Jews wanted to put him to death on the cross, the way Allah the Almighty planned to make him survive and fulfill his mission in the way it happened is a great miracle. Allah the Almighty says in the Quran, if God Allahu Ya Isa, inni mutawafika. The fact that Allah protected Isa Lassam from the Jews killing him in the way he did, where you know Allah should be halahum, all of these miracles happen. It's a great miracle for Hazrat Isa Lassam. But do we ascribe divinity to him? Like this, unfortunately, the other Muslims do that. You know, he physically went up to the skies with his body, he would give life. Can I just finish? Sorry, what was the miracle of Islam? Sorry, what was that? I'll repeat now. I'll repeat. Please, please, okay. yes. 20 extra seconds. Yeah, no worries. You had please them in the beginning, the Rosie. Yes, but he asked me a question while I was speaking, so I lost yeah. 30 so what seconds. Was, what was the exclusive, exclusive yeah. miracle of Could Islam? You, Give me yeah. one example. Yeah. So what I was saying is we do not give him attributes of Allah like the other Muslims, like he would physically raise the dead and whatnot, and that Nabi Sassam was touched by Satan at birth, but Hazrat Isa Lassam was not. We do not give him such qualities which, you know, raise allegations of Allah, but the miracle I gave of Hazrat Isa Lassam is the whole story of how Allah the Almighty protected him from the crucifixion. And he said, Inni mutawafika, like Allah gave Nabi Sassam the miracle of Wallahu Ya Asimukamin and Nas, He gave Isa Lassam the miracle of Inni Mutawafika and he protected Isa Lassam, the Jews who were ready to kill him and, you know, did everything in their power. Allah did not let them do that. He protected Isa Lassam and made him fulfill his so, mission. So That's a great to miracle that, exclusive to him in that sense. But we so do not give him godly attributes. So this is interesting because you've um, because you've you've raised another point about the fact that Ahmed, you don't accept miracles. Um, I never so said that. A, I never I said that. But you're because you, you, you what you've started. Yeah, no, yeah, I shouldn't. Let me you make my point. Let me talk about them, please. Because sometimes what happens is that you because you you make you say because even when you were saying it, I was thinking, oh my god, you're not going to say this, and you said it. I didn't I didn't interrupt you at that point. I'm just making uh, the point because one of the we know that Ahmed, you don't believe in. Um, Miracles is one of the things that many of my you can deny this position. Feel free to do that in your time. It's no problem. You you spoke you, you said many things. I didn't see many exclusive things actually from what you what you mentioned. You said the birth possibly wasn't uh, um, possibly wasn't exclusive. You you said you weren't sure to, sure about this. Um, you said he was one of the Ulul Azam, and that obviously as soon as you're one of a, a people, you're not yes that's not exclusive either. And then you said that the only other thing was being saved. Uh, and I think that's probably not exclusive either. So I, don't, I didn't I see anything exclusive. Was the only, I gave one example. Yeah, but that was not an example of exclusivity. That's the point that I'm making. The, in your in your not? list, so one second, brother Rosie. In your list, you were talking about the, the 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 story doesn't come from the gospels, but brother Imtiaz was talking specifically about the passion narrative. And that's the, really the point that was being made to you, and you sort of didn't really mention that. And then you didn't mention the you know this issue about um, the Bukhtan, the 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 allegation made against. Uh, um, uh, Maryam Islam, how this makes sense in the con in the context of a married woman? How can this make sense in the context of a married woman? But these are all the things that, just from uh, my observation of what you're saying, because I want to to, to be clear, so you can I'm you can win your next time, you can respond. To this. Okay, I'll so, answer so, my brother, next. Brother MTRs, please, uh, I'll, I'll let you continue if that's okay. Yeah. So let me know when you want to start. Yeah. Yeah. Jazakallah, Imran. By Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So, uh, Razi, because you said that you said that he was saved from the cross, uh, the, this whole story, you just gave that as example. 
I'm still waiting, Razi. Give me that one exclusive miracle you did not give so far. I'm re- I'm saying it again. Number one. Number two is that uh, you said that no, Ahmed or, or Mirza Ghulam, his uh, narrative is built on Quran. I want you, I'm giving you two options. Listen the question, please understand the question, Razi. Either give me the passion narrative from the Quran, number one. Or number two, or give me that which other source Mirza Ghulam used to quote the passion narrative, if not Gospels. So please understand and answer the question. And then I'm still not able to hear any answer that when a husband is ascribed to Sayyida Maryam Salamun Alaiha while she was pregnant, then why were people surprised that she gave birth to a child? Why Isa Islam has to speak in the cradle to testify? That her mother is a pure lady. Why Quran says that they made a big bohtan and azima? They made a big allegation. Why are you saying that it does not cloud the Quranic narrative? Ascribing husband to Maryam Salamun Alayya, everybody will agree with me. I will, I, I'm 100% sure. It does cloud the Quranic narrative. So we are giving this, by the way, again, as just one example. That for you guys, Quran is not the Muhaymin. Mirza Ghulam is the is the is the is the Muhammad. Whatever comes from Mirza Ghulam, you twist everything according to that. Okay, so please note down these three four things I said, and I need the answer, Razi. Okay, I wrote them down. I'll answer them all. I wrote them so Brother Imran doesn't have to repeat them if I miss any. My brother Muhammad Imtiaz can tell me. So, brother, before, just before you start, I just want to make an announcement. Um, uh, brothers and sisters in the chat, we would really appreciate. Uh, some decorum I, I want you to be polite to each other um, I don't want you to say things that would be offensive to either Ahmadi or, or uh, the, the Muslims Just please avoid doing this uh, this is actually although this looks like we're arguing we're not we're trying to come to an understanding these conversations can be difficult they will be toing and froing but none of us are personally disrespecting brother Razi and the same the other way around he's not personally disrespecting any of us we're going to have disagreements what the way to get to the bottom of the disagreement is to continue with these arguments in a respectful way. It's not going to be uh, just uh, politeness for the sake of politeness. We're, we're being firm where we need to be firm, and Brother Raz is firm with us when he needs to be firm as well. I really would appreciate if anyone in the chat only say those things that reflect how they believe the Prophet peace be upon him would have spoken to the people around him and treated the people around him. Please be respectful to each other, inshallah. Uh, let's raise the standard of the, the comments, please, inshallah. Sorry, Brother Raz, I wanted to make that comment. Go go forward, please. Yes, so... Do you remember the questions? That I, I know yeah. that I may have talked to. I, even in Tiasab, I think during his time, he thought I'm not listening because he said others should listen, but I make notes on everything and I'm listening carefully. Anyhow, the first thing you said is that that was not exclusive. I explained how Allah the Almighty protected Hazrat Isa the... Razi, Razi, the first question is, what is the source of Mirza okay. Ghulam for passion narrative? Okay. So I so added this what, question second, because Imran you, said that. So, so the, let me just, because uh, I, you know, I said that um, uh, you've heard and that's fine. Let me just clarify. So where is the passion narrative from or the sahih, uh, uh, the tarikh sahih, where, where is that from, this this true uh, history? The second thing is, uh, Maryam Islam had a husband according to the Bible. Why would this have caused any any surprise about the birth, even if it was early? Why would she have been uh, accused of being unchaste? And the last thing is, it's, it, it seems as if what actually trumps uh, the the uh, any, anything from the Quran, even the Quran narrative, is the statements of Ghulam Reza Ahmed. That's the the position that Brother M. Charles is putting forward. So these are these are three straightforward, okay. well, maybe not yeah. straightforward, but three things that are put forward to you. So please, I'll, I'll start your time again. Okay, so uh, the go. first question is that Pash, uh, Hazrat Ahmed is claiming everything from the Bible. This is not true. In his books, for example, Masih Hindustan, he quotes the verses of the Quran to show that Hazrat Isa salam, traveled after the persecution. And not in Masih Hindustan, in Hakikatul Wahi, wa awaynahuma ila rabwatin zata kararin wa ma'in. So that's a Quranic ayah which shows that after the persecution, because that's how the word awa is used, Hazrat Isa salam, was protected by Allah. So that's from Quran. Then there's a narration which is mawkuf, sahih, and also marfu to Nabi Sassam, which says that al ghuraba will be united with Isa Lassam on Yom al qiyamah They asked who are Ghuraba. Nabi Sassam said that it is those who flee for their deen 
Then Ibn Kathir and Kisasul Anbiya also explains that it is said that one reason Masih is given this name is because he did Firar for his deen from the fitan and Takzeeb of Yahud. So I gave you Quran, Hadith and your own ulama who accept that this was said as well. And uh, that's my time. Sorry, Imran Saib. Uh, the time actually didn't start. Um, yeah, sorry. So one second before you. So quote the quote the hadith again, please. I'll stop okay, your I'll, time. I'll open it up. One second. One second. I'll uh, just pause uh, your time because I, I want to understand your point. Yeah. I still have the other two questions to answer. But yeah, yeah, I understand. Let me just. Uh... Because the question was about the the narrative, and you you are you answering from a fleeing from their dean perspective. Yeah, yeah. But even the hadith, what were you quoting? It's opening one sec. Sure. Okay, so I quoted two, three references. The first one is from Kitabul Fitan. I have the Takhrij here as well. It says Mawku Sahi. Haddasana Abdullah bin Amr bin al Askala Ahabu Shay Lallahi Tala al Ghuraba that the most beloved thing to Allah are the Ghuraba. It was said Ayu Shay il Ghuraba who are the Ghuraba Kala Allah Dina Yafiruna Bidini him Yujmauna ila Isabna Maryam. It is those who flee for their deen, they will be united with Isa ibn Maryam. This is the narration I gave from this uh, book. There's a few others as well. Uh, and what is it that, what is that, this is, that, what is this proof of? This proves that this was a quality of Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. This is that why. The Hurabah will be with him. Sorry? That the Hurabah just... will be with him. Pardon? That the Ghuraba will be with him. Yes, the Ghuraba are those you fear runa bidini him why yujmauna ila Isa ibn Maryam. Yeah, but what is that proving? What are you this to prove? proves that the quality of Isa Lassam is that he was among the Ghuraba. He fled for his deen. This is what the narration is clearly saying. So you're sorry. I, I know that I because I, I try to. I'm trying to really. I am trying to understand what you're saying. So you were trying to establish where the parish narrative came from and you're quoting a, a reference which is I a general said reference. the passion narrative came from there i said that was the Ahmed the lesson, no the question was where is he getting his statements from and no, his entire theory so, okay then i misunderstood it. the question but, uh, you okay. said is passion yeah okay I, you I can hear ask you. It again. so the question was specifically about the passion narrative because that is the thing that we don't find in the quran and this is what's being asked about, which is one of the positions that the Ahmadi hold. So, and this is why I was trying to understand how is this a proof of this? And, and, and this is a general statement. It can be applied to any position. If someone, if anyone today got up and said, I am I'm Isa al -Islam, and then they went off and people followed him, they could say, yeah, this applies to us. It's, it's a general statement, you understand? So it wouldn't specifically provide evidence for the position that you're giving. Um, so, okay, I'll start your time again, actually. Um, I'm sorry, because I, uh, this question specifically, I'll remind you again. Where did the passion narrative that the Ahmadiyya believe in come from? Okay, Where so, is that from? So has it and so, uh, and the, the, the fact that uh, Maryam was married to her husband, why would this cause any problem with the birth yeah. of Jesus' peace poem that the people complain? And the last thing was, it appears as if Ghulam Raza Ahmed is uh, the one who is actually trumping the... Um, you know the the uh, Quran. Okay. Uh, you know, I know you don't hold this position. Uh, you would say that, but this is how it comes across to us. So those three questions: passion okay. narrative, a married woman giving birth. What's the big deal? And then uh, okay, so I'll quickly answer. Please, the yeah. first question is that where does Hazrat Ahmed al get this from? And you're claiming that if it's not passion narrative, Imtiaz Bay saying no. So I misunderstood the question again. You can repeat it again, brother Razi. Uh, uh, let me explain. Maybe uh, I'm assuming maybe you don't know what is passion narrative. I'm, I'm assuming this by the way. Boring, wait, 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 wait. When we say uh, it's a it's a very specific biblical language, passion narrative. For example, what it involves? Jesus, uh, Jesus being arrested, for example. Jesus being put on the trial in the court of Pontius Pilate. Jesus being flogged, mocked. Jesus being put on the cross. Jesus being taken down and being put in the tomb these are the okay. main episodes of the passion narrative and all of them by the way all of them by the way okay they are accepted by mirza ghulam 
and I, 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 I have the obligation to give it. And all of that is, is, is there, by the way, no problem at all. So this is what we call passion narrative. Now, what is the question, Razi? Because you are saying that Mirza Ghulam's epistemology or source of knowledge in this case is not Bible, it is Quran. We're asking you, either show us from the Quran this passion narrative, number one, number two, or admit, or admit that Mirza Ghulam is quoting from the Bible passion narrative or according to Mirza's own claim, give us those authentic history which Mirza Ghulam is claiming to be having which nobody knows. Okay. okay? Exactly. So, so wait, 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 wait. So from these three things, please frame your answer so which can address the question. And, okay. and by the way, the third question was, you need to give us an exclusive miracle of Isa alayhi salam. Okay. You said that you have in your mind, you need to tell us that. What is that? So the first question of this flogging being mocked, put on the cross and being taken down, the passion narrative also includes him being killed. So clearly Hazrat Ahmed is not taking everything from the gospel. His base is the Quran and a hadith and anything he said does not contradict the Quran or a hadith. As for him being flogged, mocked, etc. Let me finish. I'll answer your question as well. He never claimed this is in the Quran, Brother Muhammad. We we're, never not that, we're not saying that he claimed this in the Quran. Yeah. So the details, the, the details, we agree. Many of them are from the Bible, but a lot of it is... So this is what we wanted Razi, from you, Razi. Razi Can you I deny, finish? You deny, this, is, this is called the backbone of your narrative. It's not. not, now you're it's not the backbone. Let me finish. I'll give you Quran now. It's not the backbone of okay. our narrative. Listen, Let me listen, just listen, finish listen, my listen, time. Listen, because people want to understand, brother. It okay. is not just yeah. your time. Alhamdulillah, okay. our time is precious as well, yeah. Razi. Yeah. Understand this, okay? Respect our time as well, okay? Razi, passion narrative. It is the details Mirza Ghulam yeah. is giving us. And you said in the past repeatedly many times that his narrative is rooted in the Quran. Yeah. We're asking you, Either give us passion narrative. Listen, either give us passion narrative from the Quran or admit that he took all of it, all of it from the gospel, except without having any evidence from the Bible. He inserted in the Bible that he was not killed on the cross. Okay. okay. If he is using the passion narrative, then he need to establish that from the passion narrative on what basis he disagrees on one detail. So because this is his so, narrative. Yeah. I understand is, now. I understand. No, 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 no. You're not. You're not ready. Listen the question very carefully. Passion narrative is not rooted in the Quran. It is rooted in the Bible. Mirza Ghulam is going away on one point from the passion narrative. That is. Him being, he is being killed on the cross. He need to establish from the passion narrative on what basis he is not accepting this one. So I, th I think what we should do, brother Imtiaz, is let's rather than having more than one question, let's just answer this specific question first, yeah. because this gets to the root of where where is this information coming from about the the passion narrative in the Ahmadi yeah. belief. Yeah. So. So let's let's deal with this question first, Razi, and then what we can do is we can the other questions we can come to because really this is the crux of the matter. And brother okay, Intel has laid it out for you. Yeah. So there's nothing sort of hidden, or we're not trying to trap yeah. anyone. We're just trying to find out the, where is this where is this um, passion yeah. narrative from? You share my screen, actually. Yeah, let's we'll share your screen, and I'll yeah. start your time. So Let me just has, reset that. Yeah. So minutes. the details, brother Muhammad Imtiaz, Hazrat Ahmad al Asam never claimed all these little details. Or in Quran or Hadith, we accept they're from the Bible, but the basis is in the Quran and everything is proven from the Quran. For example, in Surah Mu'minun, it speaks of many of the Anbiya being rejected and what Allah did with those who denied. Then it says, وَجَعَلْنَا Maryama wa ummuhu ayatan wa awaynahuma ila rabwatin zati kararim wa ma'in. So this shows that after persecution, Hazrat Isa al was... Could you translate that, please? Translate yes, so, that, please. and we made the son of May and his mother a son and gave them refuge on a high ground, a suitable place for rest with flowing water. The point is, everything's base is the Quran and a hadith. Details, yes, there are some details from the Bible, like him being put on explicit words, although we can prove it from Quran as well, that your narrative, the five things you believe that we've explained many times, nothing is in the Quran. As for our basis, it's in Quran and a hadith. I quoted, but, 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 Razi, and I just finished, I'm almost done. 
Okay, because you're you're not providing you're doing the same thing again that I've stopped you previously for, is that you're not providing evidence for your position. If Quranic ayah is not evidence, but you the are not providing no evidence, evidence you are not providing no, no, brother. This is just emotional blackmail. I'm being I'm not saying I'm not saying anything no about the Quran, I'm, uh, brother Razi. I'm not saying anything about the Quran. I'm talking about you. That you are not providing evidence for your position, or the position that you're providing is that uh, the passion narrative is in the Quran. I said the basis, brother. I and didn't say every you, little detail. Basis, no, the basis that you example, gave was Isla rejection. Being persecuted you, by the, the, the basis that you gave was rejection, which is a general. Uh, all the prophets are rejected by their people. I said and then, and I, I understand. And then you gave the, 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 um, that uh, the, the son of Mary was to, uh, took refuge on high ground. I don't know where you would insert that into the passion narrative. So um, what does that ayah mean to you? No, I'm asking you the question because the point here is, is what does it mean to you? Can you what tell are you, me what, what the are you saying? Is. What is it? What is it that you think? Because you're providing that as an evidence for something. Yeah. What is it that you're providing that as an evidence for? Well, I use that verse, and how much seconds do I have left? Because I was about to quote the hadith again as well. I'll, so I'll, how much I'll, time I'll, do you want to give me? I'll give you ninety seconds, no problem. But you t you first explain, because the whole point here is is that it's not about. Um, it's not about the because we want to. I want to get to the bottom of this. It's not yeah. really just about, uh, um, you know. Let me actually open the verse so again. What What do you think? I want you to tell me what do you believe that you are evidencing when you give that verse. So give the verse, and tell us what part of the na passion narrative you think that this is talking about, please. Yeah. So I'll start your time this, when you start. To... Yeah. This verse awe nahuma, the Arabic word awa is you quote, when... quote it quote it fully, brother, because I want the people to understand. Okay, chapter I'm, I'm you hoping want me your to time. The Arabic, you mean? I, I know I want you to give the reference. Okay, Let's hear the verse in full and then I want you to explain what you okay. think this might mean, please. One second. Let me open it up. So which surah was it? Chapter 23, verse 50. 23 verse 50. Yeah, I'll share this my is how we, This is how we get the people to clarify for themselves yeah. when they're looking at exactly. this. So you can share my screen again, and then I'll give you our... I, you have to, and the question specifically was, what is it about the passion narrative that you think this verse yeah. is evidencing, please? Yeah. Okay, so our claim is that the narrative of Hazrat Ahmad Al-Assam, the basis is in the Quran and a Hadith. And the verse of the Quran is clear that وَجَعَلْنَا بْنَ مَرْيَمَ وَأُمَّهُ Ayatan wa awe nahuma ila rabwatin zata zati kararin wa ma'in. And the tafsir of this is good that the word awa. Let's give the meaning, brother, and then give yeah. the. So the transition's on the screen. I think it's a same. Yeah, just read it out so the people can. Because you read the Arabic. Read the translation. He and his mother assigned and sheltered them within a high ground having level areas and flowing water. And awa in Arabic is used that after hardship. They are given ease. This is used throughout the Quran for us. Habikahaf, even Nabi says, Alam Yajitka Yatiman Fa'awa Awe Nahuma. Here is used in the same way, and it's always used like this in Arabic. So it shows Hazrat Isa went to persecution. This is called Ishara to Nas. Everyone does it. For example, Hazrat Isa, you're, 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 you're not responding to the question, and brother. You don't let the brother person Rezi, make their point. Brother Rezi, Brother, with all respect, it happens all the you're, time. You're making, I am giving an example. You're making, you're making a point. So everyone making, understands. You're not what answering I'm the saying. question that's being asked, brother. Isn't you're, that for the viewers the to question, decide to no, see it's, who's it's not. I'm, who's I'm moderating, so I'm trying to get you to clarify. You're going to say I'm never you, answering. You, you are. You, if that's how you think that we are conducting this, or I'm conducting this, then my apologies. And then, if you don't trust our yeah, interaction, I apologize. You can. You, I apologize. The point here is, is that you you gave a uh, like you gave a reference about. Uh, uh, Ulul Azam, which was general. This is it. And we made the son of Mary and his mother a sign, and we gave them refuge on high ground, a suitable place for rest with flowing water. The, the question you're, the, you're producing this as an evidence for is the, the passion narrative. Where in the passion narrative does this fit, brother? Where do you, which part of it is it the, I don't, I don't understand from this. Yeah, he migrated. After Where is the, the migration? So you, so I just want to clarify this. You believe that this verse, and we made the son of Mary and his mother a sign, and gave them refuge on high ground and a suitable place for the rest with flowing water, is migration. Yes, after hardship. Can you tell me what the verse means? I've read it to you. No, what does the verse mean? What where? What does Awe Nahuma here mean? 
When did this incident occur? Do you know? I, I don't know. I, okay. I, I, you're asking me? I don't know. He, but the point I here is... Answer. Don't worry. I will give the answer. answer. But the point here is, is that your, your, your claim is that this is about migration. Yeah. Okay. So you're... Because so of the, the word Awa. So which yeah. part of the passion narrative is the migration? Exactly. So this is where I was saying that we don't believe in everything in the Bible that he yes, was killed. No, but, but see how the, the Rosie, you just allow me point. to finish, then no, you'll no, understand no, why. Like, wait, listen, Brother Rosie, look, I'm making a point to you. you that you've just told us that this is not part of the passion narrative. Because we don't believe in everything in the passion narrative. And the question we asked you was about the passion narrative. We don't believe in this everything why, in that. I said this, the little details why, aren't in Quran, the basis you, brother, is Quran. This is why I said to you that you were not answering the question being asked. So I would like you to provide evidence for the passion narrative. You said it was in the Quran. Yeah, I gave it from the Quran. That you the gave, something, you Quran. gave this verse, which is non-passion narrative. It shows he was persecuted and then he fled from persecution. Just like the Hadith that's I gave you. So it's a general statement, the I Russian agree. It's it's not general. I, I never claimed it's Muhkam Ayat that says he was put on the cross, he was wounded. I never claimed this is written in the Quran. Ever. I'm saying the basis of the uh, the uh, the belief of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community is in the Quran. Everything we say is the basis in the Quran. As for you, claim that he wasn't put on, he wasn't wounded. You have nothing from the Quran. So are you saying? I'm going to clarify then. I don't know. You guys continue. have nothing for your uh, point you, either. We you, actually you, have evidence, brother, brother Razi. Could you clarify for us then? The passion narrative in the specifics that were mentioned to you is not in the Quran. Then, in those words, hundred percent, it's not. We said this last stream as okay, well. So by the way. we agree. Okay, that's fine. This is what we were trying. This is the point that we were Please, making. We don't find, the passion, knows this. He knows we don't we find the passion narrative in the Quran, and it's taken yeah. us this long for you to agree with us. We okay, don't brother, believe Jesus. Isa lesson was killed, brother. That's I, the passion I know you don't. We, that's not the issue here. We're talking There's about no the verse that says he was killed in the Quran. So of course it's no, not I found in the Quran. So let's we we can come to this now. But we've uh, we've uh, we've actually made headway. Okay. This is actually headway. We've made some points. So let Brother Imtiaz uh, please uh, continue, please. Jazakallah, uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim So, Alhamdulillah, it has been admitted that passion narrative is not in the Quran. And let me make my clear statement. Zero percent. None of it is in the Quran. None of it is in the Quran. The ayah he quoted this is a very common tactic of, and by the way, uh, I have the book which normally, you know, Razi uh, uses those, all of those scans. So this is a very normal tactic of the Ahmadiyya clergy to throw an ayah in the discussion and then prove from that whatever they want to prove. Razi, in your turn, you are going to quote us one Mufassir. I give you four credible names as per Mirza Ghulam. Tabri, you love Tabri, right? Jaluddin Suyuti, Okay, Ibn Kasir and the Makshiri. I give you four names and on purpose I give you these four names. They are highly praised by Mirza Ghulam in very, very lofty words. So I gave you four names. Note down those four names from any of them. Quote the tafsir of the ayah you're quoting so people can know just throwing an ayah in the discussion does not prove anything. Don't play the tricks, please. Okay, now. When you admitted that passion narrative, and I said 0%, 0% of passion narrative is rooted in the Quran. Now, listen this point really carefully because you have some issue to understand the point. If a narrative is made up of details, and those details are not in, number one, they are not in the Quran. Number two, they are not in any credible source then how can we say, okay, details are not in the Quran, details are not in the credible source, but narrative is still proven. What kind of logic is that? What kind of logic? And secondly, these are not the fruy messiah. No. All the details of Aqidah, they are, they are part of the Aqidah. For example, when we say Tawheed, Allah is one, then we describe the details. They are not the fru'ah. They are the details of the Aqidah. Please use the terms properly. Okay. And last point is, uh, yes. So just to make simple for you and for the people, in your turn, you have to tell us if all the details, 0% of your details are in the Quran. Number one. Number two, 
you are, you have your source in the bible which you have proven it is not credible source on what basis you have the audacity to claim that your narrative is still proven tell us on what basis number 2 quote the ayah the tafsir of that ayah from any of this form of asirun that's it just two points yes so first thing you mentioned that you admit passion narrative is not in the quran we believe isa lesam was in kud wama qataluhu but his death is in the quran and that is our narrative that hazrat isa lesam died a natural death and he will never return and it's obvious that those ayat will never be discussed here second thing you said is that all of this is aqida that is not true because hazrat ahmed lesam throughout his books has said that aqida has to be qatiu dalala you believe hazrat isa lesam was raised to his raised to the skies with his earthly body some say age 33 whatever age you want to give he's alive in the skies for 2000 years his body and face were switched and the substitution theory is true and it's from nabi sasam allah is limited to the throne and isa salam was raised to him hazrat isa salam is alive in the skies sleeping for 2000 years where is this in the quran your entire aqeedah is built on these five points nothing is in quran nothing is in ahadith what we claim that isa salam uh, faced persecution people planned against him wa makaru wa makar allah wallahu khairul makirin we have our bases in the quran hazrat ahmed lesam says quran to isa lesam died will never return the other details he never said this is in the quran in these words let me give you an example from sahih al bukhari abdullah bin masud radiyallahu anhu one of the greatest sahaba he said it's written in the quran that those women who tattoo they're cursed Someone said, "I read the entire Quran. Where is this?" Then he said, "Wa ma atakum al Rasul fa khuduhu, wa ma nahaakum anhu fantahu." Now, whatever the Rasul gives you, take whatever he forbids you, put it away. So this is what is called isharat to nas. Our basis is in the Quran and the Hadith. I gave you the Hadith that Isa lesam the Ghuraba will be with him. Those who fled for persecution, Ibn Kathir gives one of the meaning of Masih to mean one who fled. Ferrarahu for takzib. As for the Mufassirin question, we don't believe any of these four Mufassirin said that that ayah refers to Isa. No, is that a criteria or truth? Mufassirin are not hujja for us, and they're not hujja for you either. Zakmullah. Imran, Imran, but should I continue? Imran, you are muted. Uh, yes, brother. Please, please continue. Asmi, how much time do you want to give me more? Because others are waiting. I don't want to be the only one. You I I would be, love to stay, but you will be having as much time as you want. Inshallah. So whenever you want to leave, brother Rosie, just, just I never okay. want to leave. I love these discussions. Okay, no problem. We we'll leave it with you. Here now, for others. let's come to the point. Okay, let's come to the point. So, uh, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. First thing I want to clarify because sometimes you know all of these things are. Said in a very loud voice to give some impression. Our belief with regard to Isa alayhi salam, I promise on this stage, live in front of the audience, every single thing we believe, Razi. Listen, look at my face, Razi. Every single thing we believe, insha Allah, I will give you Quran and Hadith. Okay, so don't worry about that. Now, you said that Abdullah ibn Abbas, Razi Allah Taala anhu, great mufassir, Razi. With regard to your belief, I said Abdullah bin Masood. Okay, okay, no problem. Are you happy to make Abdullah ibn Masood, radiyallahu taala anhu, as the judge between you and us in this matter? Can I answer now or in my turn? Very quickly, in ten seconds. Al Qaul al Sahabi leisa bi hujja usul al Ahlul Hadith. If this is Mawsa, but yes. No, 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 no. That's it. That's it. That's it. Now. Why I said this, my dear viewers, Alhamdulillah, Muslims they are not here to play any tricks. Inshallah, our job, basically, Allah Taala, is to expose who they are actually. You see that he, he dropped the name of a Sahabi when I asked him, make him the judge, and immediately he retreated. Then what is the point to quote him? If you don't want to trust a Sahabi, why did you quote him? If you don't. Now listen, this very carefully. Can I just clarify that because it's a very important point. Um, because because this is a very this is like a a, a very interesting way of t- trying to argue. So you you referred to a specific companion, 
And then in response to whether or not to make this compact, because you said this is a, someone who's in, uh, in, in uh, tafsir you should use, interpretation you should use, so is as an evidence. And when it was asked for you, okay, can we use this as an evidence to judge between us? You said in Arabic, but not in English. So please clarify the words in English for us. What are the words? All the Sahabi leysa bi hujja is the aqidah of the Ahlul Hadith that I want the, you to state this, the call of a Sahabi is never hujja. Okay, so what? So that's it, that's I want that's what we wanted to know. So that so the point here is is that you 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 put forward a name, who then you said if it was quoted back to you with evidence, it would not be evidence for you, and you, and this is interesting because you have to apply and the same standard. Dad. You have to apply that same standard when you're talking. Brother M. Charles, please carry on. Jazakallah, but this was very important clarification because it is one of the... I love you, Razi. It is one of the tactics, you know, they use that they throw names of the books. They throw names of the scholars. They throw... No one agrees with you, Razi. Not a single one. Don't quote... The... If you want to quote a name, my request to you will be make him the judge. Okay? Let's see how we go. And now the next point is you said that, uh, you know, this ayah, you know, uh, is not muhkam. Razi, you have said in, in different streams, if an ayah has multiple meanings, then this ayah cannot be used to prove a point. I, I, I hope you still agree with that. Now, why did you quote that ayah then? Because you admitted it has multiple meanings. And you know, your principle, you always say, if ayah has multiple meanings, that can't be as hujja. Then why did you quote that ayah? So now, just to summarize, because I, there was a bit of pause in my turn. So I only have from Razi to you two questions. Okay. Question number one. Which Sahabi you are going to make a judge between us and Ahmadiyya to judge this matter between us? Or are you going to pick one of the great... I gave you four names. I can give you many, by the way. Okay. And then you, I, I let you choose. Because the reason I'm saying this... If you are not, you said that the, you, you quoted a Sahabi and then you said that the saying of the Sahabi is not hujja. It does not, it, it cannot prove something. Then why did you quote the Sahabi? You need to answer in your turn. You quoted a Sahabi, you called him a great Sahabi, but then you said that when I said, okay, let's make him judge, you don't want to make him judge. You said his, his, his statement is not hujja. Explain this point. Just only one point. Explain this one. Jazakallah. So, Imtiaz Bhai, you're well read on your fiqh, but it upsets me that you yourself have the same view as me. You do not believe the aqwal of Sahaba or Hujja unless there's ijma. For example, in Majmu al Fatawa, Ibn Taymiyyah, your Mujaddid, he explains that those people who say from the. Sa no, brother, from the brother, can I just brother, finish? But I'm can, answering you can, his you point. You can finish, but I, I want to just. Just to make the oh yeah, I shouldn't say your mujaddid. I just yeah, remembered. Just I don't, I yeah, that without that. implying I things that are unnecessary. I Please haven't tell. seen you in so long, so I no, forgot no that advice. Okay, it's so the, nice the, speaking, the nice. scholar Ibn Taymiyyah, Rahmullah, the giant scholar of Ahlul Hadith, he explains that the call of Sahabi is not a hujja. This is the belief of the Ahlul Hadith. So why do you quote them? The Sahaba made mistakes, they are not masoom, and many Sahaba made mistakes, and they were some Sahaba corrected other Sahaba. Do you believe the aqwal of every Sahaba becomes hujja? Of course not. So, why do you quote them? I quote them when what they're saying is in line with Quran and Sunnah. If I find something against it, we cannot accept it. And this is your belief as well. This is why Ibn Taymiyyah speaks about. For example, Abdullah ibn Umar and others as well and where they were corrected. Number one. Number two, you said which Sahabi will you make as a judge between us? I make the Quran the judge between us and I make the authentic ahadith the judge between us because Allah says in the Quran itself that the judge is the Quran. وَمَنْ لَمْ يَحْكُمْ بِمَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهِ فَأُولَيْكَ هُمُ الْكَافِرُونَ فَأُولَيْكَ هُمُ الظَّالِمُونَ فَأُولَيْكَ هُمُ الْفَاسِقُونَ So the judge is the Quran. If anything contradicts Quran and authentic hadith, then we do not take it. You said, which mufassir will we make a judge between us? Is there any mufassir who you accept everything in his tafsir? Every single word? Of course not. If you do, give us his name. Is there any companion Every single thing you he said, you believe in it. For example, Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu used to believe that whenever you eat cooked food, you have to do wudu. Is that hujja for you? Do you do wudu every time you uh, eat cooked food? Because Ulama said Ibn Abbas corrected him. 
So is he, what's your view on that? So Sahaba or Hujja for you either, brother, unless it's in line with Quran, Sunnah, or there's Ijma of Sahaba. This is Ibn Taymiyyah's view. This is the Ahmed view. This is why we quote them, because we love them all. Yeah. So this is interesting, because what you've spoken about is the reasons why we shouldn't accept your previous statement about bringing up uh, Ibn Masood on this matter. And it's very, it's very, because you, because this is the whole point of this question. It's highlighting the, the standard that you were applying, that you wouldn't apply to yourself. You gave reasons for that. And this is the point. You, you have to be consistent with your standard of evidence. Um, so I think that, um, Brother M. Chachin, continue. But I think the question really was about the details of the, the passion narrative. And uh, the, and we agree that they're not from the Quran, which is, which is a great headway. The question then is that if the if... If what then is the source? The source you have to provide. I think it would be the Bible. But I, you know, let's see if you agree with this. And then there was this this a question. We the reason we sort of sidetracked onto uh, the, the call of the companions was because of the seal of the Ayah twenty three fifty that you were quoting earlier. Now, brother and Charles, if you can continue, so we can just clarify the second two points about what credible source, and then um, the, the, the seal of the Ayah, please, because if it's not forthcoming, we may as well present it. I apologize, I forgot to answer the tafsir no, no question. Problem. You can come to it in your next round. round. If Imtiazbe wants to give me 20 seconds, I'll quickly You, you can do it in your next round. Like, okay, take 20 yeah. seconds. Yeah. Yeah. So I never in my whole turn, Brother Muhammad Imtiaz, I claim that that ayah is moh. It doesn't mention Kashmir's name. That's well, it. I said That's it's tafsir it. given by Hakim I got the answer. That's it. That's it. So, uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So obviously, uh, as Imran Bhai said earlier, uh, with regard to something else, but that was relevant, that sometime in the discussion, many things are coming. And obviously, in two minutes, you have to then point out to something which is more important. You said that for you, Quran is the hakam. In your turn, you have to tell me that, am I right to say the khawarij, khawarij on the, on the dispute with Sahaba, did they say that Quran is the hakam number one? And number two, then what was the response given to them from Sayyiduna Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu? If you know the response, tell us. If you don't know, tell us that you don't know. That's it. I'm done. Just this one point and I'm done. Okay. So this is a question about the statement the Quran is the hakam, and then yes, because he said Imran, but because yeah, he said that for them Quran is the hakam. With regard yes. to this point, I asked him two questions: that was it is is it true that the Khawari said that Quran is the hakam between them and the and the Sahaba number one, and number two, then what was the response of Sayyidina Ali Razilah Taala? No, same is my response. Okay, I'll just restart your time. But the Razi is clear, isn't it? Yeah, so I'll answer his question. First thing is, Brother Muhammad Imtiaz, you didn't answer anything I asked you. I asked you that are all the aqwal of Sahaba hujja for you, or do you agree with Ibn Timi that al kawla Sahabi laysa bi hujja? This is my first question. Number two, you said, why do you give us one Mufassir's hakam between us and you accept everything in his tafsir? You have to name the Mufassir. You accept everything he said. You have to name that Mufassir today because you're demanding it from us and you have to name the Sahabi as well. Then third question I gave you about Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu and Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu where he corrected him. And how about Hazrat Umar radiallahu anhu when he said that Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa is alive and did not then he will return to kill the hypocrites. Was that hujjah? If it is, why don't you believe that today that Nabi Sassim is alive? If you accept today that Nabi Sassim is alive, we will agree with you that Hazrat Isa is alive as well. Open offer to you. Except Nabi Sassim is physically alive in disguise with his body. I'm ready to accept so is Hazrat Isa So you have to explain when Hazrat Umar said that was the Hujana, you asked about the Khawarij point. Now I'm not 100% certain of Hazrat Ali's response, but everyone says Quran is Hakam. Does that mean it's wrong? We have to see who is Quran actually with. That's the question, right? And I'm claiming that Quran is with us, that Hazrat Isa has died and will never return. And we have so many muhkam ayat. I repeat the word muhkam ayat. And your five aqaid points, none of them are in Quran and a hadith. And Brother Imtiaz claimed that his belief is Quran and a hadith. And he can prove all these five points from Quran and a hadith. 
Brother Muhammad Imtiaz, if you do it today, Ahmadiyya ends. Let's throw every topic away. Just prove these five points from the Quran, Muhkam Ayat. Ahmadiyya finishes. You have these evidences. People need them, brother. It could save the Ummah. Show these evidences. You have them. It's not good to keep them away. We need these evidences, brother. They'll be really helpful. These five points from Quran. Jazakum That's Allah. really useful. Uh, we really appreciate you asking us to be straightforward and to the point. Uh, brother Imtiaz, uh, I'm going to reset your time. Uh, Imran, by, before you, uh, you start yeah. my time, my question was, obviously he said that my question had two parts. First yes, part yes. was that did Khawarij say that Quran is the hakam for us? So yes or no, Razi? Op open the speaker. Say it in the speaker. Yes, Khawarij said this. She has said as well. No, no, wait, Everyone wait, wait. My question, was, my question was, did Khawarij say Quran is the hakam between them and Sahaba? Yes, yes. Yes, okay. And you said that you don't know what was the Muslim position in response to this, right? Yeah. You don't know? Are you talking about when Hazrat Ali says they're against the Quran, we won't accept it? That my brother, I'm asking you. I don't know. Khawarij, no, wait, 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 listen, like listen to the question first. Listen to the question first. When Khawarij made this position, which unfortunately you made today, that they are were going to make Quran as Hakam. Okay. So this was the first time this issue came in. The Quran is going to be made the Hakam. Then Alhamdulillah, in our tradition, this claim, this claim. Kalimatul Haq, Yurida Bihil Batil. That this is a statement is true, but what they are meaning from it is falsehood. Now, wait, wait. I'm asking you this issue the Quran is going to be the Hakam between two groups. This was raised with the best of my knowledge, first time between the Khawarij and the Sahaba. I want to know from you. Don't just quote Sayyid Ali. You don't need to quote Sayyid Ali verbatim. No. Just tell me that what was the Muslim response. I want to know from your mouth. I give you one minute. Then I will start my turn. Is this not the Muslim response? Kalima tu haqi uridu bihal batil? No, no, no. When they said that we are going to make Quran as the hakam. Okay. In response to that. In response to that. What was the Muslim stance? They also they, believe Quran was hakam. Everyone believes Quran no, no, but, is hakam. Okay, okay. They said Quran is hakam. They said Quran is hakam. Then what was the discussion about? You this need to thing. tell me today. You need to tell me today, Razi. I'm not asking you to quote Sayyidina Ali verbatim or no. Just give me. Can you, a, can a you tell me? I don't know what you're referring to. No, no. I'm simply. I, no, I'm not referring to anything, Razi. I'm asking yeah. you that when this issue was raised, because you raised this issue again today with us. That you are going to make Quran hakam. Okay. The Quran to... says this, brother. Woman, brother, wait. My brother wait. This is exactly what Khawari said. I am saying to you, in response to that, what was the Muslim position? I want to hear from you. Or you say that you don't know Muslim history. I said I don't know what you incident you're referring to right now. No, you, you tell I me knew, whatever you know. You. you tell me whatever you know on Muslim position in response yeah. to the Khawari's position. That Quran is the hakam. They said that they want to make Quran as the judge between yeah. them and the Sahaba, right? Yeah. In response to that, what was the Muslim stance? Just paraphrase for us. Is it to go to the Sahaba? Uh, it, it was Sahaba, obviously, because it was yeah. between Sahaba and the Khawarij. Yeah. So tell me what was the Sahaba? I don't position? know. I don't know what you're referring to. I I actually don't know. Brother, so you I... don't need to tell us anything verbatim. No, I'm only asking you a simple question. Yeah. That when Khawari said that they want to make, as you said today, that, that they want to make Quran as the hakam, and they quoted the same ayah what you quoted. Yeah. What was the Muslim position in response to that without mentioning any reference? You have to see which understanding is right, obviously. Because anyone can quote the Quran. She has quote the Quran. Barelvi has quote the Quran. We have to see which ayat are in line with the tafsir of Nabi Sassam and in line with other ayat of the Quran. Okay, so if you if you want to give me this answer in a nutshell, then yeah. obviously we can make the claim as the Kalimatul Haq Urida Bihil Batil. Okay, we can make the claim that let's make the Quran judge. Okay, but obviously, now listen very carefully. Let me teach you something Razi, today. Okay. Then the, I'm just paraphrasing, by the way, without any reference at, in front of me right now. So they were given this response. The Quran cannot speak for itself. 
okay then they just just to make a ilzami jawab they say okay okay quran judge between us obviously quran can't speak okay at the end of the day quran needs to be interpreted which you already acknowledged yeah. right now my question to you is when it comes obviously quran is the hakam alhamdulillah we both have agreed we both have agreed that quranic ayat needs to be interpreted you tell me if somebody comes up with an interpretation of a quranic ayah which is contrary to our 13th centuries 13th centuries should we accept it or reject it okay so the first thing is brother muhammad imtiasib i'll let you i'll give you some extra time you didn't answer my question yeah i'm still waiting for that answer on qawla sahabi laysa bihuja you said why am i quoting you know uh, abdullah bin masud radiyallahu anhu and brother imran asked as well i'm asking you is the qawla of sahabi huja i give examples as well i don't want to repeat them so once you answer that then i'll answer this question so brother reza you yeah, there's a point the point here is with your question this the point you're making is against your position that you had earlier because you are the one that brought uh, abdullah bin masud up as an evidence yeah and then when it was and then it was the, the position was put to you that do you accept everything that he said by this companion would you make that a judge between us you said in response to that you quoted this that the the statements of a companion are not evidence sufficiently yeah so and now you're asking us to take the same position that you take no i'm asking you your position i'm not forcing sure. you i can't so this, like okay. Okay. Dean, brother okay that's fine i'm no just problem. asking your view that's fine but well, the point here is is that you the thing that you're saying it, it doesn't make sense of why you would quote that companion in the first place if this is the statement you're going to make. Do you understand? Can I respond? So, why asking, I quoted him? Asking for asking for for his evidence uh, for the, for your position is, is unreasonable to do. Yeah. So the the point here really is is that you're we're we're dealing with this claim. Because we've sort of moved away from, okay. we're trying to establish something. Muhammad some other... Bates, actually, my two minutes. I just want the answer to that. Then I'll answer your questions. Okay, the ones sorry, you are. It's my sorry? two minutes. I just no, asked. We, we haven't. We have. We need to give you the question first. Yeah. No, I'm asking the Hujja question. Then I'll answer what you asked me. Because right now it's my turn. I just it, said it, before my it turn. Your turn. It was actually Brother Imtiaz's turn, and he was yes. asking you to clarify something. No, it's yes. actually my turn right no, now, no, but I said I'm before one, I start... I, I, no, it was actually Razi, his turn. Razi, he asked Razi, no problem, Razi. Look, Razi, look. I, I don't want to waste... Turn, okay, I'm happy to give... Even if it was my... I'll give you my turn, no problem, okay? Now, Razi, look at this one. When you ask me a question, or when I ask you a question, okay? If any one of us is dodging the question, people will see that, okay? We don't need to say... say because I can tell you right now, I asked you earlier, that give me one miracle of... Isa alayhi salam, that is exclusive to him. You did not answer. But uh, did I ask you to give me the answer? But I'm trying to say... Well, answer now. Wallahi, I forgot. Okay, I, I have okay, it okay, written give here. Okay, give me. Okay, you. give me. Give okay. me. Give me so, one. Give me one exclusive miracle of Isa. And this will not be the topic, by the way. Just okay. answer and we'll come to the back topic again, inshallah. So my answer to that is yes. what Ibn Taymiyyah says in a jawab as sahih. Wait, he, wait, wait, wait. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Again, same problem here. You are going to drop a name again, Ibn Taymiyyah. Yeah. Are you willing to make Ibn Taymiyyah a judge between us in this matter? Is he a judge on everything? Brother, in this matter of Isa alayhi salam. On the meaning of tawafa? On the matter of Isa alayhi salam. What you no, believe and what we believe. he was mistaken on it, but his work show both. Brother, so brother, brother wait. Understand the, the question first. The Quran okay? and Sahaba understand the question first. Because this is the problem. This is the tactic people need to understand. Okay, okay. okay. Before you drop name of a Sahabi, okay, yeah. I said that, are you willing to make this Sahabi, uh, not everything, on the matter of our belief and your belief with regard to Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam? You said no. Now you quoted Ibn Taymiyyah. I asked you the question, are you going to make Ibn Taymiyyah, if he is a knowledgeable person, yeah. as you are putting here, are you willing to make Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah as a judge between us and Qadiani or Ahmadis on the on the issue of Isa alayhi salam? Okay. If not, then why are you quoting these people? Okay, can Is I answer? Can yes, I answer? Yes. Brother Muhammad Imtiaz, by your belief 
is the same as our belief on quoting ulama. The aqwal of ulama are not hujah. Where Ibn Taymiyyah is right, I will quote him. Where he is wrong, I will not quote him. I will say he is mistaken because it goes against this ayah or this hadith. You do the same, Brother Muhammad Imtiaz Sahib. You quote so many ulama, but when they say something against you, you say, oh, they're wrong in this. Brother Adnan Rashid has said this about so many example. ulama. Give me an example. Of about Rashid? myself. About, no, no, you, you course, talking to me about yeah. myself. Of yes. where you quoted a scholar that you don't agree everything he said? No, no, no. You said that I quoted a scholar. Yeah. And then uh, apparently what I understood from your... You said that I quoted a scholar. Then I just backed off, not taking him as some hujjahs. What, what did you say? Okay, so let me... I'll have to think. Give me your top three scholars you believe are hujjah. My brother, no, no digression. You, 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 you understand. No digression. Okay, I don't get your you, point. Okay, fine. I'll give you tabari, 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 tabari. I give you tabari. You were going to give me. Look, tabari, tabari. People have understand. People yeah. have understand this 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 uh, discussion of quoting a sahabi and a scholar. People have understood that. Okay, let's move on to the top. You are going to give me. Wait, 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 just wait. You are going to give me. Before we went off topic, one exclusive miracle of Isa al Islam. Name me one miracle. I, I, I want to note down that. That one exclusive miracle to Hazrat Isa al Islam is how Allah the Almighty protected him from the Jews who were ready to kill him and crucify him in the wait, sense. Razi, wait, Razi, Let wait, me wait, finish wait, so you understand Razi, no, no, the no. miracle. Before that, Razi, before that, before that, you quoted the same thing. And when Brother Imran, he asked you, he questioned you on this one. You said you have more examples, but you did not give. So this time, give us another example. Okay, I'll give you another example for Hazrat Isa a.s. Okay. No, the miracle of Isa a.s. And you understand the definition of miracle, right? Give me the example of a miracle, a mu'jiza of Isa a.s. on which he is exclusive. Okay, so one mu'jiza where Hazrat Isa a.s is exclusive in the sense that it's a miracle but we don't say that he can do things that nabi system couldn't do this is why we're having an issue on this discussion you're because you, 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 believe, you, you believe Not he wasn't brother. touched by satan and nabi system was right brother, brother, so i can't the, first, brother no first give me the miracle yeah we you can discuss later on because what you're doing is you're giving the objection first from us which we haven't given you before yeah. you give us the miracle that because, you're going to because present. the reason is I don't so believe rather than he, trying to, but, but I don't brother, believe rather than he trying did to, that which Nabi rather than trying to preempt do. rather than that trying me, to preempt our next yeah. response nothing is exclusive to Isa lesson that Nabi system couldn't do there that's my brother my this is not my question this is not my question my question is not comparing Sayyidina Isa salam with Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam this yeah. is not my question but, my question brother is Allah subhanahu wa taala gave According to Muslims, Allah gave exclusive miracle to Isa alayhi salam. I don't believe Which, that he did wait, stuff wait, Nabi wait, didn't wait. do. Razi, okay. Razi, wait, Razi, wait. I want you to name today for the for the viewers one miracle of Isa alayhi salam on which he is uh, exclusive. Okay, so my answer is that I don't believe Hazrat Isa did anything that Nabi Sism couldn't do. So he can't be exclusive in the sense you're asking me because I don't okay, believe now, that. Just to clarify, just to clarify. So are, there are no exclusive miracles of Jesus peace be upon him. That Nabi Sism couldn't do, yes. No exclusive miracles of Jesus peace be upon him. That Nabi Sism couldn't do, yes. Yeah, however, you want no to long, qualify. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. not asking you to qualify the statement, I'm yeah. asking you for the statement. So yeah. you don't believe there are any exclusive miracles that Jesus peace be upon him That prophetism couldn't do. Because if he okay. did it, then it's no, no problem, longer exclusive. No okay. let, let, so now, let, so let, we've established another thing, which is very, very good. Yeah. Yeah. But that so, doesn't mean he didn't do miracles. Okay, give me which miracle? Which miracle? Give I me gave, miracle. The, gave the miracle of Allah protecting him. Where that nobody, is Allah protecting yeah, that's, him. That's not his miracle. All from miracles are from my Allah. Brother, for the look, 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 Razi. Look, Razi. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. You said that it, uh, you just said, few, you said that it does not mean that you don't believe in his miracles. We want to hear from your mouth a I miracle of Isa alayhi salam. So I believe all miracles are from Allah. Yeah, so we, My so brother, do we, brother, brother. You're avoiding the answer. So what I'm everybody saying is knows. the way the whole crucifixion happened, wa makaru, wa makar, Allah, wa Allah, wa makar, 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 wa
the crucifixion narrative we are discussing already i'm asking you because first you acknowledge that he is not exclusive in any miracle number 1 number 2 now is a different question you you need to name for us one of his miracle don't just say again the, the same you know okay so another miracle, miracle another miracle of his yeah. is the yeah. way he reached all the tribes of israel and preached the this? message okay wait 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 miracle after uh, uh, people listen this kid mother define yeah. miracle define miracle for us a miracle is something which normal human beings they obviously can't do on their own parts to define the help define miracle of according to mirza gulam ahmed I don't have the exact reference you're asking. I didn't prepare for this I give you, topic. I give you, I'm brother, talking I about give you, point one. I give you. And look, I give you. We have changed Razi, the topic. Razi, I give you. It is. It, it, it is. It is. Razi, wait, wait, wait. He called har ke adat supernatural, of which there is no precedent. Okay. This is everybody knows that something that cannot be explained through any natural explanation. Okay, that is a miracle. Har ke adat. You know this. We know this. Muslim know this. Now you need to tell us the example of Moses. According to this definition. So there's nothing Isa Lassam did that's exclusive to him that Nabi says. Okay, wait. To. Now let's, no, let's, you're, let's what make you're avoiding it. in your answer. Ramit, 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 Ramit. What you're avoiding Ramit, in your Ramit. answer is actually: is there any miracle? This is the question. So by by doing because. From my understanding, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, is that the Ahmadiyya don't believe in miracles? No, we do. He cured the sick, one, one for second, example. One, that's a one, miracle. One, one sorry, second. sorry, sorry. What, what, what? Has it Isa Lassam cured the sick? Where? What did he say, Mr. Gulam, about this one? Now I can give you a long answer. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. I can wait, give wait, you a long wait, answer. Wait, wait. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. The wait. debate with Abdullah Tham. No, 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 brother. There was a pond. There was a pond in Jerusalem. and from that pond people used to be healed before as well and perhaps isa according to mirza perhaps. gulam wait according to mirza gulam yeah. perhaps isa alayhi salam was using the mud from that pond yeah. is yeah. it a miracle this is, is refuting christians but the ibn taymiyyah did the same no, no, wait, no, wait, wait, give me 20 no, no. seconds now i'll open jawab as sahih okay. every no, miracle of isa wait, ibn no, no, taymiyyah says wait, wait, others not, did, not, it, as well. wait, wait, wait. did it as well he did it as well he did it as well it's not exclusive to me okay, don't speak talk, speak all speak in my turn no problem ready do you believe that according to quran with allah's permission listen carefully ready Isa alayhi salam used to make the birds from the clay with Allah's permission he would blow in them with Allah's permission they will become the flying birds do you believe in this i don't take your interpretation but one of the interpretations give me your okay. give me your so there's give four interpretations of this so i have to open them up But there's Hazrat Ahmad Al Asam has given four interpretations. The Quran says only Allah is the one who creates. You should tell me the birds we see right now. Uh, Rizzi, which ones are Isa Al Asam and which are? Rizzi, Rizzi, yeah. you're not answering the question, man. I am answering. You, what you're doing? What you're doing is you're you're going to the objection. Which birds you miss, are Isa Al Asam? Which you, ones you, are uh, Allah's? Can you show uh, uh, me? Rizzi. Razi, one second. What you're doing? You said, four, you said there are four. You said there are four explanations provided, and then you don't provide any of them. Instead, you go to your I'll objection. Provide them now. I'll provide so them the, now. The point here is, is that you avoid answering the question in a direct manner. So the question is being asked to you. Okay, if you think that there is another, uh, this this has another interpretation. Yeah. Please give us the interpretation. Okay, I'll open it up one sec. But by the way, Imtiaz, what was Ibn Wahab's view on this bird? Miracle? My brother, you please the, answer the question. First. You're doing you the same love, thing with the no, name I'm dropping, uh, Razi. So provide, the book. I'm provide, the book. provide your evidence from your. Uh, I'm opening the book one sec. It's amazing <laughs> how the topic was Nuzul and Wafat. Inshallah, in Inshallah, brother, Razi. I promise you, I'm going to link even the discussion of Mojazat with the topic. Don't worry at all. One sec. This is my promise to you, Razi. Yes, but you have to understand that it's Maghrib I time here. In five minutes, I have to go pray, but I'll be back. Um, one sec. There's a specific page where four 
interpretations are given by the promised Messiah. So I'm trying to get that exact page. Razi, uh, uh, let me tell you one thing. When you are pulling any reference, Razi, listen very this, my, this point very carefully. Once you, because we ask you the question about the miracle of the birds, any answer you give you, Razi, make sure that you have all the texts of Mirza Ghulam in front of you and you are going to harmonize them. Don't try to give one answer just to silent us now and end up digging the grave more deeper. Oh, don't worry. Yes. Okay, one See, had you announced this was the topic, all of this we would have had, right? This is the problem. And we came to discuss point one, but we knew it wouldn't be discussed. But anyhow, and it's Razi, not... Razi, just, Razi, look at this one. Razi, no, Razi, look at this one. I, 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 I am, I, Razi, look at this one. I said before, let me repeat for the sake of the viewers, yeah. every single Quranic ayah, Ahmadis use on this topic. I promise, inshallah, that will be discussed in the live streams. Okay, no, no, I said, no, listen, listen, no. listen. I told you before, we having a history of 150 years. Now the time has come. At least people can understand the narrative fully. The narrative. Can you fully. share my screen? Look, Imtiaz Bay, I'm looking for the tafsir and it's not even opening. This is my point that I'm going to the okay. next page. The tafsir isn't even opening on Al Islam, our official website. So I can't even find it right no now. No problem. You are, you are allowed to paraphrase your answer. On the, I, on don't the remember the, I don't remember on the, the exact. Yes. Yeah, so I don't remember the exact, exact tafsir of uh, all four points. But Hazrat Tahmud one interpretation he gave was that the people, they will become like soaring beings, like spiritual beings okay no no no, no the bird no, no, the, I'm, listen, I'm referring the birds, to the birds the, the, i'm referring the, the to birds the birds point the, yeah. the miracle of birds is being discussed on this one what is mirza Ghulam's position yes that's what i'm discussing brother but you don't i did not get the point please yeah. can you please repeat again your are you saying point? that the birds that the birds are actually referring to to being spiritually is it yeah yeah like so Allah says in the, the yeah miracle. we metaphorize it like Allah says in the other, quran the other... wing of nabi system he says put it over the people minar rahma so that's one interpretation another interpretation that i have read from hazrat ahmed lassam in nurul quran or nurul haq is that ibn wahab's view that um, he Isa Lesson would take bird clay, uh, birds of clay, blow into them, they would fly for a bit, then they would fall. This is one view he has given of Ibn Wahab. Was this his own view? I have to check again. I don't know. The third, no view, problem. Ready? Let's look, look, look. The let's, third, let's, view, inshallah, let's okay, let's inshallah because this was a, a side point. Let's inshallah because you gave your view. Yeah. Now I'm going to give my inshallah understanding and my reading of Mirza Ghulam. On this particular miracle of uh, this birds, okay. Keeping now look at this all one. his writings in mind, right? Yes. Listen, listen. It, it, it will be. Something. It's Maghrib Rani, 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 five listen. minutes. Just Rani, one. Listen. Thing. It's Maghrib Rani, time in five minutes. The mosque is right across the street. No so problem. Just give me, me to... one minute. Okay. Yeah, Just sure. give me one okay. minute to respond to this miracle of birds point. Then, inshallah, we can go. Now, brother, look at this one, Razi. I want viewers to pay attention. Mirza Ghulam declared the miracle of Isa as mesmerism. Okay, as mesmerism. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. Number one. Number two, with regard to birds specifically, he said that because Yusuf the, the carpenter, the father of Isa as in one sense, according to him, because he was a carpenter and because Isa as used to work with his father, he might have learned some techniques that how to make a bird and then press a certain part of the bird and it made to appear that as though as it is flying. Okay. This is how he interpreted in the miracle of birds. And he declared the miracle of Islam as Amal Turb, Amal Turb, and Amal Turb 
is maximalism with this interpretation is also coming from the jamaat not from us so i agree with that but he explained that because only allah is khaliq and if you looked at the birds today according to our some the birds of isa some of allah we don't believe that's that it, and so that's so one possible allah, interpretation he didn't say this just one second so mesmerism mesmerism is actually a, to do it it's a trick you mesmerize the people you trick the people to think something happened when it didn't happen in other nations right in past nations this was a common practice but hazrat ahmed alasam gave many interpretations of possible things can the, i finish he... can i finish okay. he okay. gave okay. possible interpretations of this example uh, of this uh, 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 what possibilities could have happened and ibn taymiya actually does the same in his book where he wait, says wait, 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 as well so it's not a miracle let him leave inshallah we can make the point once he's okay, gone i'll be no, back no. after the month yeah. we'll we're here, going inshallah. to bring we're going to bring another person on if wants your way but feel free to come back and we'll try to get you yeah. if i'll be listening but maybe others okay. can have a chance but if there's been last request it's almost maghrib time in three minutes actually not to miss if you can just have us you know uh Organized because you work well, really this, hard. This is very, brother Razi. This is organized. Please attend. No, the, it is organized. Experience. I agree. It's organized. I'm not saying that. Let me just let mention last thing, thing quickly. Let me just. Let, it's really organized. I agree. It's really I organized. It. Can we I just say one thing? Can I say one thing, the, please? You can message us and with your feedback. Can I just say imtiaz? Wait. Can I say one sentence quickly? All I'm asking is, it's really organized. You guys are respectful with time. I'm not disagreeing with that. Part. By organizing, I'm only saying topic wise. That's the all I request. Are also organized. Okay, according we, we, to you, yeah. So birds to have to do with the crucifixion. Uh, yeah. Okay. All, all the best. You, you take care. So, right. so what's really important uh, here? Ranbai, Ranbai, just for a second. Uh, yes, yes. I need to go to the toilet because I was drinking too much, too much water. So, inshallah, yeah. uh, no, no, I give you, inshallah, I give you, inshallah, a few minutes to, inshallah, wrap up the discussion. Inshallah, few things I'll I come back in inshallah two minutes, inshallah. No, no problem. No problem. That's fine. Jazakallah, Ranbai. So, so what's really important here is um, in this explanation of the clay birds, the all of the explanations are mechanisms of remo removing anything miraculous from them. So either they become the the birds become soaring beings, and so this is a metaphorical reference to people being raised to a higher spiritual status. It's not a miracle on uh, to do with birds at all. The words are changed in terms of their meaning or the other the other example put forward by uh, brother rosie was this uh, sometimes they fly for a bit and then they fall down i don't know what i don't even know what's meant by that is it actually a uh, miracle or, or didn't it work you know and then the, then the, this the example cited by um, brother uh, uh, mtrs from gulam Reza ahmed was mesmerism now mesmerism is i mean that's a charge against uh, Imagine telling telling someone that this thing that the prophet did, which looked like a miracle thing, was mesmer. He was mesmerizing the people. He was tricking the people, fooling their eyes, to bring this effect about. This is like magic. This is what the the magicians of Fir'aun did against Musa alayhi salam. They were playing tricks. They were mesmerizing the people with ropes and uh, metals that would move with the changing heat, like magnesium or whatever it might be. And this, and they mesmerized the people to think that this was a miracle that was happening, and it, and it was not. When Musa Islam was told to throw the staff, and he did, and he ate those other uh, fake ropes, the things that were moving around. Those magicians knew that this is not uh, our uh, the, what the Musa Islam was doing is not the same as what our magic is. This is something beyond that, and immediately accepted the the rub of uh, Musa and Harun alayhim salam. So, and then and then the third thing was this. Uh, this that these were some sort of mechanical things. This was the uh, that the that because Joseph was a carpenter, he taught Jesus peace upon him his skills, and the those skills were such that he was able to make a bird out of whatever and press some sort of button and it would start flapping and the people thought it's again another trick, another trick. So what what this explanation of metaphoricalizing uh, the, the miracles. It just further goes to bolster the position that you know I had put forward earlier that the the, the the Ahmadi generally they don't believe in miracles. They they make the claim 
but actually when you actually get down to the explanations of what that means is they don't believe in any non uh, natural events non natural events and you know I, I don't know I, I don't recommend but i i, I read the Mirza Tahir Ahmed's uh, uh, book called Revelation, Rationality, Knowledge and Truth um, many years ago. And uh, this is an explanation of uh, you know, some eyes from the Quran. And and basically, it's if you read about things like jinn, jinn are like microbes. Uh, if you read about um, uh, how life started, we will not talk about uh, Allah creating life or bringing it about. Uh, everything that is... Uh, Everything that is uh, could be a supernatural event or a miraculous event is is talked about in a very materialistic, uh, almost a, a secular atheist perspective. And there's no belief in actual miracles, and I, and I would like to know if actually the Ahmadi believe in the miracle of the Quran, either it's in immutability. This would be very interesting to to hear. Um, but but by the end, Charles will be with us shortly, and then we can carry on. The there are a lot of comments in the in the chat that I just want to make a a, a, a point about. Please um, be respectful to each other in the chat. Don't be disrespectful. Um, it's really really interesting that um, we, people have to resort to being rude to each other, and it's actually a sign of a weakness in your position. We're not here to hurt, hurt anyone. We're not here to harm anyone. What we're really trying to do is get to the truth of the differences between us. So while Brother Imtiaz returns, I'm just going to summarize some of the things because I, to moderate well, you have to sort of try to, or try to moderate, moderate well, we try to summarize the points. But really, we established a couple of things. Uh, one of the things that was established in the, the previous seven hour stream was that um, the, it was in point one, that the, the, the narrative, uh, the position of the, the Ahmadi have on terms of the narrative of uh, the death of Jesus, peace be upon him, and how he was... Uh, put uh, uh, saved from the cross and then put into a tomb etc is not found in by any of the mufassir the other thing that we clarify today that actually this narrative is not found in the quran and which was a really a good moving point now the, the point that we're left with is that actually this is not a it's from probably from the bible and although this was not something that we didn't quite get to and really if that is the bible then it's not a credible source for us and this is where the discussion moved to discussing about what the source could be. And we talked about the, the Quran being hakam and talked about statements of, of, of a miracle nature because we wanted to know what is about Isa al-Islam that would be miraculous, i.e. what would be the sign. And there was nothing presented because ultimately everything is not uh, uh, a miracle. But anyway, I'm going to... Uh, Brother M. Charles is back. Jazakallah khair, Brother M. Charles. So I'll, uh, if you would like, we can bring on a, a, another guest. Uh, you can look at the sure. back chat and see who you... Uh, which of I guess you'd like to bring on? There's a few people with the same name, so I don't know who they are. I don't know which order they came in. We have a, a brother who's a Muslim. Uh, this is for non-Muslims, uh, really. Uh, th there's a brother Ahmed. I don't know which Ahmed this is. There are a couple of Ahmeds in the background chat. Who would you like to bring on, brother Imtiaz? Inshallah, any uh, Ahmadi cleric or scholar who wants to come and defend, they are more than welcome. The private chat. So Ahmed, I am not Ahmadi. Uh, I don't know who that refers to. Uh, but if you, well, I would request the brothers and sisters, if you're not Muslims, uh, sorry, if you're, uh, yeah, then remain in the chat. If you're Ahmadi, remain in the chat. If you are Muslims, please leave the, the back room, please. Uh, because uh, or some people want to wait till the end. So I'm going to, I don't know which of the Ahmeds uh, is being referred to. Let me bring one brother on and then we'll go from there. So Ahmed, you're on the stream. Unmute yourself. Assalamu alaikum. I am not an Ahmadi. Choose the other Ahmad. He is an Ahmadi. Okay, we appreciate your honesty. Small external of my brother. Uh, let me bring the other Ahmadi on. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, you're, you're... Uh, we can't hear your voice very clearly. If you could, uh, I think your mic might be a bit low. One second. Uh, can you hear me now? Oh, yes, yes. That's much better. Brother, you can tell you can hear? It's clear from my end. Yeah, yeah um, better but not fully phone. clear. Yeah, your voice is a little bit uh, it's muted and it's sort of every now and then it turns into a bit of a robot. So uh, Yeah. What about now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay, I'll try to speak out so, so you guys can hear me. No, uh, Ahmed, there's some problem. It, it is the same problem when you mostly yeah. come. So we have eco. So please remove their eco first. Okay, brother, one second. 
it fixed my brother. One second. I'll remove because I was wearing my headphones. Try now. Yeah, remove the headphones and that might be better. Has that has that improved? If not, I'll refresh and come back in if that's okay. No, this this actually sounds better now, brother MTS. Uh, can you hear? Yeah, I can hear now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh Imran by uh, Imran by just uh, before brother Ahmed uh, begins. So can you please uh, ask brother Ahmed that which point he wants to address from the discussion we're having on those five points? Yeah, yeah. I think you've asked that question. A great question. So, brother Ahmed, oh, oh I recognise you now. Yeah. Welcome. Oh. So, brother Ahmed, please tell us what which is the point that you would like to discuss with us today. I think the point I want to discuss. Uh, firstly, uh, I want to I, I want to mention this point that if this we are by the grace of Allah, uh, we're Muslims and we believe ourselves to be Muslims. So you, you just want to just want to to that. But the comment, uh, I think Raz pretty much covered every element that was actually thrown at him with regards to uh, what we believe in. And and when Brother Imtiaz is asked about his belief and what he has said in previous stream, he he is always a direction to uh, what we're discussing now. It has to be, you know, we have to discuss it. He spent an hour and a half with you. There was a claim made last week, especially with regards to Bari, and the two a claim that this Qawl is from Sahabi, therefore it was learned from Sahabi, therefore it came from Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's a very dangerous, dangerous position because you're, you're attributing something to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which does not exist. So so now the conversation has gone from, you know, from death of Isa Alayhi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to mirrors of Isa Alayhi Wasallam. So where... So, uh, brother Ahmed, where, with, where, with, where with respect, begin? Brother Ahmed, because uh, what you're giving is a commentary on everything that's gone before. And really what yeah. we're asking you for is uh, the, the point that you wanted to discuss. Because I know that the, in your perspective, you believe that Razi answered everything that was put to him. I would respectfully yeah. disagree with that. And the okay. reasons are clear in the in the stream, because when I was interjecting and asking questions or we were clarifying, that was, you know, that yeah, was the whole point. So we appreciate that. Obviously, you, everyone views that and we shouldn't be in camps. We should be trying to think clearly and, and go through the argumentation. So is there anything specifically that you wanted to discuss about I, what had been I raised? Do want to comment, I do want to comment on the verse. Uh, chapter Imran, but please uh, start the time so inshallah we can have time. It yeah. is there. I'll start timing you. Uh, if you want to raise the point, then we'll go from there. Yeah. If it's, if it's something that it's, if it's going to be a commentary on a previous conversation, then I may interject, but please don't carry on. Okay, no problem. I wanted to uh, mention the point you were mentioning with regards to chapter 3, verse 50, where uh, now, one of the things that we need to uh, be clear about is, yes, we believe in the miracles of, 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 of the prophets of Allah, but what we cannot believe in when those understanding or the interpretation of them in a, in a way which was against the other verses of the Holy Quran. For instance, Allah said in chapter 13, verse 17, Am ja'alu lillahi shuraka'a khalaquka khalqihi fatashabaha al-khalqihim and I'm trying to give the translation so uh, he says oh they, they assign to Allah partners who have created the life of creation so that, so that two creation appear similar to them say Allah alone is the creator of all things and he, he is the one the most supreme okay this chapter 13 verse 7 and Allah says in chapter 16 verse 21 which is surah an-nahl Allah says, Allah says, and those of whom they call beside Allah create not anything, but are them those created. We know who Isa is also called beside Allah. So Quran is, is, is categorically clear that the creation of Allah in the sense that Allah creates can never be given to any human being whatsoever. And this is why uh, Brother Razi was uh, man, man, man mentioning this point very beautifully that anything that is that Isa has done, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has done as well. So we cannot accept anything that that you know that, that was not done by Rasul uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that Isa alayhi wasallam also do, which again goes uh, in contradiction with the Holy Quran. Then, of course, the verses are there, and we have to interpret them. And therefore, the interpretation is that there are different means of khalaq. In our in our in, in our five volume commentary, it is mentioned. Of course, this was in the topic that khalaq is 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 used in measuring, determining. Designing or fashioning, making and creating. Okay, so, we so, appreciate so, your the, the time. So, is there. So, so this is my uh, you okay, know initial so, co the, comment. The, I appreciate I'm that. So because the, the point that you're making is uh, is well known. So you're saying that the Quran says oh, only Allah is the creator. Therefore, this whatever Isa was doing, it could not be creating. 
Um, and, but specifically and so therefore, words, therefore you reinterpret it, you reinterpret this to mean other things. Um, I don't know which of those things you agree with, but all to do with this has to mean something else. Uh, Brother uh, Imtiaz, you, your response, please. Uh, to this point uh imran bain inshallah before i give my response uh because uh, uh ahmed wants to discuss it so what is the in, because i did not get to be honest so what is the okay. interpretation okay. of this bird's miracle which ahmed has okay. given i want to understand that okay i'll give you the understanding i give you 30 is, seconds brother ahmed 30 yeah, seconds yeah. no problem the, the 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 issue is i'm more more here to ask ask the question instead of answering because and no, we are both this. having back and forth. Both okay, of us. Okay, back and forth. Okay, okay. Yeah. So my question to you, and I, and this, my question to you is, Allah says in these two uh, chapters of the Holy Quran, which are chapter 13 was 7, Surah Ar-Rad, uh, verse number 17, and also Surah an nil verse 21, Allah says, Sorry, sorry, what is, what, is, what, is, what is second one? What is second Surah? Surah An-Nahl, verse 21. min duni yakhluuna shan wa hum yukhlaqoon. And those whom they call beside Allah create not anything, but they are themselves created. And Allah says in, in chapter 13, which is Surah Ar-Rad, Allah says, Am Oh, they have, you know, ascribed, uh, assigned to Allah partners who have created the like of his creation. So that the two creations appear similar to them. And this is a, this is a question Brother Razi asked, where are those birds created by Isa alayhi how can we differentiate the birds that Isa created and the creation of Allah? These are fundamental questions that young individuals will do. You go to universities yeah. and colleges. Yeah, we, we appreciate you know? that. Uh, it's, it's so, uh, one second, brother. So the so these, these questions that you're talking about, yeah. they've been answered thousands of years ago, a thousand years ago at least, um, because okay. they're very commonly asked, and there is a distinction. Which, there's a distinction to be made. So the university education is irrelevant in this. Uh, being being scientifically or materially based does not give you any advantage on knowing the That's truth from Allah. That's so uh, we appreciate your comment. So, brother Imtiaz, uh, you, uh, so this is the question, the brother. Uh, so there's no inter. You didn't actually give your interpretation. Yeah, this is, okay. This is my question, brother Ahmed. Ahmed. So we'll give you another Ahmed, thirty seconds. You, give your Ahmed, I gave you thirty your, seconds yeah. to explain what do you mean by this miracle, please. So, so you give your. I will you give know, my interpretation, interpretation of this My interpretation is not very different to what Razi has mentioned, and I will give it from the tafsir. I want you to explain to so us. What, what, what is the what is that interpretation, brother Ahmed? What is no, it? no, I want to hear yours first. That, that's why I'm here. Because I've, I've been patiently waiting for an hour and a half. And I want to hear Brother Imtiaz explain because Al Quranu Yufasiru Baduhu Bada. This is the Usul, the Quran, the Quranic verses to tafsir other verses. And and if there's from any other than Allah, you will find enough in there. You would find differences there. So now you have to remove this difference that you it has been answered. <laughs> Time. All right, we we, uh, we understand, uh, uh, brother Ahmed, uh, because I, I, it's it's interesting because you're not actually because you were asked a question directly and your your answer is I'm not going to answer questions. What, how are we going to how how are we going to have a discussion that allows people to understand what your position is if you're refusing to give your position on a verse? You want us to? I understand that you need an explanation of our in how we would interpret this. Why this is okay. not. Like the creation of Allah, very straightforward. It can be done. It's okay. not an issue at all. There's actually okay. a point of the okay. Gita that's discussed. You, uh, when we okay. talk about the Gita, a basic level, this is these things are discussed. But we that will will give you that. But the point that you were asked about, because is we want to know your position as well. You the point that we asked about was, and this was the point because you're raising this from Razi, and Razi left giving these interpretations. What which interpretation? And he had to go to, you know, he had to go to the mosque. Uh -huh. Razi said. So, yes. which of these interpretations do you, do you believe it was? Um, uh, uh, birds that were were made because of That's carpentry right. was it mesmerism was it uh, is it is it metaphorical that they these become these are people who become spiritually aware i mean which one is it what is it that you believe i'll tell you what it isn't first and then i'll tell you what it is and then for that you have to give me time if you want my my understanding i'm going to read it from seer and you have to give me time to explain it you say, oh, okay I'll, what we'll do is we'll give you time i'll give you two minutes okay. but in that response in that time Okay. You the thing that we because we, we want we want you to understand because what you're answer, you're starting by saying what it's not, which is not an answer to the question that we're asking you. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to start your time. Please uh, st uh, go ahead, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So as I mentioned, that all the of the different meanings of color, uh, measuring, determining, designing, or fashioning. Okay. 
making and creating. The, 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 these are all of the meanings that are given in the Holy Quran as well with regards to this. And, and you have to understand that in, in, in the sense of create, the act of Allah cannot be attributed to the Quran to any other, other than Allah as I mean in these verses. In Quran has laid great emphasis on the exclusive attribute of Allah who has been, who's, who has been again and again, uh, again declared as a sole creator of all things. All to whom creation has been attributed to, as we know, are declared by the Quran to have been themselves created by God as I gave the verse. Now coming to the point, um, in, so, so in light of the, this explanation, this is the usul that we have to establish. That any tafsir that cannot go against the Quran. So what can be the tafsir is, is the question. What is our view? So in the light of the above explanation and keeping in view the figurative sense of clay, for which we, you know, which, which uh, Raz, Brother Razi also uh, mentioned, it will fashion out you a creation out of clay, out of the manner of bird that will breathe to an spirit and it will become a soaring being, would mean that if ordinary men of humble origin, but possessing the heaven power, growth and development, came into contact with Jesus and accepted the message, they would undergo a clean transformation in their lives. And this is what, this is what the prophets do. But when Allah says in the Holy Quran, when, Allah, when, when Rasulullah sallallahu called, in uh, when Rasulullah said, uh, the, the, the verse, I'm going um, I'm, I'm, I'm to get the actual verse, I don't want to misquote it. When Allah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa calls you, and then coming, uh, so, so, and that was the first understanding, that the inherent power of growth and development came into contact with Jesus and accepted the message. They would undergo a transformation in their lives, for men groveling in dust, it says, and not seeing beyond their material cares and mundane concerns, they would become convinced. Brother Razi, uh, sorry, uh, Ahmed, you've not answered any question. Oh, uh, well, what, you've, what, what you've done, no, you have not answered any question at okay, all. Okay. Uh, what you've done is you've given us uh, very good reasons to. Uh, yeah. You, which you feel that, that this, the why this is not the meaning. Okay, could you tell us what your position is on the actual? Because we, okay. none of no, there is no position here that we think that whatever Isa al Salam did is like the creation of Allah. Uh, this is very. Well, this can be explained to you in a few moments, and it will be. Yeah, please do. So, okay. so could, to reassert this position over and over again is, uh, I, don't, I don't see the point of so this. If referring to the people please, who believe in please it, please could you, I'm please I'm could you? So actually, are we not, so just to understand. In in simple terms, yeah. what do you believe that the, <laughs> Jesus turning the uh, creating the birds at clay and then breathing life into them? What this means to you as an Ahmadi? What do it, you believe it means? It means it means, it means a, a spiritual spiritual reformation that the prophets bring about in people, right? This is the blessing that I gave. In, okay, so so this is the meta this is the metaphorical. metaphorical. Miracle. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay that's fine. All right, so that's fine. So you this so it's not a miracle then, right? So the opposite of metaphorical is what? My question. Literal. 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 So I want you to explain how yeah, is this we'll, we'll come, we'll come to this. In, in, We're going to do this, no problem. But we want to know your position first. So your position yeah. is, is that this miracle is metaphorical. So a metaphorical thing is not a miracle by definition, right? Yeah. Because spiritually raising people up is not the same as doing a miracle, which is a supernatural yeah. event, right? So, but, but, brother, but, but just, brother, just, just, uh, to ask, clarify, just to clarify, sorry, just one I'm second, not, brother, but one second, say, brother, because you've had you've thing. had a couple of minutes. Just give us a, a little bit of a time. So, brother, just want to clarify one thing. Just want to clarify one thing. Just ten seconds, ten five seconds, five seconds. I would say the Prophet ﷺ had two meanings. One that I've given, okay, and one is he's mentioned in is is Alai Oham in in his book, uh, where where he has mentioned uh, the idea, uh, you know, of of which the brother. brother Imtiaz was referring to as hypnotism and mesmerism, right? And he explained that the mirror relating to making of some clay may be interpreted in another way as well. He says, he says, in the time of Jesus, people had special liking, uh, liking for the practice of occult sciences, and he mentioned hypnotism and mesmerism. So it is possible that God granted him special power of this kind in order to impress the people, make the name. In this case, the sign of making birds would mean that Jesus made small clay models of birds, and then through a sort of mesmerism, made them appear to fly in the air but this did not convert them into real living birds as they would go against the verses of the holy quran for as yeah, soon so, as fluent, uh, uh, brother ahmed we appreciate this so really what you're saying is the same thing it's 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 metaphor either it's a trick mesmerism is a trick hypnotism is a trick yeah or it was completely metaphorical in that the people 
were uh, people were being raised spiritually. The whole yeah. point here is that it's no longer a miraculous event. Now, brother Ahmed, uh, brother Imtiaz, please, uh, if you could, it would be useful for brother Ahmed to, for, to understand, and Ahmed is generally to understand what is our position about this. Is are we? Is anyone saying that the creation that were uh, that the Isa Islam uh, making clay birds and creating them and blowing life into them? Is uh, is a is a is somehow taking an attribute of Allah or the Billah? Please explain the position for this and then respond to uh, Brother Ahmed, please. So, inshallah, uh, before I respond to Brother Ahmed's point, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I just want to Brother Imran ask me to explain our position. Brother Imran, our position is very simple. We believe in the mu'jizat, in the miracles of the Prophet. In this particular instance, we believe what Quran has said. That with Allah's permission, Isa salam would mold a bird from the clay. With Allah's permission, he will blow in this uh, in, in this clay made bird. And with Allah's permission, it will become a flying bird. We don't need to go anything metaphorical, spiritual, this and that. Because and this is something very important for the viewers. If somebody tries to explain a miracle naturalistically it is denial of the miracle it goes against inherent definition of the miracle miracle by definition is called in urdu or in arabic as well harke adat which means supernatural something that cannot be explained with naturalistic explanation so and by calling it metaphorical or whatever we basically denied the whole point of miracle to begin with. So Muslim position is, these are miracles. We don't even dare to explain them in any way, shape or form naturalistically. Allah has said them and our position is, Sami'na wa atana. Okay, our, what Allah has said, we believe that. Now, last point, is, which is very important, very important. This was exactly... The discussion with Razi before that who will interpret the Quran? That's the main, the whole issue very early on, the Khawarij issue we discussed. This was the whole point. The Khawarij were quoting Quran. So the whole point is Quran needs to be interpreted. Now Ahmad was trying to give impression, same like Razi, that they are ayat of the Quran which are stopping us Perhaps this, why not, this is what my understanding from this point. The Quranic ayah, such he quoted uh, Surah 13, chapter, uh, verse 7, he said, he said Surah Nahal, verse 21. Apparently, he was giving this impression that these ayat, they stop us from believing in the miracle of the Prophet. In, in his turn, in his turn, Ahmad is more than welcome. Again, Quran needs to be interpreted. They, I, I said to Razi before, there are many Mufassirun, but some of them are highly praised and accepted by Mirza Ghulam. For example, Tabari, Jalaluddin Sayyuti, Rahimahullah, okay, Ibn Kasir, okay, and uh, Zamakshiri, he praised him as well because he says he's a master of the language. And a uh, few more, few more. Ibn Kasir, Tabari, Zamakshiri, and uh, you can, ah, so, uh, Imam, Imam, Imam Siyuti, Imam Siyuti. I give you the invitation, Ahmad. The verses you quoted, take any of these four and show us how they understood and interpreted these verses. And did they interpret that these verses are stopping us from believing in the mu'jizat, in the miracle of Isa alayhi So this was my answer. <clears throat> And be before you say, uh, Ahmad, no yeah, Ahmad, we are having a serious problem with regard to, because sometimes you are freezing up, sometimes your voice is breaking up. So please, okay, fix your connection. It's, it's, it's a problematic for us, brother. Oh, so you are if, cutting in and out when you speak. If, if I keep on cutting, inshallah, I, I would leave that. This is the problem. I'm, I'm not at home today or, I, I'm, you know, I had to be so quick in order to connect to the internet. So can you hear me now properly? Yes or no? Can so you hear me now? Your voice is okay. You are but cutting it, off it, again. It, 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 but... it's intermittently, that's the issue. Okay, um, okay. 
Okay, uh, if, if, if I do, then uh, Brother Imran, can you tell me then, you know, then, then you decide it's your street, inshallah. I'll, I'll, yeah, sorry. because I think it makes it difficult for people to get your yeah. point as well, and you have, you'll have difficulty making your point if that's the case, yeah. No problem, no problem. Can I, yeah, can, can, can I respond to that, please, yeah? Yeah, it might be better, actually. Somebody suggested that if you turn off your camera, the bandwidth is less, and so okay. maybe you'll, your voice will become clearer, but it's up okay, to you I've entirely. Done. I've done that, I've done that, okay. Yeah. Please uh, go ahead. Well, let's try. So, uh, so uh, one of the things I'll highlight is it's not us interpreting, it is you interpreting because the usul I mentioned was Al Quran. It cannot go against another verse of the Holy Quran. And Allah says, one of the things I forgot, Allah says, uh, you know, it says, Anni akhluku lakum min al-tayni ka hayati al-tayr. Ka hayati al-tayr. This is an important point that I will. Uh, let, let, let me actually, treat, uh, actually uh, read the translation for you. I will fashion out full edition after, uh, after the man uh, of a bird. Uh, Brother Razi, your yeah. voice is uh, breaking up very badly. Oh, not again. Yeah, it's, it's actually, so uh, I think what it might be better for you to do uh, would be mm -hmm. just to reset maybe and come back and we'll try and bring you back uh, because your voice is breaking up when you're reading okay. and we can't I'll hear refresh you. and come back. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think if I know if the heart is there, if the heart wants to come, I think if the heart is there in the uh, in the sure. bad stage, if the heart. So this is uh, brother uh, uh, Adnan is uh, on the stream as well, um, but I think he'll join us whenever he's free, inshallah. And I'm just going to bring brother if the heart. I can see. I just want to ask, uh, how did we get uh, end up? discussing the miracle of Isa Islam creating the birds from clay, making the birds from clay and blowing life into them. What was, the, very, what was the really it's a good it's a good point. So this was uh so that we've had a very interesting discussion. I don't know if you I know that you were you were giving a talk mashallah elsewhere so that you were busy with this. So we started off with the, the main points that we had um and they were discussing the five points previously that brother MTRs has summarized. And then uh, the conversation moved on to establishing where does the passion narrative that the Ahmadis believe in, where does it come from? And we just, and the claim initially made was that the, Ahm the Ahmadis were making, or Brother Rosie was making, is that the passion narrative is from the Qur'an itself. Um, and actually when we asked for details of this, the details were not available. And so then it, what, what happened was they, they retracted this and said, actually, it's not from the Qur'an. The details are not present there. And then we, we were going to the point of where the second place that this might be, which is obviously the Gospels, which would be an unreliable source. In discussing the Gospels, we were um, we were di we were talking about uh, how to interpret, uh, where we can get interpretations from, and then the the, the brothers, what Adah Ahmadi tried to do was to they uh, take certain quotes from certain scholars uh, or certain Sahaba and then present that as an evidence. And what Brother Imtiaz said was actually, shall we take this Sahabi's position or this scholar's position? On a uh, on the the issue of Isa as a hujjah between us, and then they would retract from this. And then in this conversation, I think the conversation moved on to um, whether or not the Ahmadi believe in miracles anyway, because we were talking about any exclusive miracles that Isa uh, would have. We were talking about the virgin birth as part of the passion narrative. We were talking about how a married woman could uh, actually have any issues with that producing a child. Why would the people complain uh, about this? And we were talking about, are there any specific miracles given to uh, Isa al-Islam? And we started talking about these miracles because the Ahmadiyya essentially metaphoricalize them, they deny them. So you, you, this is this is where, where we are with the conversation. So slightly uh, expanded from our topic, but it's still on, we're still trying to get the understanding the Ahmadis have about the Jesus, peace be upon him, and, and the narrative. Uh, but please I mean, uh, feel free to join if, in. Even, even if the Ahmadis were to go to the Gospels, uh, as untrustworthy as they are it wouldn't help their case no matter what they go to history gospels commentaries of the church fathers okay commentaries of the quran quran itself <laughs> nothing helps them because their narrative cannot be found anywhere their passion narrative can't be found in the gospels okay it can't be found in the gospels they will they will have to read mirza's thoughts into the gospels to make a narrative you know, maybe the Ahmadis are not aware of uh, the phenomenon uh, of esogesis or what we call isogesis. Okay, there is exegesis when the text talks to you, when the book talks to you. 
And Esau Jesus is when you talk to the book, when you start reading your thoughts, your ideas into the text, not the other way around. So Ahmadis, I believe when it comes to the Quran, read into the Quran. So they, they use Mirza's lens or Mirza as a lens to read the Quran. Because Mirza wrote certain things, he landed the Ahmadis into a quagmire of these contradictions and absurdities. Now they have to find them in the Quran or the Sunnah. So they, they have the lens on and this lens is basically Mirza. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani is the lens the Ahmadis, the missionaries are using to read the Quran. This is where the problem is. And we, we're, not, we're not willing to accept that lens. To us, we have the lens already. We have the lens already. We have the, the Islamic tradition for the last <laughs> 1,400 years. And none of these uh, ideas Mirza came up with, you know, for example, the passion narrative, uh, uh, Jesus being put on the cross and not dying, and moving to Kashmir, and dying there at 120. None of this information is mentioned anywhere. Neither in the Quran nor in the commentaries. So why do we have to believe it? And before we start believing Mirza Ghulam and Qadiani, we have to question his character. We have to understand whether he deserves our attention, whether this man is worthy of changing our religion for. This is the point. Because this is this is a this is a hundred and eighty degrees turn on Jesus. Okay, they want us to now believe the Quran says Wama Salabuhu. And in the in the last stream it was amply demonstrated that Salabuhu doesn't mean what they think it means. It means even being put on the cross, even being nailed to the cross. Otherwise, why mention it? Just say Kataluhu, Khalas. He was not killed. That's it, that's enough. But why specifically mention Salabuhu? Because even being put on the cross, okay is against the Quran. It's against the Quran. So Mirza categorically went against the Quran and the Ahmadis have to go now to go to Oxford Dictionary and they have to go to, uh, you know, Zakir Naik and they have to go to Shabir Ali to prove this, basically. <laughs> oh, your Shabir Ali said this, Zakir Naik said this, Sheikh Ahmad Idad said this. Therefore, Mirza is right. This is the level we have to stoop to now. Over to you, brothers. No, alhamdulillah, you're, you're absolutely right. And I think why, one of the reasons, I mean, you often get comments in uh, uh, people, they say, you know, why do you believe that the man is in the sky for two, for uh, 2,000 years? And the, and this is based upon this lack of belief in miracles. The Ahmadiyya don't believe in miracles. So when they look at this thing, they they re, they reject it. And this is how they're, they're sort of taught from the from the beginning, and this is how they interpret the Quran. Absolutely. So everything miraculous becomes uh, metaphorical. Yeah, you, you, you know, it's interesting you mentioned this because I've had a lot of comments on Twitter as well that you believe in someone sleeping in the heavens for 2,000 years. Why is that a problem? Why is that a, if Allah can create Adam from nothing, from clay, okay, Allah, if Allah can blow life into him, for example, okay, and if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can create this universe. If Allah can put the sun and the moon where, where they are, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can, you know, do all these things, why can he not? If uh, Ashabul Kaf, what they are, what are they going to do with that? Are they going to inter interpret that metaphorically? They can't. This is the answer to them, the Ahmadis, the Qadiani missionaries. What are you going to do with Ashabul Kaf? Because the story is very categorical. It says that they were sleeping for so long that their coins were not valid anymore. They went to the market with the old coins and the, and the shopkeeper said, where did you get these coins from? They are outdated. How, how are you going to interpret that metaphorically? So Allah caused these people to sleep for centuries. For centuries. So what are you going to say now? Or oh, you believe in Allah that caused people to sleep in a cave for centuries, for hundreds of years, hundreds, hundreds of years, and they came back to life? Or they were they were back up on the feet. So I wonder what the Ahmadis have to say about when they when they have a problem in believing with Isa alayhi salam being alive in the heavens for two thousand years. What are you going to say about Ashab al Kaf that Allah kept alive for centuries? Okay, so this is this is just absolutely you know crazy. It's it's mad. Do we have an Ahmadi uh, missionary to respond to these questions? So we have uh, Brother Iftikhar in the back. We'll bring him up uh, one second. Yes, please do. 
I want to ask him. If you're the on the screen, right? Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Hello. Can you hear us? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Are you there? If the are you there? Are you there? Yes. Uh, can you hear me? If the car. Yes, we can hear you. Yes. I'm talking, but I don't know if you hear me. Yes. Okay, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, then we can hear you too. So uh, please carry on. Okay. So, uh, if the car can, uh, if the car, we have a question. How do you, how do you, how do you justify uh, Mirza's belief that Jesus was nailed to the cross when the Quran says "Wama salabuhu"? And and the purpose Allah is mentioning this is to respond to the claim of the, the 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 israelites who were saying that we killed him we crucified him okay so if isa alayhi salam was nailed to the cross then they were right okay can can i answer yeah, shall yeah, i go free. on Okay, so um, first of all, when we talk about salabuhu, we go with its dictionary meaning. And the word salaba in the dictionaries means al qitla. So uh, if you if you look, for example, in Lisan al Arab. It says al al Ma'rufa. And uh, for example, in Taj al Arus, it says uh, Masluban to make someone Maslub. <clears throat> so, just in the way that <clears throat> Isa was uh, to Salaba means uh, to. If you go literally what Lane says, Lane says to put somebody to death with a certain well-known method. This is what he, and he gets it from Lisan al-Arab of Ibn Manzur or uh, one other dictionary. And so if you take this meaning, then it says they did not kill him otherwise, and they did not kill him through putting him on the cross. So it does not negate him being put on the cross, but it negates him dying on the cross. You, you quoted another because term. It's in... Excuse me? You quoted something at the end. I'm going to stop stop your time for a second. Yes. You gave uh, a second quote. I, I, quoted, was a second? I quoted Tajul Arus, which is also... A well-known dictionary which says to make somebody masloob and masloob means someone who has been killed by putting on a cross as maqtool means someone who has been killed so he was neither maqtool and neither was he masloob they have not killed him neither have they put him to death by putting him on the putting him on the cross. So this is my would be my answer to what we mean or what we think salaba means. Okay. <clears throat> we, so I'm gonna let Brother MTR come in there, um, and then we can talk about this to clarify because it's very important to clarify, Brother MTRs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, if the uh, first of all, welcome to the stream, uh, brother. So if the har, uh, Iftihar, you mentioned something, uh, you're trying, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, you're trying to hold on to the ma'na lughviya, 
the the literal the dictionary meaning of salabuhu can you please tell us in your please note down the question uh, iftikhar can you please tell us in your turn that what is the lughvi ma'na you gave already and what is the shar'i ma'na given by the mufassirun and why you want to reject ma'na shar'iyah the technical meaning which is coming from the mufassirun why you want to reject that one on the basis of your understanding of the literal meaning that's one one question because in in that case you are giving us the principle that the technical meaning or the meaning that comes from mufassirun that can be rejected on the basis of literal meaning if you agree with this principle then i will ask you further and the next point is i only have two point next point is quran has two uh, terms here qataluhu and salabuhu with the best of our knowledge the jews the tried and the christian they believe that isa alayhi salam died through cross crucifixion they do not have any other belief regarding the death of isa it's, it's only crucifixion with the best of our knowledge and this thing wama qataluhu obviously it is also rejecting the idea of crucifixion why because this was their belief this is their claim then why allah has to bring again salabuhu you need to explain to us why these two and lastly inshallah very quickly you know if tahar in the entire quran it is only one place in the whole quran where the word yakinan is used in this uh, in this case wama qataluhu yakina that they certainly did not kill him why allah subhanahu wa taala has to put so much emphasis by bringing the qatalu uh, again with the yakinan so inshallah over to you so, so that was clear. there were three questions there yes, but let, let's start with the first one and then we'll go from there okay yeah 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 i have not written down but but i'll try to answer them from my memory so first thing what is it that the quran is trying to refute here or to clear up there is obviously the quran was not revealed in a vacuum there were there were already false beliefs that the quran then went on to correct and what we have to ask ourselves what do we know from history that was the belief prevalent among the jews that the quran here is now addressing and there we find two views we find first of all those jews who think that isa alayhi salatu salam was first killed and then he was put on the cross then we find other sects who believe that he was put on the cross and killed thereby so here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is refuting both of these views at the same time the main thrust is of course the qatl and this is also what the jews are claiming inna qatalna and this is also what allah at the end says is yaqeen what is yaqeen wa ma qataluhu yaqeena the qatl is yaqeena so this means that this whole verse is about the death of uh, the, the 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 trying to put to death of Isa alayhi salatu salam so this means that also salaba cannot only mean to put on the cross but it has to also be taken in the same vein that it means to put to death by putting on the cross and by saying first of all that he was not killed and <clears throat> then that he was also not put to death okay. by putting on the cross so we appreciate we, we understand yeah. what you're trying to say now before the mts comes i just want to tell you something that just jumps out as me is obviously not making sense from the position that you put forward uh, because the position you put forward is that um they can there's killed and there's and crucifixion which means killed by crucifixion yeah and but then you've said that um there are two theories out there that, that were in, in history 
One was that first Isla Islam was killed and then he was put on, then he was crucified. Now, if you, this is what didn't make sense to me because if you're already killed, then how can I didn't then you say crucify? I said put on the cross. Yeah, but so, so crucify the, then, means to, to, I understand. To, but if to the, kill but I, this is the point, the this is the point. So if you're saying crucifixion means to be killed on the cross, and then the term, and you're saying here it does not mean that, it means to be put on the cross exclusively. Yeah. Then the term salabuhi does not mean then in this in this explanation, because you're using this term crucifixion now to mean just to be placed on the cross. No, I haven't used the word crucify in my whole exposition. No, no, not talking about you. I'm talking about the fact that you quote the Quran salabuhi. You say right? Yes, salaba does mean okay. crucify. No, but hey, you're not I... hearing that. You're, you're not hearing the point that I'm making to you. If I you're have killed. Heard... Okay, I understand. What I mean by hearing is you're not maybe you're not you're not understanding. I'm just trying to be polite. The the term you're saying that one theory was there were two historical views from the Jews as your position. One was he was killed and then put on the cross. Right. Yeah. So when now we because and we're applying this to the verse. So it says you did not kill him, nor did you crucify him. You're saying that this is the order that's being refuted. Killed and then cru crucified. No, this is the first first you theory. You didn't understand my point. I think. Let me rephrase it. Okay, please rephrase your point because that's what's coming across to me. Oh, so I'll give you a further minute to rephrase. Yeah. So we have the claim of the Jews that they killed them, killed him. Now, and then you have the mode of killing, which is either to kill him in some way, and then to put him on the cross. This is refuted by Wama Qataluhu. And then you have this, because that he was put on the cross is a historic fact. The, and the second, the second uh, verb here, Salabu Wama Salabuhu, is refuting the second position that he was put to death by putting on the cross. So we have both positions which okay. are addressed One can I ask this question? You just made a statement that he was put on the cross is a historic fact. Where did you get this fact from? Right. Oh, it's it's if there's one consensus among the scholars of history, then it's everything else is doubted. But this is one thing that there's no uh, dispute on among the scholars of history. Which uh, scholars? May they be Christian or atheist. Christians, right. atheists, whatever. They, they all... In the, the established scholars of history, the, the which you call historians, there's a consensus that crucifixion happened. And then the Quran okay. says he is, wasn't killed. No, so There is no consensus that Moses did you not You say exist. that someone else was put on the cross. You say uh, that someone Khar, else was put please, on the cross. Brother Iftikhar, uh, you're implying other, other perspectives. Let's deal Anand, with this point. Uh, Brother Iqnan is asking a specific question yeah, about I'm, the yeah. historicity of the crucifixion. You're making a claim about it. Yeah. And, and, yes, and it's what, a historic fact from, from the sources no, no, of history. No, no, you're, oh. you're claiming a fact. You're claiming a fact based, based upon historians, right? So if historians agree on something, it becomes a fact. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying that... I'm asking a very simple question. If you question. know something if about... If you want to know something... And if I'm historians very agree on answering, something, it becomes a fact. If historians uh, Mark, can agree I just, on something... Uh, Mark, can I just add one you. point, if you don't mind? Yes, please. Just one please. point. Okay. So... Uh, it is again regarding the same point because you made a big statement, uh, Iftikhar. You said that it's a historical fact, okay? And then you gave your evidence that if something is coming as a consensus from atheists, etc., etc., listen the Quranic commentary on all of them. No, no, I, I have a specific question. Not by Adam, wait, wait, wait. No, no. So, uh, I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is, let, let is Adam, wait, wait, wait. So, of iftikhar, what you commented, yeah, the, yeah. The, the the proof you brought, the, the the proof you brought is obviously the gospel, etc. Quran says that they have no knowledge whatsoever; they are only following their assumptions. 
So Quran has refuted your confession already. Anamay, over to you now. Anamay, please. Yes, yes, please answer. Yes. What is it that they have no knowledge about? That's the question. No, the que I, I have what a, they have I no have knowledge about? Yes. Please. I have a different question. Before we get to this part, which is very important, this is a very, very important part. The Quran is saying that they are speaking from conjecture. Okay, whether it's about crucifixion or whether it's about uh, about uh, the death, uh, they claim that they crucified him or they killed him. Okay. Allah is addressing the claim of the Israelites, the Jewish people in Jerusalem at the time or afterwards, that we killed him. So Allah says they definitely not killed him. They didn't even crucify him. They didn't even put him on the cross. But then Allah goes on to say that whatever their claims are, they are based upon conjecture. That's one thing. But my question is now, my question is now, if historians have a consensus on something does it become a fact are you there it does not become an undisputed fa there there are no undisputed facts other than you believe to be an undisputed fact and if you believe the no, historians no, no. to be okay, what then. they have a consensus no let me let me please answer i mean just yes uh, yes go Ahead, if please. you believe it to be a, a fact, then it, it is a fact. If not, then not. We as Muslims believe the Quran to be fact. Non-Muslims don't. For us, it's a fact. For them, it's not. Okay, thank you. So uh, you, you're not saying that you're not say, you're not saying that the crucifixion is not an established fact. For me, it is, because I have seen the sources and i have been convinced so okay so let's just let's discuss the sources then okay now that is clear that uh, everything historians claim to be uh, a fact is not necessarily a fact and you are now saying that you are convinced as an individual that crucifixion is a fact based upon which sources can you now start start with the sources please Which source tells you that crucifixion so is a many fact? Sources. I mean, I would have. To, I'm not. Which, which one? I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared right now for this for this question. But no, um, you, 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 you just said you're convinced. Biblical you sources. You're convinced and non biblical but, sources. Yes, which I'm ones? convinced. Let's talk. About I'm convinced because I have looked at the sources, but I I have not memorized them. It's biblical sources and sources outside of the Bible, historical so, sources. So, so let's historical start, sources no, uh, of historians you, back you, then. About no, I, I can't discuss this because I'm not prepared for this. For this, I mean, I'm, I'm I have not the but, references but, before me. I have not pulled them up. I have not the books in front of me. Uh, I, I don't. I don't have the books either. I'm. 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 I'm in a car right now. I'm on the road. I don't have the books with me, okay? But I'm asking you a question that you have a belief. You have chosen to believe in something. Yeah, then, then let's that, discuss what we were intent, what we intended to discuss. We intended to discuss number one, point number one. And this point has, we are now hours and hours into the debate and point one has not even been scratched upon. Is he breaking up for everyone or just for me? No, there is, you there claiming is some, that uh, you discussed the points, but what you're doing is, I was saying, no, uh, brother, if Takar, you misunderstand. You're, you're, with we, respect, you're misunderstanding, because um, what, what you because the point was this being established was, on what basis are you claiming the beliefs that you claim? And what the point that was being made, because there was a seven-hour discussion on this in the previous stream, and we're trying to move forward from that. So the point being raised was, on what basis do you believe the passion narrative? Because this is the narrative that's claimed by Ahmadis as being the correct narrative. Because based, it's based upon two things, essentially. One is the gospel narratives. And the second thing is the writings of Ghulam Reza Ahmed. And we were trying to get to the, 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 
how much of the passion narrative is accepted and where is the evidence from this from the Quranic source? Because the Bible is a historically unreliable document. And we can and this is now we're in this discussion now. But the, the point here is, is that you're saying you've said very confidently that you believe that the crucifixion is a fact, but when this is analyzed deeper, then this is not the case. Now this is, I feel like I'm arguing with the only people I have these conversations with are Christians. Uh, and and it seems to be that we're we're having the similar conversation. So let brother Im Charles make your point. But but the the, the you cannot if you don't want to make this uh, a class. Uh, this is definitely the case that this happened. Then you can retract that, no problem. Or you can say I need to look at the evidence for this because you said you read the evidences. Uh, brother Im Charles, you, you know, your, the Quran your... says, Wama, "Why ah, did the wait. Quran? Why did the let Quran me just make my point. Have... Just give me a few seconds. Yes, brother. please. Yes. Hard, give me a few seconds." So if they have, look at this one, That's, that was the reason Adnan I wanted to discuss with you the sources because the sources you are hinting at, they do not say that he was put on the cross, but he survived. Please note the point. Those sources, either the gospels or the extra biblical sources, they claim when they claim crucifixion, they claim his death on crucifixion. So your position is not coming from those sources to begin with. So please be correct on this one. Number two, when I quoted the ayah, you said that which knowledge? Iftikhar, I'm, I'm sure that you know the Arabic language. It says, min ilmin. Can you please tell us when Allah de is declaring this min ilmin, it is a categorical denial of their knowledge. Okay, not just even min ilmin. So, but again, because your point is, I don't want to go to the, I just, I just made a comment, because your position is based on consensus of the historians. And the question I have asked you is, those historians, their position is, he was put on the cross and died. Why don't you take the full position of those sources? Please explain. Because I believe in the Holy Quran, and the Quran says he was not killed. So I believe in it because I'm a Muslim. Um, so you have to, if you have a historical fact and you have a mutawatir uh, text, a nas sarih from the Quran, then you have to do tatbiq between them. You have to uh, have a narrative that does not need that that in the best manner would be like you could if you cannot do tatbiq then you have to do tarjih that's clear but if you can do tatbiq and then you do it so you 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 asked me about wama lahum bihi min ilmin wama qataluhu yaqina what min ilmin what is my 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 view my view is that they have definitely not no, no, brother. Ilmin. My question is that no, no, brother. Yes. No, no. My question was that min ilmin is a very specific grammatical construction. I want you yes. to address min ilmin. Bihi, bihi min ilmin. About what? The question About. is wama lahum bihi min ilmin. It's not yes. a universal that they were like uh, comp the 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 brains were empty. I mean, they had ilm, but they had not ilm about what? About bihi. So what is it? It, it is that, now, now let me answer. Um, or let me let me read what one of our, what the, what the second caliph of the Ahmadi Muslim Jamaat said about this. If I- Brother, may. look, no, no, brother, look, look, look. We are here to challenge Ahmadiyya position on the basis that your position is un-Islamic. So you cannot quote your sources to prove your position. That's circular. It's called no, circular the, source, the source is self-explanatory. It's not that I say you have to believe in the source because of the source. Brother, I say, Khan, listen, look at this one. I, 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 will, I, will, I will let you read. No problem at all. I will let you. But look, look at this one, brother. Before you read anything, brother, please hmm. first be sure what is the position you are defending? On, uh, uh, in, in one go, you want to work the consensus of historians. When you pin, when we, when, when, when you, when we corner you on that, you say, no, I believe in Quran. Okay. If you believe in Quran, iftikhar. This was the discussion before as well. Fawarij believe in Quran as well. 
and as you, you know they will decide it no wait wait wait, 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 now you need to tell us iftikhar that Quran will not speak by itself, Quran needs to be interpreted, right. you cannot deny that, now my question to you is instead of giving us any other things, please tell us that which Mufassir you are quoting, who's interpreting that Salabuhu means he was put on the cross but did not die. So either you go with the historian point. Why do I have to rely on Iftikhar. any Mufukhtar? I am done. I am done. Right. Just a second. I am done. Just a second. Either you go with the historian position or you go with the Quran. You have no, no leg to stand. Now, let me answer. Yeah. First, let me answer what was now asked and then let me read and then... Um, and, and then and then explain what my position is because this is my position that I'm going to I'm going to present. First of all, um, you make it seem as if there has to be a contradiction between what history tells us and what the Quran tells us, uh, but this is not the case. History and the Quran can be brought into harmony. There are so many things that we have yaqeen about. But they are not in the Quran. So it does not mean because something is not in the Quran, we cannot have yaqeen on it. Because, for example, the USA, I, would, I never was in the USA. I believe it, USA exists. This is knowledge that I have certainty on. So in the same way, if you have a certain knowledge of one kind and certain knowledge of another kind, then you can bring them into harmony. Um, or you can reject a lesser form of knowledge because of a higher form of knowledge if you think that you cannot bring them into harmony. But I think I can bring them into harmony. And I believe that something happened in the history, in the history that is the historians uh, and, and the historic sources tell us. And the Quran is not against it. Secondly, now, what what is it that is ilm? Is but <clears throat> it's in Urdu. Let me. Just shortly, let me read it and, and then I'll translate it. Unhune yakinam nuse katal nahikia, unku is bare me yakini il nahi, sir of zanni bat per bunyad raki we hair, halanki unka yi hial relate, unhune use yakinan katal nahikia. This means what they are, they have no ilm about is his katal. They think they have done the killing but they did not this is what there is conjecture about from the part of the jews and this is not this is not something that we disagree with disagree with any other question no 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 let me let let me have some pushback on this one so if the car you the point that the first point you made was you said that as though as i am saying that there's a contradiction between history and Quran and we cannot harmonize them. I did not say this. Listen, listen what my position is. When we want to harmonize anything with Quran, Quran will be on the top. Quran is Muhammad. Understand this point. What you are doing here is you are putting history as calling it historical fact on the top and then you are trying to interpret Quran underneath that. That is where we decide with you okay okay then tell me, no, no, tell no, no, me wait, 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 wait. no no not yet not yet if the, my request to you is brother please the reason is because you do not note down the points so that's why you don't address the, so my point number one is that we can harmonize things with quran but quran will be the yardstick everything else will be judged according to quran i give you my one position. quranic evidence wait, wait 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 i give you one quranic evidence in Surah Al-Baqarah, in the beginning of Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah says, وَمَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكَ وَمَا أُنزِلَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ Even though logical order should be that the believers, the muttaqoon, the muttaqoon people, they believe in what was sent before and what is sent to you, O Nabi. Allah did not say, Allah said, they believe in what is sent to your, you and what was sent before you. Which means, it is a, the, the point here is, Quran is going to be the yardstick to judge the previous revelation. Quran is the muhaymin. Now, what you are doing here is, uh, Brother Iftikhar, I will give you time, Brother, please, don't be frustrated. I'll give you time. What you're doing here is Iftikhar, because we want people to understand your point as well. 
that you are putting by calling gospel and historical fact. You're putting them on the top and you're trying to interpret Quran underneath that. Number one. And last point is this. You need to tell in I am I'm only raising two points. So point number two is now this one. You need to tell us in your turn iftikhar. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that in that we indeed we have sent down the zikr and we will protect it according to Mirza Ghulam this protection has four layers to protect the words of the Quran and number two to protect the meanings of the Quran I want to ask you how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protected the meanings of the Quran these are the two questions and please address them brother directly I will address these points once I have addressed the points that you made before I mean this is your last point and I have to address it first you say that the Quran comes first I agree the promised Messiah also said Quran is the mihak mihak so I either you have a position where the Quran contradicts something, or you don't. In my view, it doesn't. In your view, you you say, for example, you said last stream I was with you that the substitution theory, theory is from the Prophet, and this is why it's no. uh, you believe in it. No, um, no, no, I did not no, say this. This. Is, this is not said, uh, Iftikhar. You're, you're misunderstanding. I never said this. Yeah, yeah. Don't straw man my position, but I never said this. You said. Something about a tabari and go look for the, the, the Mufassirun, what they've said. Let me tell you what I said. Let me tell you what I said. I said that this tafsir of Salabuhu, hmm. that Isa alayhi salam was not put on the cross. It is coming as a tawatur. All Mufassirun have accepted that. So I did not even mention the word substitution theory. I, didn't, I did not even mention this word. I am, we were the only, rather wait, rather wait, rather wait. After that, the next question is, what happened? We did not get to that, brother, okay? We were discussing in the whole stream, the Isa alayhi salam was not put on the cross. And on this point, I emphasize that all Mufassirun with Tawatur, they have agreed on this. So, brother, don't straw man my position. The Mufassirun have agreed on things and they have things that they don't have mentioned. So, um, the, in, you say that there is a Tawatur. For a Tawatur, you have to have a source. If you don't have a source, you cannot claim Tawatur. You say, oh, how could this be? Um, they couldn't have come up with it themselves. But in all of the narrations that you claim are in uh, agreement about that he was not put on the cross, they do not come as a clear nas. The nusus are all filled with things like the substitution theory. Either you have to get everything or you cannot use it at all. How can you say that one part of the narration, without having another narration to corroborate it, just because it is one in one in, in the narration, it is um, correct, and the other part is incorrect? For example, the substitution theory, which is Tabari is full full of it. <coughs> you don't have Tawatur without Asanid or without even one. I mean, the Holy Quran is Tawatur. We don't have. Mutawatir Asanid, but we have Asanid at least of for the different Qiraat. But here you have no Isnad going to the Prophet ﷺ. in At-Tabari for Salawa. Nothing in the whole in the whole uh, chapter, in the whole verse uh, and so on, there is not one hadith, not one, and all of the other narrations are uh, disputed. They are labeled as weak, uh, they are labeled as munkar, and so on and so forth. So how can you rely upon this and say this uh, <laughs> constitutes tawatur? I cannot understand it. Are you done, brother? Yes. 
Okay. Now, uh, brother Iftihar, please, again, my humble request, please note down so you can respond when I'm saying. You still, in your turn, in your next turn, you need to tell us that when Allah made the promise to protect the Quran, and Mirza Ghulam said that this promise, and we all believe this, by the way, that this promise has layers, not only protection of words, but protection of the meaning as well. My Which question to you was, could, brother, wait, you brother, wait, wait. Say the, one thing, uh, could you bring the reference for this, what you're telling me? Brother, you need you, to yeah, first say later. that you, dis brother, wait, 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 brother, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me make a statement, okay? And you say, if you say, I reject it, okay, I will bring it, no problem. Okay, my point is, in the protection of the Quran, it includes protection of the words, and the meanings. Now, my question was, how, me, this is the question, brother, how the meanings of the Quran are protected in our uh, in our tradition? This is my question to you. Do you need to give me answer in your turn? Then, inshallah, I have obligation to give you the reference as well. Now, with regard to what you have just mentioned, hmm. the problem with the heart is that you are confused, here, brother. And here's why. On the one hand, you do not have any historical sources which you can quote to tell us that Isa salam was put on the cross, but he did not die. And now, without having any sources, you're trying to reconcile this thing with the Quran. You first need to tell us, and, as you, and, and I can give you this, no problem. You said that you don't have the sources with you right now, no problem. When you come next time, bring those sources so we can see that what the sources are saying, and now what Quran is saying, let's see how to reconcile them. So whether you are trying to eat your cake without having it. Okay. Now, last point. Again, my request. No more point. My request to is, is Quran protected both in words and meanings? How the meanings are protected? To your the first, I, I asked you for the reference. You didn't bring it. Um, okay, wait, this. wait, wait. No more discussion. First reference. Let's stop here. First reference. Because what? Cause just to sort of touch no, on no, in the bit. Not, it's not, no talk, brother. It's not, no talk, please. No, no it's, talk. It's, it's myself, brother, and Tia. So you, ca you carry on oh, finding sorry, the reference. Sorry, sorry, the, sorry, yeah, sorry. The, because what? By disagreeing, by even challenging this, it's interesting because you're saying that there can be a possible change in meaning. Or a loss of the meaning, um, which I don't think you would uh, would agree to on a principle basis. But uh, he's, the brother is finding the reference. But uh, um, it's I'm trying to because uh, I like I like the fact that you actually tried to respond to the question. So I have not been interjecting very much at all. But I think that if the um, no, no, you've no, got no, it, I'll, I'll let you carry on. Sorry, because I don't want to interject. So I think the com conversation is is useful. Shall go, on, brother, and Charles. Okay, so if. Uh, please note down the reference and I will read it for you and you can and if you want to read by the way let me give you the reference yes Rohani line, volume 14 page number 288 from the top what? line from the top line number five Rohani line, volume 14 and page number is 288 I want you to read explain for us. 188. No, no, 288, volume 14. And from the top, line number 5. <clears throat> okay, let me read and, and, and explain. <clears throat> Iftikhar, are you there? اور قرآن شریف میں یہ وعدہ تھا کہ خدا تعالی فنون فتنوں اور خطرات کے وقت میں دین اسلام کی حفاظت کرے گا جیسا کہ وہ فرماتا ہے ان نحن نزل نذکر و ان له الحافظون سو خدا تعالی نے بموجب اس وعدے کی چار قسم کی حفاظت نی کلام کی کی اول حافظوں کے ذریعے سے اس کے الفاظ اور ترتیب کو محفوظ رکھا اور ہر ایک صدی میں لاکھوں ایسے انسان پیدا کیے جو اس کی پاک کلام کو اپنے سینوں میں حفظ رکھتے ہیں ایسا حفظ کے اگر ایک لفظ پوچھا جائے تو اس کا اگلا پچھلا سب بتا سکے اور اس طرح پر قرآن کے وہ تحریف لفظی سے 
ہر ایک زمانے میں بچایا دوسرے ایسے آئمہ اور اکابر کے ذریعے سے جن کو ہر ایک صدی میں فہم قرآن عطا ہوا جنہوں نے قرآن شریف کی اجمالی مقامات کو احادیث نبویہ کی مدد سے تفسیر کر کے خدا کی پاک کرام اور پاک تعلیم کو ہر ایک زمانے میں تحریف معنوی سے محفوظ رکھا you, this is you, that you're referring to basically and this is if you brother, go brother, word wait, by wait, word wait, wait, brother, wait, wait. Because, because, because people don't understand Urdu some of them give us the gist of what you read yeah first of all he's he's talking about the um protection of the words of the quran uh, through the memorizers of the quran the hufad and then he says that the second thing how the quran was protected is that such imams and such scholars big scholars which in every century were given the faham so the understanding of the quran which then um the interpreted made tafsir of the those passages of the quran which are ijmali meaning which are uh not detailed but which are compact so which are um in, like uh, you have to um unwrap the meaning of of of, of those through the a hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so we see Before that you, there is I no mean, hadith iftikhar, of the prophet okay, sallallahu alaihi wasallam iftikhar iftikhar listen 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 iftikhar so uh, when i said when i said that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not only protected the words of the quran mm. allah has protected the meanings of the quran as well and the mechanism mm. is that in every century we have great ulama they have been explaining quran for us was i wrong in this one or did i uh, properly present this one please tell us no, you, you you presented this one but what the promised messiah is talking here about there are some details in the in in the sentence he has used and you cannot understand the whole picture without going into the details and one of the details is that how are they interpreting the ijmali muqamat they are interpreting it through a hadith nabawiya we have no a hadith on this particular thing so this is not included in this very thing so if there is ma'nawi uh iftihar iftihar wait let's let's make it simple for the iftihar iftihar let's make it simple for the people to understand are you saying that allah subhanahu Now, Atala did not protect the meanings of the entire Quran. I am saying that, brother, my brother, look, yes. look, brother, wait. Point Let me point. My brother, I mean, you have brother, my question, question. My brother, understand you, the question. And I, and then have, I, say, I haven't question, even said if something. The, and you, if the, huh. My question is, if the, my question is, I have a position, and what I understood from Mirza's writing, people have seen that already. I am asking you a question. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised to protect the Quran, was this promise only for the words of the Quran or for the words and the meaning as well? Let, can I answer to this? Please go ahead. Okay. Now, my answer to this is that the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who gave us the Quran did not give us the meaning of every single word and place in the Quran. Certain things, in, and this is what also the Promised Messiah and other scholars have said, certain things were to be disclosed at certain times. They were not meant to be disclosed at previous times. And Allah knows when to disclose some meaning of the Qur'an because there are different butun of the Qur'an. The, there are different layers of interpretation of the Qur'an. And you can come up with new interpretations. And this has happened all the time. And the, the, problem problem with this, the problem with this position, same, brother. Just, just one, one sentence. Has done the same thing that... 
he was this he upon him certain things were disclosed that were not disclosed upon the sahaba or the ulama before him it's as simple as that so just so i understand brother because i want to i stepped out for a minute so because the question was were the words of the quran in the meaning preserved as, he, as, he was as, equating uh, i understand as, i'm clarifying the question brother i'm clarifying it so what what you what you seem to have said is because in the in the passage you read read out and translated it said every generation in every generation there will be people that will preserve the meaning it preserve said that in the, the meaning how yes. it says how, how. it says okay. but it said by it's interpreting it second. through a hadith one second but it said that in every generation this would be done yes Do you understand but... One second, what? brother. One second. One, let me make the point. There's no need to get agitated. We're having a conversation. If it's done in every generation, that means there cannot be a generation that goes by, and a generation is 40 years. Yeah, There cannot be a generation that goes by where the meaning is not preserved. Your response to that is not to, not to say that the meaning was not preserved, but your response has been some things were not explained. Some things were not yes. known. Some the things had to be revealed my, later. My, my point. One is, second. One, I'm making my point to you, brother. So the the issue with this position is is that there is a there is the, this has. Do you think that this has led to a misguidance of the people? It has led to both. It has led to guidance. Okay, and so so now, one second. So that's a clear. So now the prophet peace be upon him has cl clearly said that there is nothing that will take you closer to the paradise or further from the hellfire, that I have not told you about it. And there is nothing that will take you further from the hell, uh, uh, further from the, uh, sorry, closer to the hellfire and further from the paradise that I have warned you about it. Now the problem, now you're, you're in a position here now where you're saying there's something vital. We're not talking about a minor thing that we're talking about something vital for the salvation of the people. For us, this is a minor will, thing. The, we say our basic aqida is the death of Isa. Everything else is furur. We have been saying this from the point we have begun. We have begun last time. I seven hours. But the point, but the point but here is, don't want to brother, brother, don't talk, brother. Yeah, the, pro, the don't point talk. here is, is that you're missing, you're missing, you're, you're attributing that for, however, for twelve hundred years, the people were misguided. And then the true meaning was given later. This is what you're claiming. And this, this is in contradiction to the statement of the Prophet, peace be upon him, where everything, there is no secret information, there's no hidden information, because the Prophet, is, the religion was completed and perfected. So the, so although I've been out of the, this does not make sense to me what you're saying. So you say. Not, so what, what, I would, what I would like is, uh, for a brother, because I, I interrupted Brother Intiaz's point, to just respond to the points that you were making, I, I just wanted to give you my. Said, so let me rephrase what you said. Brother, no, no, just brother, one second. Brother, I have not responded to what you said. I want to respond uh, to what you said before. Please. So, if the heart, please, again, my request, please note down the point. So, I'm going to uh, just uh, with regard to if the heart, what you mentioned, I only going to address three points. Point number one what people are hearing is as though as you are saying, that there is knowledge of some of the ayat of the Quran which was not close to Sahaba, not, sorry, not disclosed to Sahaba and not to anyone before Mirza Ghulam and the death of Isa salam and his, his death, of, sorry, and the crucifixion of Isa salam being put on the cross is one such knowledge which was in the Quran but Allah kept it hidden from Sahaba. You used the word Sahaba before. From Sahaba and everybody until Mirza Ghulam came and Allah exclusively gave him this knowledge. This is what you have said. Point number no, one. Point number two. Brother, wait. Brother, brother, you can you can answer in your turn. No problem. Point number two. And, and, and if the Khar listen this, this very carefully. Before you answer, I'm going to bring Mirza Ghulam. Okay? He exactly said this, by the way. So please make sure when you answer, you are very careful to choose your words, uh, iftikhar. Point number two, you are saying that if a mufassir does the tafsir of the Quran without bringing an authentic hadith, it is not then incorrect. It is not trustworthy. 
we don't have to take that are you saying this or not if not no. please tell us no point I number three wait wait point number three and the last point ahmadiyya are continuously giving one deception they're saying that somebody can give a new meaning of the quran it is not the question of new meaning iftikhar i'm saying it again and again it is the question of contradictory understanding of the quran such as in this case quranic understanding coming to this ummah with tawatur i know you don't like but i will use it and and guess what i'm giving i'm going to give you inshallah something before you leave today about tawatur inshallah as well there will be a gift just for you uh, inshallah iftikhar so what i'm saying is it's not about the new it is about the contradictory understanding understanding of this ummah is isa alayhi salam was not put on the cross period any understanding contrary to that cannot be called new it is a contradictory opposing understanding please address these points <clears throat> so first point the i say that the knowledge of certain ayat was so you have to understand first of all there are different meanings of different ayat not only as a as, as a vertical like you have layers of meanings but also horizontal meaning that in a, in the chronology of time certain things are meant to be disclosed and certain things are meant to be disclosed according to the circumstances of that time by those who are guided by Allah the awliya and the the uh, muhaddathun and so on so either you have a hadith of the holy quran uh, of the holy prophet وسلم, or you claim that um Allah has disclosed up to you a certain thing um secondly there is a a something has been protected since the sahaba from the prophet وسلم, which is the death of the of isa in my view there's an ijma from the sahaba on the death of isa so we have as some in this whole complex of themes there is a theme that is certain from the quran a hadith and ijma of sahaba do you know what ijma means Yes, I know what ijma means. Yeah. Okay. G give me the ijma of the Sahaba on the death of Isa alayhi salam, and if 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 this is not true, then what? So there is a uh, form of ijma. Iftihar, 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 iftihar. Before you answer to a non-wise question, because I just want this one answer, and you can skip rest of my points. No problem. You can give a non-wise answer. My point was: Was there any knowledge? which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept secret from all human beings before Mirza. And it was given exclusively to Mirza. And this wafat of Isa is from that category. Did you say this? No, I say wafat of Isa. Then what did you say? Then what did you say? I say wafat of Isa is something that was disclosed to in the Quran, to the Prophet, to all the Sahaba. And throughout the ages. This wait, is something wait, 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 wait. Then, okay, let me rephrase my question. Why you are saying repeatedly there is some knowledge which is not disclosed and you said that certain things are meant to be, are not meant to be disclosed. I want to hear those things that which were not disclosed to anyone before Mirza Ghulam. What was that thing? Well, that was not disclosed to anyone but uh i would have to i have would have to look but there is i i no no I, no wait no. wait if the car wait if the car wait let me quote you verbatim you said that certain things are not meant to be disclosed but to the muhaddasun and to the mufassirun etc you said something like that my question to you is that what is that thing for which you are using this statement what is that knowledge which was kept not disclosed to anyone. You used the word Sahaba before as well. Okay, you can go back and listen to that again. I, I want to hear that thing which was kept hidden 
from all people, including Sahaba, and it was given exclusively to Mirza. What was that thing? I have I, I again that there is a basis for this is in the Quran, but there is so the ijmal is in the Quran, and there is there are things, but I cannot right now. I would have to think and read about it. I have not now in the moment of time um, the the particular uh, example. But you have in why the Quran. You, wait, no, no, after, in the no, Quran it says. Why did you? No, no, it's hard. Wait. Why did you repeat the hard? Wait. 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 I want to hear those certain things. Imran, by I for example, answer this yeah, let me give uh, one example. Brother Ithikar, sorry, one, one second. Example. Because you, one, example. Whole point, one second, brother Ithikar, one second. Because you, you, the ra the reason for raising this possibility of hidden meanings that could only be revealed later was to do with the crucifixion of Jesus, peace be upon him. This is why you raised it, because that's what's being discussed. So the question then, because you're making two contradictory statements at the same time. On the one hand, you're saying it was clear, it was in the Quran. The companions all knew, and on the other hand, you're saying it was a secret knowledge that was revealed later to the to Ghulam Raza Ahmed. But and so these are two opposite things, point, and we're talking about the same sentences. topic. So, two sentences. I don't understand. Please point. clarify the reason for using this rule that there are some things that are because, of, like I said, it sounded problematic to me. But there are some things that are hidden and that are revealed later. What and what were you what you were using it for in this context? Please explain that. So, um, you, you know that that's the problem. I have now. What, what can you repeat what you said? Uh, you, I wanted to address okay. exactly what, you brother, what I'm going to suggest is take a deep breath, sit back, relax, because we're having a conversation. It's not an argument. We're trying to understand each other, brother. Okay, it's not. A, we're not trying to harm you. We're not trying to catch you out. We're trying to understand what you're saying, because we have a problem with this. So, because on one hand, you're, and I'll explain again. Literally, this is we're doing this in the best of uh, intentions. There's no animosity here. So, you know, just think you're talking to like a friend in the park. There's nothing to worry about. So the problem we're having is this. On one hand, you said that everything about the crucifixion, in terms of um, the death of Jesus, was it was it was clear. The companions were aware of it. The the uh, it was you know there was it was in the Quran. There was there was no doubt about this. And then on the other hand, you're saying that there was see, there was secret knowledge that was that was not meant to be revealed until a later time, and that was what was not preserved in the meaning, and yes. this was so, given so later to Imam Reza Ahmed. So point. these seem to be two opposite so things. If you keep on right. speaking, then I will just forget. Like, yeah, let, me, sure. let me let me let me go for it. Get for to it. this point. When I say that certain things were not revealed, then this means that. It, it first of all, it does not mean that I know for certain where the uh, if, for example, the promised Messiah and also the Holy Prophet said things that were not part of their wahi, that were from their ishtihad, for example, and they were corroborating things that were they were saying. So you have the wafat of 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 Rasulullah of, of Isa salam. And this is something that is he said himself is certain I have received from Allah. I have not seen by yet a any anywhere where he the where it is said that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad alayhi salatu wasalam explicitly saying that Jesus being on the cross is something. There, where, 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 where does he, where does he say it from? So, because he is the promised Messiah, salam, we believe that he has this knowledge, and because he received knowledge, and before him, so many things were not said. We, you said we have an ijma of the Sahaba that Rasulullah died, uh, that uh, that Isa salam, died a natural death. We have. Um, the Lughavi meaning that corroborates history, why then should we go and stick to something where we have no nas in, we have no textual evidence, 
So does the Bible have a nas in it? The Bible is not in, in and of itself a reliable source. And what's what what is the what is the evidence of the crucifixion that you're bringing from history if it's not the Bible? The, it's the Bible in combination okay, with so the Bible, historical sources. So one second, and, and one second, one second, the, uh, one second. Brother the Iftikhar, one nation second. of the promised one Messiah. Second, Iftikhar, brother, one second. Because the Bible itself is not an, is not a witness of the crucifixion. You understand this, yes? None of the gospel writers, none of them, zero, were eyewitnesses of the crucifixion. You're aware of this fact, yeah? I am aware of this fact, yes. Okay, so that's the primary source that is used for evidencing the crucifixion. Everything else, everything else, you want to coach Josephus, Tacitus, Pliny the Younger, whoever you want to quote, are repeating the 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 understanding that the because it says the Bible says they all forsook him and fled. That means they all ran away. There was no one to see this. Christians oh, claim that Christians, Christians claim that Christian, but but I'm not Christian, going there. One second, if the car, one, second, there. one this second, is not one second, my discussion here. one second. This is the discussion we're talking because we're talking about the sources of because you're talking about reconciling yes. history with the Quran. Yes. This is your position. Now I'm telling you the 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 basis for the history that you're bringing. The primary source is not an evidence. Everything else is secondary. Even Josephus, etc. These are writing what what year one fifty. But you won't these get much... this primary. No, primary but what? Is the Quran. Why one don't you come to the one, Quran? One and the one second. We'll come to this. We we'll come to this. No, you don't. This, we're, we're, we, you we, are we were talking about. about you, you, no, no, no. One you, second. Around the bush. Just re kind of relax, Yara. Yeah, yeah. We're talking. Oh, uh, you know, I, I'm. I, just I don't be calm. One second, I want to explain to you. Take a deep breath and just sit, Yara. Yeah. We're just talking. Because I'm giving you the position. One is that the Bible is not an eyewitness of any crucifixion. One point, and it cannot, and it has no uh, agreed upon text. It has no uh, chain. Has nothing. Second point. The second point <laughs> is this. You're saying that the, the 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 meaning of the Quran on this topic was hidden. No, I didn't say it. I said that. Quran, by let me make it simple. I am yes, still please. not able to get the answer. What was those certain things which were hidden from all the people, including Sahaba, and they were given exclusively to Ghulam Mirza? I still want to hear. I give those you things. one example. Wait, 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 wait. If those things are, if those things are the passion narrative, they are already there in the gospel. So what was that no. thing? For example, I give you, and this is a challenge of, also of the promise, Messiah, it's the tafsir of Surah Al-Fatiha that was revealed what? to him. Tafsir of Surah Al-Fatiha that he made, that Allah revealed to him. Brother, brother Iftihar, wait, I don't want you to build something on a false premise. With regard to this particular issue, Mirza Ghulam has claimed certain knowledge which was kept Hidden from all the people, and in this context, you use those it words. It was not and hidden from all the people. Wait, if someone wait, doesn't wait, tell wait, you that he knows wait, something, wait, it doesn't mean wait, that it's wait. hidden. Now you do not have the courage. Now you don't have the courage to say that. I want you on this particular topic of Isa alayhi salam has died. What was that hidden knowledge which nobody knew before Mirza Ghulam, which he claimed to be knowing, and you know this. Please say it. Don't go to Surah Fatiha. What, what, do you, what do you mean? I meant in our discussion, the whole discussion was about Salabuhu, about Isa alayhi salam. In this discussion, you said that there are certain things which are not disclosed to the people and you counted Sahaba among those people as well. I want to listen from you on the topic of death of Isa alayhi salam. What were, what were those hidden things which were kept secret from everybody except Mirza Ghulam. What are those things? I don't know if there is anything that was kept that's secret it. from that's anybody. It. That's it. That's it. That's it. This was How the answer. Was this particular that's thing. It. No, no, that's it. That's it. You do not know. I appreciate that. That's it. Okay. You do not know. And inshallah, it is our responsibility now to educate the people. Alhamdulillah, I appreciate it. Now, let's come to the question of Adnan. My, Adnan, my, please come what was your question? Yeah, my question was that he claimed that there is a Jama of the Sahaba. Okay. Uh, look, 
when you claim things like this, uh, you either have full knowledge of what you're talking about, or you're just completely ignorant and you're just throwing claims. Okay. What we have seen with Qadiani missionaries is that they throw names and deceptively, quite deceptively, not knowing the conclusions or not quoting the conclusions. They throw names, they pick statements randomly out of context, and then they claim that this, this is this, like the Riyabadi was used by Razi last week as a source. Okay. But the Riyabadi was saying exactly the opposite when we checked. So you're claiming Ijma. Where is the Ijma? Ijma on the death of Jesus. Ijma on the death of Jesus is in one of the narrations. Let me pull it one, up. Okay, first of all, one narration. Uh, iftihar, iftihar, because uh, yeah. some people told me that you write uh, research papers as well. So my request to you is, First, establish the principle that how Ijma is established and then bring the evidence. Yeah, what is Ijma? Tell us, what is it? Okay. Ijma, uh, there are different different uh, types of Ijma. There's this Ijma no, in, in no, this case. No, you said your um, Ijma. What, what is your in, Ijma? In this case, the Ijma was Ijma Sukuti. This means that Sayyidina Abu uh, um, Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. Um, he one second. Where, let me. I have to reread the the narration. Then I can tell you. Um, take your time. Take your time. Take your time. One second. So you're claiming you're claiming a consensus from silence. Yes, I'm claiming a consensus. From silence of uh, the rest, so there's one one Sahabi who um, does a statement. Yes, this is um, when uh, um, if Tihar, let me tell, ask you something because it will help you to find the reference. Okay, Ijma Sukuti. Okay, the silence consensus this is how you need to establish for us you need to produce that any of the sahaba said that isa alayhi salam has died and then nobody corrected him this established ijma sukuti please bring that the correction of someone later on after everybody has been silent is not accepted by many scholars. So this is not... No, no, no. I did not say that. Iftikhar, please understand the point very carefully. I said that Ijma Sukuti, how you mm. establish it? That one Sahabi makes the statement on the matter on which you are claiming Ijma. Now, you are claiming Ijma, Isa alayhi salam has died. One yes. companion has to make this statement, Isa alayhi salam has died, and then no companion must Correct him. Must this will prove Ijma Sukuti? Bring the evidence. The evidence is the Holy Prophet وسلم, after he died. Brother, reference and on the screen. Brother, reference so we can read because we can just trust. Put the reference and and listen what you have to prove. You are proving. You are claiming Ijma Sukuti. And please go and read the books again, brother. You need to tell us. The, ob the, the subject of Ijma Sukuti has to be presented by at least one companion. And what is the subject matter? Isa alayhi salam has died. Because our discussion is Isa is die, has died. And this is Ijma you proving, you claiming. So one Sahabi must make this statement and none of the Sahaba should say the contrary. Please bring evidence. Don't just paraphrase. We want, it is very critical matter. Why? Because if somebody denies, rejects the ijma of Sahaba, he is not a Muslim. We are not discussing something trivial. We don't want you to paraphrase for us. If you don't know, we give you the we give you the opportunity to say, "I don't know." I will bring next time. Not a problem. Okay, let me bring it then. Um... One second. Let me Send open to, it. Uh, yeah, okay, you can share the screen, maybe, inshallah. Share the screen and and quote the primary source material because it's something very important. 
Okay, the Holy Prophet it's, it's in Kitab Sahih al-Bukhari, Kitab al-Maghazi, Bab Maradun Nabi. Hadith number? Hadith number? Um, one second. It's hadith number 4,452, 53, and 54. Which one are you quoting? Um, it says all of them. So in the No, reference. no, you quote one by one. So we can put a screen, inshallah. Which one are you going to quote first? No, the whole hadith has three numbers. Brother, obviously you are going to read one hadith first, okay? So please tell us that one number we can put on the screen. We can all read together. Yeah, four four five two. Iman, my please bring this one four four five two, brother. Yes. Right. Sorry. It's the card four four five. Sorry. From Bukhari. Yes. Okay, let's bring that up. Four four five two. Iman, okay, if you can, shall share the screen so people can see what he is quoting. Yeah. Four four five two. He said. <laughs> Just give me two seconds. No problem, brother. Take your time, inshallah. It is something very important. We can't just, you know, paraphrase these things. This is about Qad Khalat Qabli, I mean, Qabli Rasul. Okay, this is what it is. Okay. And our time is going to be wasted, guys, discussing this because there's nothing about the death of Isa in this hadith. Nothing. Adnan by, Adnan by, wait. Adnan by, look, you know what? I know this already because the problem with Iftikhar is he uses big terminologies without understanding them. Ijma Sukuti has a particular mechanism to be established if the car. Yes. That Sahabi, Sahabi makes that statement and then none of the Sahaba contradicts him on this principle till Yomul Qiyama, entire Ahmadiyya cannot prove Ijma Sukuti that Isa has died and Adnan Bai is right. Alhamdulillah, we know these hadith. If in this hadith, there is none of that is there. None of it's again the same tactic. Dropping the name of the Sahaba. Brother, please. You need to establish the point you are making. Your point is very specific. Ijma Sukuti. You need to use the mechanism of Ijma Sukuti, brother. You're making a generalization and you're using it to establish a specific point. And that's not sufficient as an evidence for this. And we have no problem. So Istikhar. let me you let are us more quote than welcome. This okay, please read the hadith so we can listen that how you proving Masukuti from there. And please just quote the relevant part just to save our time. And your time obviously as well. Okay. You can read the um, Brother, we don't need to read. You are yourself. going to read the relevant yes. part. Ma Muhammad, when the Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu said that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam has died and he will not have, uh, I think he said he will not die twice. And then he said, um, then then Umar he didn't want to. Uh, anhu, he didn't want to believe it and then Abu Bakr anhu said um, if anyone amongst you used to worship Muhammad وسلم, then Muhammad وسلم, is dead but if anyone of you used to worship Allah then Allah is alive and shall never die Allah said Muhammad وسلم, is no more than an apostle and indeed our Rasul have passed away before him إلى الآخر الآية. Um, so here, so what is it? And nobody, it? nobody, nobody questioned it. And this was said. No, no, wait, Muhammad wait, wait, brother, to... brother, wait, wait, wait. You said that Sahaba have ijma on that Isa alayhi salam has died. This statement, yes. this statement has not even you have not even quoted this statement from anyone. How can you uh, claim that? Uh, by the way, look at the double standard. When our Muslim side, when we say that we have ijma. The Isa is alive in heavens 
and he will return in the later days. You guys want us to give us a very strict criteria to prove the ijma. And now, do you think we we'll let you off the hook by this one, my brother? First of all, define what is ijma sukuti. Please don't call anything before that. If you don't know, said that I don't know. Our my request to Iftahar, you is this, please, brother. You are a very good person. Quote to us definition or description of ijma sukuti. I don't want to go into this discussion with you. The what I'm saying, let me say what I'm what I say, and if you don't like it, you don't like it. Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu said something. He said that Muhammad sallallahu died, and everyone before every prophet before him, every messenger before him, brother Iftikhar, also sorry, died. Brother, sorry to interrupt you, brother. Sorry to interrupt you. You, can, you you've made a specific yeah. claim. You you made the claim yes. that you made were the companions. Were, there was ijma am, uh, amongst them about the death of Isa alayhi salam. This is what you said specifically. Right. And then you gave a type of uh, ijma that you gave, ijma sukhuti, and then you defined it. The definition earlier was there have to, it has to be specifically mentioned the point that you're discussing. And then that, then you can use that as an evidence. Now the problem, the point here is, the, brother Thakar, the problem here is you're using a generalization to then establish something well, specific, and that's a problem. And it's very obvious, it's clear. No, if, it's not, if this specific is part of the general, then there's no problem in it. Brother, yeah, but then if the hard, let, me, let me give you the, if the hard, let me give you the technical answer because you like tech. Okay, look at this one now. Are you aware, if the hard, that when Mirza Ghulam narrated this event of death of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that Sayyiduna Umar radiallahu ta'ala who said that he clearly said something about Isa being alive in heaven. My question number one, according to Mirza Ghulam, are you aware that Sayyiduna Umar radiallahu ta'ala who clearly mentioned the hayat of Isa salam? Number one. Number two, now you need to tell me that which Sahabi said, oh, Umar, you are wrong. Isa has died. So this is Ijma against you. Number one. Number two, how can you claim Ijma when we have dozens of Sahaba, they are narrating the ahadith of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam being alive in heaven and he will return in the later days. And you are saying Ijma, brother, you are trying to tell us it is a, it is a, it's a, it's a noon, it's a 12 o'clock in the noon, that it is night. How can you believe that brother so you need to give me the answer for these two points did Sayyidina Umar anhu, in this incident according to Mirza Ghulam did Sayyidina Umar made a specific statement about the hayat of Isa salam, number one number two you need to tell me that which sahabi corrected his specific statement and lastly when sahaba are quoting the okay, ahadith Muhammad, how can you claim Ijma? my I'm I'm not finding the the references that would that I would now need, but uh, I am in contact with my brother uh, Razi. Um, he says he has the answer for your question. Uh, I don't know if he is in the background or not, but uh, I would let him uh, if you if you want. Uh, he was cut off because he want he had to go for salah, so. If you Why want, you can you... let him and he can answer your question because um, I'm... That's the problem, Iftikhar. You, are, you, you, whichever issue you bring up in every live stream, brother, Iftikhar, that's very problematic now. You bring up the issue, when we ask you for the evidence, then you just, you know, withdraw from that. Brother, that's not fair. No, okay? you are Please, something you come... new. What I'm saying is, this is a very clear, very clear thing. The Prophet ﷺ died. Umar radiallahu anhu did not want to believe it. Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu said, وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرُّسُلُ And no one said, oh no, Isa is alive. Why not? Because... Brother Iftikhar, Brother Iftikhar, Brother Iftikhar, stick with... Brother Full stop, that's, that's my problem. position. If you want to... Brother, wait, wait, look at this one. Stick with... That's, you, you're always changing the, uh, your position. First you said that you have you, you don't have research on this one. You want Razi to respond. And then all in a sudden, you start saying things. Brother, please, just be silent because you don't know. You acknowledge that. Just leave it at that. 
okay don't just try to say things because it is a matter of religion brother allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbidden us to say something in a matter of religion without having yakin of uh, knowledge you, you know why because you are quoting you something here then tell me, brother please. wait brother wait brother wait you are quoting something here that i is, have the that ijma of the brother wait 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 you are quoting the ijma of the sahaba on something and if somebody denies the ijma he is a disbeliever what you, what you doing here it's a, it's a very basically by you saying that you, your belief is that sahaba have ijma that isa salam has died and we all the muslims obviously would not believe this then brother iftikhar be consistent then we are not a believer we are kuffar how can somebody be a believer after rejecting ijma of the sahaba so don't make this big statement brother just leave it like that please as i so said imran, you are adding things uh, imran on... bhai with regard imran, imran bhai with regard to razi everybody knows alhamdulillah we gave razi almost 3 hours razi is more than welcome to come in the next uh, live stream and to start inshallah the ijma on this point no problem yeah so you understand brother iftikhar what's happened here uh, what's happened here is that you claimed something specific so we had a lot of interesting points here we discussed um really the thing that was most fascinating for me was this concept that the prophet peace be upon him was didn't clarify the meaning of things because they were hidden from him and the companions and no, this was revealed didn't, later they, they weren't hidden from him oh so he was aware but didn't inform us which is also which is problematic for the reasons i gave you earlier about the prophet not hiding anything that would benefit us and take us away from the hellfire and take us closer to the jannah so and then the, then the other thing you claimed here was the historicity aspect of the and we went into the historicity of the bible to say it's not reliable as a primary source there are no eyewitnesses to the crucifixion and every, everyone that follows is really just repeating the things that they have heard and then we here we're talking about the claim that you made about the companion that there was ijma of the companions about the death of Isa alayhi salam big statement to make and we realized actually no what you're doing is you're taking a general statement and you're inferring from it something that it can't be inferred from in the light of other available uh, hadith and statements from the companions themselves so no, it it's been an be interesting and then, and then finally sorry brother finally what you've done is you've handed the baton back to brother Razi and we're happy to have him back um whenever he likes to come back and it may be in another stream to discuss that point specifically but i want you to i want you, with all, with all the love and care that we have for you as our brother in the humanity i want you to reflect on the conversation please so that when because with these are the things that we would we're probably going to discuss and analyze and these are the things that are very important for us we as muslims do not believe that prophet peace be upon him had anything that would be benefiting the muslims at any time Uh, with him and he did not pass that on to us that's a big for us that's a very big statement to make and i would be you know i would urge you to sort of reflect heavily upon that but it's been very nice talking to you brother and if there was any animosity wasn't intended you know we we, we love you for the sake of uh, um you know you're our brother in humanity and we wish the best for you okay right. and our uh, brother iftikhar thank you very much again for coming brother most welcome come next time as well obviously we are all having this passion about our positions so but inshallah brother i can swear to allah subhanahu wa taala against you as a person or against anybody alhamdulillah nothing at all wish you all the best brother okay okay so we're just going to drop my brother ikhtikhar down so that was a very interesting discussion actually um I think Suleiman brother Suleiman from Nigeria I think he's in the back say if he wants to come Okay no problem uh, brother none of you there like, uh, we we we've got the um... I'm here I'm here okay, I'm here I'm going to add the Suleiman to the stream now yes. anything you want to add brother Yeah before I do just just want to very quickly highlight this that this is a pattern with Qadiani missionaries that they make claims they throw names they throw hadiths hadith numbers and when we actually look into it look he's making a specific claim he's making a specific claim that isa alayhi salam has died and he's claiming that there was a consensus among the companions of muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam so he's claiming that every single sahabi believed this and yet you cannot produce one direct categorical statement for it how absurd is that this is the question we ask the christians about the trinity 
The Christians claim that all early church fathers are Trinitarians. We ask them for a direct categorical statement to this effect. They cannot produce it. Okay. So this is this is absolutely amazing. I mean, it's in, incredible that how people, knowing well that there is no basis for this belief, they still believe in it. So when you claim a specific thing as a belief, when you say that I believe in X, Y, and Z, and you make specific claims, then the evidence has to be specific. You cannot use a general statement to make a specific point for a specific belief. This is a very basic thing. If I say Allah is one, I have to give specific evidence. I have to tell you, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ The Quran says Allah is one. Okay. If I believe that uh, the Prophet ﷺ uh, uh, has passed away, has died, then we have evidence from the Quran. The Quran says, إِنَّا كَمَيَّتٌ وَإِنَّهُمْ مَيَّتُونَ And Allah amazingly uses the word mot here, mayyat. That, oh Muhammad Wasallam, you will pass away and as just as they have passed away or they will die. Okay? So we have categorical evidence for our specific beliefs. Otherwise, your belief can be questioned. So the reason why Qadiani missionaries are struggling with this belief is because there is nothing categorical. It is non-existent. Mirza has written it for them and now they're going around the world trying to prove it right. And and I am sure that the Qadiani missionaries are actually aware that they don't have any basis for the claims of Mirza. They know that. That's why they have to go around the world choosing long, lengthy discussions, okay, making claims uh, that cannot be substantiated knowing well that there is no, no basis for this, okay? There were 100,000 companions of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and we have multiple companions reporting from the Prophet. Could not one of them say, Jesus died, Isa Alayhi Salaam died. None of them said this. Not one of them said this, okay? So, and you cannot produce any authentic report to this effect. None, non-existent. So I think we should move on to the next... Uh, Interlocutor, see yeah, what um, that's that's a really great summary, mashallah. So, uh, this is a uh, Suleiman, brother Suleiman. I'm going to add you to the stream now, okay? Welcome to the stream, Suleiman. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Can you hear me? Yes, look, I hear you, brother. Loud and clear. Any, any anything you'd like to uh, uh, interact with in what's already been discussed, or yeah, basically two points. So, before I go to those points, uh, when brother Iftikhar was looking for a reference. He was actually referring to a book titled Milal Wa Nahl. And in that book, it is not written... Milal, brother. Not Milal. Brother, it's not Milal. Read it properly, brother. Well, what is it then? I'll Read it properly, brother. No, yes. what is it? If it is not Milal, what is it? Simple. <laughs> milal. Ma, just give it to me. Simple. You just don't bring those these gymnastics. Uh, I mean, if I pronounce something listen, listen, and you listen. think that I don't pronounce it correctly, give the correct pronunciation. Brother. Okay? Adnan so don't use that tactics. All right? Yeah. I'm uh, quoting the book and then you are saying it's okay. not. If it is not, what is the name? Yes. Who's the author of the book? Is that Imam, not? Okay. Imam Shah uh, Who's the author of the book? That is the book I remember offhand. Okay, but do you brother? Do you... He's asking you who is the author of the book. You see, when you talk about the author, you know, I can't recall correctly the name of the author, but I recall that that book it is stated that Umar Rodiallahu Anhu said that Nabi Muhammad Mustafa Rufia ila Sama that God, God that he was taken to Sama just as Isa was taken to the heaven. And at the time Umar was making this statement, Nabi Muhammad. Is all is 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 dead on the ground, you know. So that was the book. So if you want to uh, me to to go get you the full uh, thing of that book because you know uh, I I mentioned. Okay, brother Suleiman, brother Suleiman, brother Suleiman, no problem, brother. When you come next time, obviously maybe you have you don't have basic knowledge about the book, brother. Come with the name of the author, brother, because it's very important. Because when you quote something from a book, then you need to understand. 
question that does do you the know answer. the book brother, brother? Wait, my brother wait allow me no, 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 brother no, no, wait no, 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 no. do you know brother, the man, book is very what, 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 see my brother please allow me to finish you can speak then what okay, i'm saying brother is ahead. when you quote something because razi is teaching us from the day one that we cannot interpret the text of an author opposite to what this author meant or believed this is what razi is teaching us from day one so brother this was the reason otherwise it's not a custom by the way i swear by allah this was the reason that when you quote an author we need to know that okay this is the book this is the author so we can see that what was the position of the author on this one and the way you interpreting his text is it every and from the text or not that's one point second point it is the world is al milal not milal al milal okay now go ahead okay so you know the book right brother, the please. book is milal you come to your brother come to your no, no 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 you know the book the book is milal so are you saying that that statement is not in the book you done it's yes yeah, a question okay. okay now listen brother this is problematic with every ahmadi you are coming brother listen the point first okay you this is are istikhraj. coming istikhraj brother allow me to finish you okay. are coming with a source and then you want me to tell you about that source how does that it is your source okay. you do your homework All right, let's, listen, let's listen, listen, listen 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 allow me to finish allow me to, don't talk about brother then yes, i will sorry. quote something when i will quote is something that, brother that, you have every that, right to ask me the kitab. question when i quote you something you have mm. every right to ask me these questions so i am asking you a very common sensical thing brother it's not a trick question at all you said it's a dialogue not technicalities of a debate okay so but now you are addressing technicalities you see the point and there are several times that you guys we even quote an ayah of the quran and you even misquote it because it's not your you know and and now so imagine if we hold you that hold you on that you say it's a dialogue so if you know something why don't you validate the statement that i just made brother that brother is it really true Well, Suleiman, if you want bringing, us to drop Brother it, Suleiman, no, no, one okay. second. Brother Suleiman, look, no. the thing is, you're bringing an evidence from your perspective, so you're the one that needs to provide the evidence and and substantiate its, its status. Then well, it is well, a what, you're, what, what you're doing, what you're doing, is you're just making a claim about a statement. Uh, I'm evidence. not making a claim. But, you see, he cannot but, validate. He but, cannot but, deny but, the statement that I quoted, because he knows that but, what I quoted is in the book. But if he wants us to drop it, let's move on. Brother, the hadith can I, ask you, can I ask you where you're from you mean originally yes i'm from nigeria and when did you accept uh, ahmadi religion oh that was a long time 1997 uh, when you, i was an undergraduate at the university of ibadan were you a muslim or a christian before i was a muslim alhamdulillah okay so why did you decide to go against the entire ummah of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and accept a religion Uh, that has beliefs uh, going against the entire consensus of Prophet Muhammad and his Ummah. I hope you know that this is off the topic, right? It's no, 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 no. I'm, it's on the topic. You know, it's off the topic yeah, because yeah, you are not discussing yeah. about Sulaiman. No, no. If you want to discuss, hold on, wait, 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 Rashid. Wait, wait, this wait. this machine gun He's tactics wait, doesn't asked, work with me. Listen, you have asked a question, Adnan Rashid. With due respect, can I respond? Do. Can you let me ask my question? Mirza you asked your Ahmad question. Mirza Ghulam Muhammad Qadiani claimed that Jesus was put on the cross. This is against the beliefs of the entire ummah. The ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam for the last 1400 years have believed in this that he was not put on the cross. He did not even touch the cross. The cross didn't touch him. Otherwise where is the, the where is the nurse of the Quran that says he didn't touch the cross? Salabuhu. That means he was not put on the cross. What's the meaning of salaba? Because Omar, you, you say, okay, hold on. Uh, again, again, you're going to challenge. What did kufri him? What kauli him? Allah Maryama. This jumla. What kind of jumla is this? Is okay. it jumla li ismiya or jumla tu fiiliya? Don't me. discuss the grammar with me. For no, 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 no. You want you guys? I want to. Be, you want to be technical. So let's go technical. Let's go technical. Okay. okay. Let's go technical. First, you go yes. before you go technical. 
Arabic mm-hmm. language, I'm assuming, is not your, your native language, yes? Of course it's not. No, okay, it's not. okay. It was the native language of all the ulama who have written all the major tafsirs. It, it was the native language. Tabri, Qurtubi, Zamakhshari, okay, and uh, Ar-Razi, Fakhruddin Ar-Razi, they spoke Arabic as, as the household language. All of these ulama who came before Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani, they had a consensus on the fact that Isa salam was not put on the cross. Now you want to t- teach me Which grammar? Which nurse? No, no, wait, wait. You, want me, you want to teach me grammar, Arabic grammar? When but, I have uh, Adna these... Rashid, yeah. we are not talking about being taught Arabic grammar because I asked a question. Yeah. And the question was, what is the nas? And you said Solaba. And then I said that that is not how I understood it. Which you is why I asked the question. You understand it the way you understand it because you have adopted a religion which is not Islam. So shall I say you the have, same thing that you, you, you accepted it the way you accepted Islam. it because you have adopted the so-called tafasils that says Isa they are not was not so put on the cross, which was not quoted in isolation of the substitution theory, which has been discredited by Abu uh, Hayyan that this stories have no basis even to the prophet you can't even get one single source before that goes back to, to the prophet before we according get to, to brother empty has he said it is a statement credited to the tabi'in and because the tabi'in learned from the sahaba and the sahaba learned from the prophet okay, and because it is element of ghaib, yes, the prophet must have taught them and you brother adna rashid in one of your clips you discredit the substitution theory Suleiman. So okay, I will get to the substitution theory. One second, one second. I will get to the substitution theory. Before we get there, can I ask you a question? Which Muslim, before uh, the 19th century, or even up to now, which Muslim scholar actually believes scholar? Scholar. You know what the word scholar means, yeah? Scholar. No, means, I don't. Maybe you can tell me. Yeah, a scholar means some th- someone who's qualified to have an opinion on Islam. Okay. A jurist, okay. Which Muslim scholar of repute has ever believed in the notion that Jesus was put on the cross? Which one? One name. So one name. My one. answer to you is name that one. Uh, my question to you is the, brother. No, this is not a monologue. You have asked a question. You cannot decide and dictate he, he, to he me. Uh, Suleiman, brother, listen. Uh, no, he, no, he no, I'm going to give the answer. No, no, no wait a second. Like before answer. you, before you uh, give the answer. If he's asking you a question, then it's obvious it's not a monologue. So no, to no, make no, no. mistakes, so, well, well, that was Suleiman. So when you this is a monosyllabic that, question. Uh, the well, answer no, it's not. So that's not the same as a, a monosyllabic uh, answer. Suleiman. Suleman, no, it's a monosyllabic not, question. Suleman, Suleman. Oh. If you're gonna, if you, if I will, I will be honest with you. If there's no sincerity mm-hmm. in the discussion, because you the way you're coming across in the discussion is. is is it really, I don't see any benefit in the way it's Did going you forward. you open my chest so, to determine so, whether there is so sincerity I, or not? Why I didn't do we say, I didn't, put ourselves in a position of Allah? Uh, Suleiman, Suleiman, I'll be very straightforward with you. We're trying to get an understanding of the different positions. And this means that we have to be open and question and, and answer the questions with a good intention, uh, the best that we can. Now, when, you're, when he's asking you a question and you're referring back to him, is this a monologue? Of course it's not a monologue. That's what the question is there for. If you so want to ask my, the question in some, if you want to answer the question in some depth, please go ahead. But your the way that you're going forward with the discussion is not very useful. And if it's not very useful, we can move on to other people who may want to have a discussion with us. Okay, it's entirely His up question, to you. Okay? I heard you. Like I said, he wants a yes or no answer. No, I want. No, he an, didn't. He wanted answer. the name of a reputable scholar who held the view that Jesus was put on the cross. You see, that's in what, my earlier that's statement, not a yes and no answer. That's a, an answer okay. for you to In give. my earlier statement, I mentioned that what all the scholars said about the idea of what happened to Isa dwelled primarily on substitution theory. So Irrelevant. it's not just it's Irrelevant. not just theory. You're not answering the question. That You're is not what the is, question. that I can we can uh, start uh, with. Substitution the theory has nothing to do with being put on the cross. Nothing to do with being none of Jesus. them interpreted wait, wait. Solaba. Substitution theory has they nothing inter- to do none with none of them. Oh, subhanallah. You know, I'm talking answer. about each other because he likes using machine gun tactics, and I say it doesn't work with me. 
If we want to have a dialogue, in uh, yeah, yeah, that's you, Brother Suleiman. Brother Suleiman. Brother Suleiman. No. This question. is the first time that I've heard one question being referred to as a machine gun tactic. No, but it's you one said question. It too. I have so watched, I have watched Brother Adnan's video at. Uh, uh, Brother Suleiman, we are not he discussing. We are, Brother Suleiman, we are not discussing. Suleiman, we are not discussing other videos. If you want to discuss another video with Brother uh, Adnan Rashid, please contact him online, and he will be able to discuss it with you. Brother the, Imran, we're, we're trying to discuss a specific topic. So the question <coughs> is: Do you know of a reputable scholar? Do you know of a reputable scholar who has uh, suggested that Jesus peace be upon him was put on the cross? Please. So my please, answer uh, is the same. Uh, the, the, all the scholars have only explained substitution theory. And they didn't explain any verse in isolation. Everything, you know, is around the substitution theory. That's what they were explaining. They didn't explain one word, one by one. So this is what I'm saying. This is what I have read my, I will in the Tafasils. I will repeat my question. Brother Suleiman. Is there any reputable Muslim scholar in the entire history of Islam who said that Jesus was actually put on the cross? Mirza had the audacity to say this. Mirza had the audacity to say this. Can you find me one name who ever said this? Just Thank answer the much. question. Just answer the I, question. Say, I say have yes, answered. Yes, say, say, say I yes, have, I have a name. Rashid, Rashid, I have answered your question. And if you think that uh, your, my answers are not satisfactory, let's say, Mushkila, we'll go on. My answer is the same, just as I've told you. Answer you. Only, your answer only shows me that you mm -hmm. know Mirza was a liar. You, <laughs> don't, you, you don't want to accept it. Over to you, He, he is not a liar. Okay, okay. Imran, you, see, you brother Adnan Rashid, you do not believe in substitution theory. So tell us what happened on the cross. Was, so, was uh, it Brother somebody Suleiman. else that was put Brother on the Suleiman. cross? Brother Suleiman. Yeah. Okay, let, is, me, let me very not... quickly, let me nip, yes. nip this in the bud. Yeah. I have an open view on Walakin Shubbe Allahum. It could be true. It could Substitution theory could be true. I'm not saying it's a lie. I'm not saying it's not true. I am saying all I have said in my statements, which maybe you, don't, you didn't hear carefully, that there is no hadith on the Prophet on substitution theory. Do you understand what that means? Do of you understand what do. that means? That means there is no statement from the Prophet. Exactly. On, it's exactly okay, what I put okay, from okay. Abu so, Hayyan. So, so stop now. One second. Coming back to the main question. Is there any Muslim scholar who said Jesus was put on the cross for the last 1,400 years? So if you want that specifics, are you with me? That yes. specific yes. answer. Yes. All the quotes, all the tafsir that I have read to date, I have not come across any that actually explained each word for word in the tafsir. All they were just lumping together was the substitution theory. Very but good. But you can say that it no, is no, no. implied Wait. that there Don't. is no scholar. But Wait. none of them address that statement. Okay. Now that is clear, now that we have a very clear answer, you could have given this answer five minutes ago. Save us five minutes, right? Uh, but you, you decided, uh, this is why the, the, the conversation... Adnan Rashid, you are not in my heart. Second. Don't play God. One second. That One is second. a supposition. Don't okay. just play God. The same way that you are making propositions uh, Brother about Suleiman, no emotional my response. Brother Suleiman, no, no emotional please. No, I don't like that. You see, have a, you ask a question, discussion. then you try to attack the uh, character. Suleiman, uh, please, let's if not he have has a, the license to attack the character, do not, do not do do use emotional same. blackmail tactics. It's not appreciated. Like, but that, that if you're going to have a discussion, have a straightforward discussion. I studied medicine, and I know about okay. behavioral yeah, science very, very well. Okay, That's very good. So this is not being emotional. I'm not using my amygdala. You're using emotional tactics. It's nothing to do no, with using to, or your No, that is what else. you see. You are just projecting. You, you keep saying emotion. This is not emotion at all. This is, He's attacking me. Term, please. And you are not telling him we are, we this is to, an attack, we like not a Suleiman. response to Suleiman, what I said. Suleiman, this is not productive. If you have studied medicine as you claim, then you mm -hmm. know that in, when it comes to discussions, you have to be calm and considerate. Am I not and, you don't, and you don't use things like gaslighting, and you don't use things like uh, passive aggression, and you don't use yeah, things like... You're going like to behavioral sciences. All these, I, did, I never used any of those. 
the, so what I need you to do Never. is just respond to the question rather than telling people not to be God, which is emotional black. But don't do that. No, when you tell okay. me what, now, what I would like to do is respond to the I, brother. I have questions. behind this. So I'm going to put a timer up because I because I thought the conversation would be a productive one. Mm. I'm going to put a timer up. If I don't see any benefit in the discussion, then I think we will move forward. Um, Let's so go to brother. Yes. Up, because, because I think that you're, yes. you're a little bit emotional yeah. and it may not be useful. I'll, I'll start the timer now for you. So, Brother uh, Imtiaz, please uh, go ahead. That, uh, uh, okay. Call that thing. okay uh, let's inshallah begin the discussion with Suleiman. Okay, uh, Brother Suleiman, look at this one. Obviously, there are no egos in there. I unconditionally apologize to you for anything which disturb you. Are you happy now, Brother? Brother Imtiaz, I can assure you there's nothing. That okay, alhamdulillah. Me. But no, the, point, the problem that I have with you is this. You call your stream something, but then you carry out something else. You call this a dialogue, and then you switch, you know, to tactics, to, to technicalities. And then when I also want to bring in technicalities, Brother Adnan said, I want to teach him Arabic. I mean, I mean, put, put yourself, put, I mean, just look at that, you know? So, Bismillah, go on, brother Imtiaz. Can you please restart my time again? Inshallah, I can start my point, Inshallah. So, this time is actually for uh, Suleiman to start having a productive okay. conversation. Okay. And if, if it doesn't happen, then we'll move on to the next uh, person. So, Inshallah, uh, because, you know, uh, brother Imran, if you can, Inshallah, restart the timer so I can mention something about the subject theory. So, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So, Brother uh, Suleiman, I am assuming that I would not blame Ahmadiyya. Let me take blame on myself. Maybe we are not able to clarify and to make you guys understand what we are saying here. I am not blaming you. I blame myself. Okay. What we are saying, Brother, is Isa alayhi salam was not put on the cross. That is a muhkam thing in this ayah. Why? Because in our entire tafsir tradition, we have no one going against it. Simple as that. Now, what happened? Okay, because your question was, what happened? Quran has not told us, Hadith has not told us what happened afterwards. Now, there are plausible explanations. One of them is, which you are referring to, theory of substitution. That somebody else was substituted for Isa alayhi salam and that this somebody else was put on the cross. Now listen to this point very carefully, Brother Suleiman. Substitution theory necessarily, listen, necessarily, essentially prove that Isa alayhi salam was not put on the cross. Think about this. That's why it's because somebody else was substituted. So our point is proven. The Isa al-Islam was not put on the cross. After that, what happened? Our position is, our scholars, they use substitution theory to explain. And Mirza Ghulam used that he went to Kashmir. Okay. We want you to show us some evidence that what ayah, what hadith you have to prove your point. Al Al Alhamdulillah, for our plausible explanation, we have in the tafsir. But what you are saying, it is in the tafsir. And last point is this, brother. Last time you quoted al Mannar. Okay. Alhamdulillah. We have that one. Guess what? In that passage, Rashid Rida, he is quoting from Mirza Ghulam Qadiani. He is giving that this person from Hind has come up with this theory. He is not giving any, because you cannot prove Mirza Ghulam through Mirza Ghulam. <laughs> So this was my comment on that. Now, inshallah, brother, I, I, I have clearly said substitution theory essentially, necessarily, inherently proves Isa salam was not put on the cross, alhamdulillah. Okay. <clears throat> Can I start? Yeah. Jazakum uh, khaira for what you just said. Number one, you admitted in your statement that the Quran is not clear but that there are plausible interpretation. 
So when something is plausible, it means it is not established. And then you said that one of those plausible interpretation is the substitution theory. Now, according to the sources that we have checked, the Tobari that you quoted and any other tafsir, substitution theory is basically Israeli yet. And we have a classical scholar who tells us that none of this can be established from the Holy Prophet. So if something is not Kote'eyun, then you cannot build Iman or faith on that. If something is plausible, Fakat Kitab Ras is just uh, it's just an explanation, but does that explanation fit the verse of the Quran? Now, when we go back to the Quran, the Quran denies crucifixion. The Quran in no way said Isa was not put on the cross. We have killed. And then what manner they adopted in killing Nabi Isa? Solaba. So when the Quran says, Wa kataluhu yakina, does yakina means they did not put him on the cross? What is kotala? Kotala yaktulu kotlan, solaba yaslubu solba. So what you have just said, there is no ayah of the Quran. It doesn't fit the ayah whatsoever. Now, tafsir manal that you mentioned, tafsir manal did not just stop. Tafsir manal accorded that he, be, he accepted the interpretation of iwa. Fa'awayna huma ila. But to say that Tafsir Manal said something here, he said, Fafirorihi ila lihint, laisa bi ba'idin aqla Thank you very much for your explanation, uh, Salman. Your time so is can up. I uh, translate the last uh, thing I just said? It's just maybe five seconds. You can, you can do it in your time, in your time, brother. In your okay, time inshallah, you okay. can do it. Okay. Okay. So first of all, I want viewers to understand the deception here. Because I use the word plausible, and he is trying to hold down to this world somehow to give this impression that, oh, because ayah has is open to interpretation, you can take it either way. Brother, listen again. It is categorical in the Quran. Isa alayhi salam was not put on the cross. If you have the contrary, give me the ayah of the Quran. We say that Isa alayhi salam was put on the cross, but he survived. This is your position. Please note it down. So as for the Qat'i, Qat'i, definite part is, Isa alayhi salam has nothing to do with the cross. When I said plausible, brother, please don't play this game. When I said plausible, that has regard to what happened afterwards. You have one position, went to Kashmir. And our ulama have given their inter interpretation. I want you to justify your position. Because this is what happened afterward. Our plausibility is theory of substitution. Your plausibility is went to Kashmir. What is the basis for that one? As far as first part is concerned, that is Kati. So please don't mix these two things. Don't create the deception. And secondly, uh, in, in your turn, please open up this discussion because this is the actual discussion. Okay. Quran. Is Quran preserved both in words and meaning? Because this will help us to have a fruitful discussion. So now I have answered to you the plausible part is after. What happened after? Not he was put on the cross. So please don't mix these two things together. Okay, I'm done. Jazakumullah khaira. Number one, uh, can you start my time, please? <clears throat> so number one, I did not use the word plausible. You were the one that used the word plausible. And you did not clarify what you meant by plausible. So if I understood it one way, is that my problem? You should have clarified that the word plausible means what happened after. Now back to what we are talking about. According to the Quran, you said it is clear from the Quran. No, it is not clear from the Quran that salaba means to put on the cross. I said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, wa ma qataluhu yaqina. He was not killed for certainty. Does not kill for certainty mean to be hung on the cross? How do you reconcile that? It is you, you, you have to reconcile that together. Number two, in the Quran, Quran has used the word solaba. 
The Quran used Salaba in several verses. There is no verse that the Quran has used Salaba that meant just to hang on the cross. The Quran describes it as a well ma'arifa, a well known punishment of a manner of killing and the reason for doing that. And the Jews wanted to use this method to discredit Nabi Isa and to claim to, claim to the people that Naudu Billah, he was an accursed of Allah. So Allah denies. Salaba through the nurse of the Quran, Wama Kotaluhu Yakina. What he said, Ma Kotaluhu, Wama Salabuhu, Wala Ken Shubi Allahum. If this is not the case, you break down the passage. Break down Salaba. Break down Kotala. Let us see how that statement I just said is inherent in it. All the Mufasir, they say, Echtilaf. This so called idea that, uh, no, they say there's Echtilaf. There is disagreement, even regarding the the ruah, even fikafiya till a couple was sold. That it is ikhtilaf. Then how can you be cut in when there is differences of opinion? I yield back. Okay. Uh, brother Imran, before inshallah, I begin my point because uh, I want brother uh, Suleiman because maybe he forgot to address. Brother uh, Suleiman, do you agree with me that theory of substitution? necessarily mean that Isa salam was not put on the cross? It doesn't apply because the theory of substitution creates a lot of problems. No, it's not no, about what? My brother does not make brother, So the brother, point here is, are any, the any, are any of the theories put forward, including the substitution theory, do they allow for the Jesus to be put on the cross? The substitution theory claimed that someone else so that's but that's a, that's the point entirely that it's not Jesus on the cross. That, that it do wasn't any of Jesus. the theory, do any of the theories allow for Jesus peace be to be put on the cross? What do you mean by any of the theory? Yeah, because we're the, the point here was about the plausibility of what the what had happened. So and that one of the th one of the theories that was discussed, uh, you you keep mentioning this and you you think these seem to think that this is a position that has to be held. It's not the case. But one of the, the possible theories that was discussed is the is is the substitution theory. Even that theory doesn't is means that the person Jesus speaks upon him was not on the cross, because the, the theory is he was substituted. So obviously it's not that individual. So none of the theories actually put Jesus speaks upon him on the cross, which is clear from the statements. So it so now you need to explain that in that context. Do you understand that the theories put forward, including the substitution theory? mean that Jesus peace upon him was not on the cross. Do you understand that point? I understand what he's saying, but he has not established one thing, that the substitution theory, which is a plausible interpretation, is actually from the Quran. That so we're not, actually this is your, your, your mistake, your because mistake now, what you, what you Imran, have Imran, done, One second, yeah, one second, it was Imran, a clarification point because it's Brother Imtiaz's time. The clarification okay, okay. point was not about the, the veracity of the, crucif the, 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 the substitution theory. That's not the point being discussed. The point being discussed is the substitution theory, even in it of itself, means that Jesus peace upon him was not on the cross. Any he of the didn't, theories, of, he any didn't of the theories, my question. Any of the I theories said, point. Any, brother so Imran, any, any said, of the theory, brother Suleiman, one second, because it's brother Imtiaz's time. I'm just making a clarification okay. for you. Any of the theories put forward, none of them mean that Jesus peace upon him was on the cross, including the substitution theory. So, brother Imtiaz, uh, I think the answer to that was he appreciates that. So let's move forward. No, I haven't answered really that right? question because you are answering a question on my behalf. I'm not dead. I'm I'm not, I didn't answer a question on your behalf. We, we asked you the question. Do you understand it? You said yes. Yes, I do understand the question. Okay, so I'll fine. answer during my time. <laughs> no, no problem. So, Brother MTS, please continue. Okay. So, inshallah, Brother uh, said that he will answer in his own time. So, Brother, you need to tell us in your time, does substitution theory necessarily Necessarily, inherently mean that Isa alayhi salam was not put on the cross. That's my question to you, number one. Number two, brother, you said that it is ijma because I'm just paraphrasing you, between the Mufassirun that the meaning of Salabu, they are not clear. This is what you have said. I'm just paraphrasing the ijma of the Mufassirun that the meaning of Salabu is not clear. You need to give me the reference for this ijma of Mufassirun. Okay? This is my second point. And third, my brother is, I said before, inshallah, very quickly, because now you are, we are going to discuss the meanings of Salah Buhu. I'm asking you this question, brother. Who will decide the meaning? Okay. You need to tell us that how 
how the meanings or interpretation of any of the ayah will be done. So brother, I'm, I have only addressed three points. Please brother, note them down so you can address them. Number one, you need to tell us that, do you agree or not that substitution theory necessarily inherently mean Isa alayhi salam was not put on the cross and this is our alhamdulillah. Number two, that you need to tell us that where is this ijma of the Mufassirun that Salabu has ikhtilaf? There is no clear meaning of Salabu. Number two, you give the reference. And number three, brother, is that Quranic interpretation. Quran has an ayah. What is the way of interpretation? And I asked you earlier as well, you did not address the point. Is Quran preserved both in words and meanings? So this is a summary of my third point. Is Quran preserved both in terms of its words and in terms of its meanings. That's it, brother. These three points. Thank you very much. So I will start from where you left. Can you please time me, uh, Brother Imara? So when you say the Quran is preserved, yes, the Quran is preserved. The Quran is very explicit. Where we have indeed revealed this reminder and we will protect it. Now, what about the meaning? The meaning that you allude to, according to the Quran, it's a meaning that must not contradict the Quran. Which is why Allah says, So there could, there could be a meaning that will contradict, or there could be differences of opinion, and the only way to resolve it is to go back to Allah and the Prophet Muhammad Mustafa. On the issue of substitution theory, the Jews believed that they have killed Isa. So if you believe the substitution theory, then how does it prove to the Jews who believe? that they actually killed Nabi Isa, Ibn Maria. So the substitution theory necessarily imply that Isa died on the cross. But I am saying, yes, because that's in the, what we could free him. Sorry, well, how will he I'm him? just going to clarify. I want to clarify. Sorry, see, Sulaiman, that is their words, their claim. I'll pause your time. I want to clarify something. You said something that didn't make sense to me. I want to understand. So you said that the substitution theory necessitates that Jesus be upon him died on the cross. Because that's what the Jews believe, that that's what the Quran is negating. That is the claim of the Jews. No, I because... want to understand, because you're, one second, do you understand what's, you're, you know, you, you said a medical background, you understand substitution means it's not that individual, yes? Of course, it's not the individual, okay, so... but do the Jews know that it wasn't Isa? No, that's, it's irrelevant what the Jews know. No, it's relevant. Sorry, so, it's, very, it's relevant. The point, the point here is... It is, is relevant, Dr. Mr. Imran. You see, Brother Brother like to play Brother around. Brother Suleiman, you know, I, it's not playing it, around. Because it is you're relevant. Saying, Brother Suleiman, because if you're saying something, Brother Suleiman, one second. What I'll is the nurse time. of the Quran? I point your time, don't worry. The point here is you're saying that the substitution theory mm -hmm. means that Jesus, peace upon him, died on the cross. Because that's, what the, that's the claim of the Jews. They claim, they are claiming. If Jesus, if Jesus peace be upon let's, I mean, if Jesus peace be him was substituted, then by definition it wasn't Jesus peace be him on the cross, right? You are yes. saying it is not yes, Jesus. Yes. You understand that, right? Let, let me clarify. But, but the Jews what don't is believe what that it wasn't Jesus. And Allah is saying that the Quran did not say anything substitution. But what the Quran is denying is that Isa was not killed. This is what the Quran is denying. The claim of the Jews is that they have killed Jesus, whether substituted or no substituted. That but was the claim. The point that you were, but you said you said the substitution theory means that Jesus peace upon him died on the cross. You see, no, you said he, he used the word necessitates. That's what you said. I said he used the word necessitate, and I'm saying that the substitution theory. Necessitated that, that. Maybe, maybe, brother Adnan can clarify the point that you're trying to what make. What he is make saying, sense. what Suleiman is saying, is that because the Jews claimed that they killed Jesus, the son of Mary, they must have had, they must have seen someone on the cross. Okay, because for them to say this, someone has to die, and if that's the case, then Jesus must have been put on the cross, and that's what he's uh, Suleiman is saying. No, but I, I have I have a response to this, Brother Suleiman. Yeah? If if that's the case, then substitution theory is the strongest theory. You know why? Because someone was killed on the cross. It was not Jesus. It was someone else. And Jews, because someone was put on the cross, Jews claimed that the person who died on the cross was Jesus. 
That's why they said, Inna qatan al Masih. We have killed the Messiah. Okay? Because someone was put on the cross. Right? But Allah then clarifies later on that actually they were wrong. It wasn't Jesus. He was not crucified. He, did, he was not killed. So if anything, if we take that argument, the one you're presenting about the Jewish people believing that they killed the Messiah uh, on the cross, then the substitution theory is the best theory. It is the strongest theory. Are okay. you done, Mr. Adnan Rashid? Yeah, I am done, yes. Jazakumullah khairan. It is not the best because it contradicts the Quran, number one. Allah says, Wala taziru wazratan wazratan ukhra. Allah says he will not take the burden of Mr. A and put it on Mr. B. So substitution theory contradicts that. Number two, Allah in the ending of that ayah says, well, can Allah aziz and hakima? If Allah is showing power, Allah shows it with the requirements of wisdom. What wisdom is it there for the Jews, for Allah to substitute someone else in the place of Isa? That no, is problematic. It goes the against the attribute of, I did not interrupt you, Brother Adnan Rashid, so please let me learn. No, but can you can you can you add more time to my time? You're please? misquoting the theory. The theory goes. I am not misquoting the let me, theory. Let me. The theory goes that Jesus spoke to his disciples and he asked them, "Which one of you will take my place?" That is which one. one of you? That is wait, one wait, line. One, that is one, another one. one. There are so many. One it's not just one. So so why can't we take that one? Why can't we take that one? So why why will you take that one? Where are we going proof? with this? We're not going anywhere with this. The point, the bottom line is the substitution theory, the initial question. So are you switching can, your position now that version? you believe in substitution Suleiman. theory? Brother Even Suleiman. though you do not believe in we it earlier take, on? Brother Suleiman, we can You take keep it. interrupting me, Brother Adnan Rashid. You finished. I okay. allow you to finish. And now okay. I want to free talk. And then you just cut me off. And then okay. Brother Imtiaz will now say, oh, you did not address this. Oh, you did not address that. No, How do you expect me to address... You, all of that. The, theory. the theory does not say that Allah chose someone to be on the cross. The what I am says addressing that, as the substitution theory. theory, you are looking at substitution theory only from one lens. According to the Tafasil, there are several. Some say it was the space that was switched. That is yes. still substitution. Yes. And some say that some among the disciples, uh, that Allah cast the image of Isa on the entire members of the disciples. So they took one. Another one said that it was Judas al Ascaria who was the yeah, bad egg. We can take any model, brother. You we see, so you have so model. many. These yeah. are all substitutions. So but now you want take... to narrow it for, to just one. When the tafsir does not narrow it to, maybe you want to write your own tafsir. The tafsir that we have brother. did not narrow it to just one. It mentions series, which is why it used the word ikhtilaf, that it is differences of opinion. So which, whichever one you want to take is problematic. Even if you take the one that says that somebody said was going to volunteer, it goes against the vast no, you're world. missing. you're missing the overall point, Brother Suleiman. And the overall point is that it doesn't matter which one it is because it's not Jesus speaks upon him. It matters. And so what that, what that means is that from, from the, the, irrespective of whatever happened, it was Jesus was not on the cross at all. Yes. Now, the problem the is this contradicts your position. And this, con and this, you have to explain why uh, Jesus Peter ended up in Kashmir and how he did this in contradiction to the gospel narrative. So you want to move to because Kashmir? You're, because, you're, you're, because you're using the gospel narratives as a basis for your belief. No. But the gospel narrative say that Jesus Peter died according to the narrative. We're, we're, no, now we we're know, not using we know from, narrative. We know, absolutely. So this is a, pro a problem here. No. So well, Quran, one, second, yeah, one, second, brother, one second, one second. So it's very important because you keep arguing about the theory itself, which no one is specifically adhering to or supporting. But this is clarifying for you the point that even in that theory, even in that theory, it was not Jesus Peace putting on the cross. Why don't you allow Brother he was not, he was not to crucified. address the point that he mentioned the last time that this theory actually came from the prophet? No, you're, 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 you're making a straw man, brother. You know, it's not a straw you're, man you're, argument. You're making a straw man. So this is the I whole have, point. Because right at the beginning clearly, of this discussion, let Brother M. Chaz, he'll clarify for you right now, okay? Brother M. Chaz. Uh, but I'm not done yet. I still have 26 minutes. So 26 seconds. Uh, minutes would be too 26 much. 26 seconds, me. sorry. Yeah. Go, go for your 26 20. seconds. So why do you want to take that one away from me? Okay, Jazakumullah Khaira. So it is problematic whether it is switching of the face, whether it is switching of a whole person. It is problematic because 
It, it goes against the wisdom of Allah. Allah says, wa kana Allah azizan hakima. That's what ended that uh, ayah. It goes against the wisdom of Allah because what we know is that Nabi Ibrahim was thrown into the fire and Allah got him out. You see? Okay, we appreciate okay, that. Sorry. So, so the, the problem here is again, rather than talking about the, um, the actual implications of any theory put forward that Jesus peace upon him was not on the cross. You're talking about the theory itself as if that's a, a position that you're holding us to as if we have to believe that. Now this is the, the problem is this that is that it's a basic step of understanding. <clears throat> All the only point made being made to the Jesus we our position is that Jesus peace upon him was not on the cross. But even the even the substitution theory brother Imran even if, the sub, even the substitution theory from says, day one from even the first... the, uh, Suleiman please even the okay. substitution theory says that Jesus peace be upon him was not on the cross. So none of that, none of these are the uh, the, the the explanations because no one knows the explanation. The Quran says that the, the the explanations brought by people are explanations of the fact that Jesus peace be upon him was not on the cross. And and you're, what you're doing is you're focusing not on the point, but actually on something else that isn't part of the point, which is which is difficult to have a discussion about. But the, uh, brother Imran, uh, from day one, one uh, when we started this discussion, uh, Suleiman, brother Suleiman, just one second. So you just run a commentary and then you shut me down, okay? Yes, yes, that's exactly. So I'm commenting on the fact that you are not adhering okay. to the, the point. So sometimes what happens is that you talk off the point. I now, wasn't now, talking about the point. Absolutely off the point. Because the no. point being made to you and you agreed that you Fakudi. understand that the crucifixion... One second. The, the whole point here, and this is again gaslighting, it's not passive gaslighting. aggression... You know, this, this is not passive. You can qualify comment, it any name. Unnecessary, unnecessary All the terms that you are using, I'm very the, the, familiar the point, with them. The point and I know here, this is, the you cannot use them to shut me down. You're talking over, and I, I don't oh. want to mute people. I haven't done that before, and you may be the first Rabbi point in the way you're interacting. The point here is very simple. Hmm. We're we're clarifying to you that none of the theories put forward, none of them, including the substitution theory, allow for Jesus' peace putting to be on the cross. None of them. What you're doing is you're focusing on the substitution theory as a as a plausible and what the problems with it are. That's not the issue. The issue is that any explanation put forward <clears throat> clarified and further strengthened the interpretation that Jesus peace upon him was not on the cross. The how of it we can discuss. The fact of it is that he wasn't on the cross peace upon him, according to the chronic statement and according to the explanations that the people of pride, the scholars have tried to provide over the millennia. Now, you are not talking on that point. You're not talking on the point that the understanding is that there was no one on, that Jesus' peace upon him was not put on the cross. You're not talking on that. You want to talk about, well, what theory are you bringing forward? Which is not, which is off of the topic. And that's the point that we're trying to make to you. So if you Do think you that's want a commentary, that? if, you, if you think that's a commentary, if you think that I'm running something at you and they're not allowing you to talk, I'm pointing out the issue. You can maybe address it in your time. But okay. uh, you have to understand that as the moderator, I'm going to try to get you on point. So please stay on point. Brother Mtiaz, it's your turn, and then Brother uh, Suleiman can speak in his time. Yeah. Uh, my, okay, Bismillah rahman rahim So first of all, um, I'm still not able to understand that how Suleiman is talking about substitution theory, which necessarily means that not Isa alayhi salam, somebody else was put on the cross. This is the essence or the must condition of any form of substitution theory. So it that's why it necessarily means that Isa alayhi salam was not put on the cross. And that is the Muslim position. And Ahmadiyya position is against to this. That's one point. Second point is, as Brother Imran said, you are going into discussion. Okay, what happened? Okay, if, if he was not put on the cross, what happened? I am telling you, our Mufassirun, they have given a plausible explanation in the form of substitution theory. Mirza Ghulam came up with a Kashmir theory. Okay. You asking us to give the proof for that. Please, brother, in your turn, give us the proof for Kashmir theory. These are two things uh, next to each other. And next point, brother, is you said that, no, no, I have said last time that Tabri has mentioned blah, blah, blah. Brother, I give you homework. I promise with you, next time I'll take you before anybody else. You need to come up with a timestamp where I said, that substitution theory is coming from Rasulullah sallallahu and it is coming from Tabri or Qatada. None of that. I did not even mention the term substitution theory at all. 
in the whole live stream. So please, brother, don't misquote me. Okay. Now, last point is this, brother. I asked you before, and you are transgressing. Uh, you are digressing. Sorry, but not giving me the clean answer. My question to you is: Is Quran? Who will interpret the Quran? Because Quran is a text. It needs to be interpreted. How Quran? will be interpreted if you want to go against the all the mufassirun on what basis thank you very much uh, number one when I said that when I alluded to what you said in the past if you listen to me carefully all I said is that everything you said about the tabi and about the sahaba and all this ilm al ghaib they are all because you asked, you, you cited Tobari. And what Tobari was talking is all about substitution theory. This is what I said. Even if you did not say substitution, the reference that you gave linked to substitution theory. And I want you to show me how that explains the Quran. Because you claim <clears throat> that it must have come from the prophet. What, what is in strawberry is substitution theory, except maybe there's something else. If there is, you can show. Number two, I already explained that the Quran is protected by Allah. The meaning of the Quran must not run contrary to the Quran and the established statements of the Holy Prophet. So if we have a scholar who is an exponent of the Quran, whatever that scholar says, must not contradict the Quran, which is why Allah stated that if there is tanaza'a, if I to fishayim, if there's a disagreement about anything, you go back to the Quran and you go back to the Prophet because the Quran is holistically authentic. I don't know what answers you want, but if you are saying that the scholars are the one who have the right to give the meaning of the Quran, fine. If they give a meaning of the Quran that contradicts other verses of the Quran, should we believe and, 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 and throw away those clearly worded statements of the Quran and say because the scholar have said it, we should stand on what the scholar says? This is my answer. Okay, can I, can I now get some conclusion on this, brothers? Because this is not getting anywhere. Where, where are we going with uh, this? Yes, please. Yeah, where, where are we going with this? Yeah. <laughs> Brother, uh, now can I just complain, inshallah, after that you can give the point, inshallah, because I said something. Please. Is it okay? Please, yeah, that's Okay. Okay, first of all, we have not heard anything about Kashmir theory. Okay. Substitution theory, alhamdulillah, we have said, Adnan, I have said, what happened after this cross thing, in order to explain that, we have one plausible explanation, which is called substitution theory, which everybody will agree with me necessarily mean Isa -Islam was not put on the cross. Now, what happened? Mirza came with Kashmir theory. We came with the substitution theory. Okay, let's put it this way. You have to bring the Quranic ayah or the authentic hadith on the Kashmir theory. You haven't. Okay. Next point is, you are saying that if there is dispute, tanaza, fa in tanaza, uh, fa in tanaza tum fi, illallahi, or, fi no shayin, fa in tanaza tum fi shayin. Okay. Okay. Now, with regard That's to what the Quran with says. regard brother, wait, 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 brother, wait, wait. With regard to this tanaza, Quran, brother, please, give Quran brother, please, please, not play tactics, okay? With regard to this tactics. tanaza, Al Milal, brother, Al Milal, this is your Arabic uh, Milal, okay? Uh -huh. Look, listen, brother, Milal. Be in your, brother, me, brother, please, the fine tanaza, don't be brother, in your tanaza. you are Suleiman, talking you about play that game. Game. brother, please, Suleiman, Suleiman. Uh, I know that you are feeling Suleiman. the heat now, but please, listen. In your turn, in your turn, number one, yeah, quote the Kashmir theory. The ayah and the, brother, the ayah and the Kashmir theory. Okay, because you know you feeling the heat now. Kashmir theory is Me? a baseless nonsense. Okay, <laughs> bring that one. Number one. Number two is you said you said that you said earlier that all Mufassirun said this ikhtilaf on Salabu. Don't lie. You are a liar. You are a liar. Give me the reference that all Mufassirun have said that it is disagreement on the meaning of Salabuhu. You are a proven liar. If you are not a liar, you have two options. Okay? Now, either you bring the evidence that Mufassirun 
They said that Salabu, it ijma on the disagreement on the meaning. Bring the reference, number one. Or apologize. Apologize. Okay. Next point is this. You are saying to me that, ah, oh, tanaza'atum bala. But alhamdulillah, I know the whole surah by heart. Alhamdulillah, okay? Don't play these games, okay? Now, you say to me that new meaning and this and that. You are going against Islam. Ahmadi is going against Islam. How? Because they want to produce an innovation for the meaning of Salabuhu, which has no basis at all. That Isa was put on the cross. Prove this position. Can I respond? Okay, so yes. uh, Suleiman, you, these are the final two minutes you have. So make oh, the most yes. of it. And, no then, problem. and then we'll move on no from you because this is, uh, it's not been productive because we've been talking uh, about something. Uh, I'll time you in a moment. We, we've not been talking about the point exactly and you have not really responded to the questions. So you're aware of the questions or do you want me to repeat them for you? No, I'm not. But please repeat person. the question because since beginning, he not giving me the answer. Why is this? My question number one. My question number one is. 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 My question Give me the reference for this ijma. And last point is that you still have not produced anything that any mufassir ever said that Isa a.s. was put on the cross. And you are just laughing. Okay, is it a joke for you, brother? No, it is a joke. It is a joke. Uh, let me explain. Uh, it is not a joke. No, it is a joke because for Qadianis, for Qadianis, we can't hear you. Wait, wait, wait. We cannot hear you. We cannot hear you. You're speaking. We cannot hear you. Wait, 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 wait. Qadiani missionaries, this is the way they are. They just laugh and they treat it as a joke. But for us, this is not a joke. This is deen. This is faith. You know, because of people like you, thousands of people may end up in hellfire. Okay. Because you are here to defend a Dajjal, a liar. Okay. This is the problem. The problem is we are asking for evidences for his beliefs and his claims. And you're laughing at us. You're laughing and you're playing games. You're dancing around the question, not giving us direct references. Repeat the questions again so that you don't have any, uh, you know, you have two minutes and you can you can do justice to your people. You can actually defend them, my brother. Okay. Did any Mufassir, any scholar of Islam ever say that Jesus was put on the cross? Number one. Okay. Number two. The the question regarding sorry what was the other two points? Kashmir theory. Kashmir theory. Yeah, Mirza claimed out of all places. Now you living in Nigeria, okay, believing in Mirza, an Indian prophet, because he took Jesus to India now to him. He couldn't send him to Nigeria, obviously. Okay, he didn't send Jesus to Nigeria or Ghana, or maybe in uh, Guatemala or wherever the Ahmadi communities are. Okay. These people have gone to villages and got some gullible people to believe in them. Okay. Uh, they they are now claiming that Jesus died in Kashmir. No evidence. Can you present evidence for that? Where did that come from? Why did Allah hide that from the Ummah for 1,400 years? Why did Allah keep this Ummah blind to that important detail which came with Mirza? Why Mirza? Why Mirza with that dodgy character on the first? And what was the third point, sorry? So, yeah, one was the Kashmir theory. And second one was this, uh, he was not put on the cross, which first he said he was put on the cross. And yeah. point number three was that how he is deciding the meaning of the Quran by going against our entire tradition of tafsir. Exactly. Over to you. Two minutes. You have two minutes. Thank you very much. You see, all what you just did, Baradna Rashid, it's what I will characterize as a verbal diarrhea for all those statements that you just made. So I'm not going to respond to that. You are entitled to whatever you think. I am originally from Nigeria, but I live in the United States of America. Okay. So you don't even know where I am. You see, so you don't, you got everything wrong from the beginning. 
And you, you, you are not Allah. You're wasting your time you're not, by not answering the questions. I've paused your time. I will answer by the not, question. By, I will, by, not, by making a I will, personal I will answer the question. Me. I will answer the question. These I just are, want to... you, you've got one minute, 39 seconds. Yes. Please use your time to answer the question. I will answer that. the question. I will. Okay. I will. I'm looking at the time. So because you see, I'm not, uh, you see, you cannot just throw things like that without getting something back. You see? So he has no right to say all those things that he said. Because it's not Allah. You are not the secretary of Allah on the day of on the day of judgment. If Allah chose to do it with me, otherwise you cannot save me from Allah. So don't give me all that crap. Now to brother, uh, uh, to your question. You see, you corrected me on Milal, okay, right? And I took it. I corrected you on the Quran. You became very. You very, did not take that. Hold on. Let me finish. You became very you're very doing, emotional. So you used you've used a minute you of your time. You no, used no, a minute I'm going of your to time. respond. I'm I'm pausing you. You you're, you're muted, uh, Suleiman. You're muted. I've muted you, Suleiman. I've muted you. You no one can hear you. You've used a minute of your time to personally attack two people, rather than answering any of the questions which might have helped to move the conversation forward. Nothing that you have said would will will make me come to closer to the position that you're holding. You do, and and the and this is the problem here because we're trying to make headway in the conversation. So now you have one minute and two seconds left. I would really appreciate it if you can actually get to answering a question rather than personally attacking and individuals. Okay. And their favorite topic, by the way, yeah. Akida. Favorite topic. Yeah. yeah, on your favorite topic. Please uh, continue. So I'll reset the time yeah, now. Okay. You're unmuted. Yeah. Thank you so much. So we provided evidence on the Kashmir theory. We quoted Quran chapter 23, verse 51, when Allah says that for Awaina in Rosie quoted it, the second brother quoted it. So if you say that that is not sufficient, you produce the proof. We quoted this ayah, and the other time I showed him to Sil Manar, which he referred to, and I said that Ibn Manar said, Fa Firari Hilalihind that Isa went to India, it is not a thing that is far-fetched from, from logical reasoning, nor from narrations. This is Manel's words. Gulama did not put it in his, into his mouth, and he, he must have seen it, but he didn't acknowledge it. He, Manel quoted Iwa'an. So that is the answer, because I don't have time anymore. Yeah, thank you very much because you used all your time in doing other things. But we appreciate you coming. Um, and I think it's important because actually you, you highlighted that what we've always been saying, that sometimes it's very difficult to get uh, straightforward answers to straightforward questions. But maybe we can have another topic again, a discussion again at another time. Wish you all the best, Suleiman. Take care. Thank you very much. Bye. I have no, if I have no issue with you guys. With yeah, there's Nifa. nothing ever all good. All good. Okay. All good. All good. Uh, uh, Imran bhai, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Imran bhai, uh, yeah, you can go, Suleiman. You are done. Imran bhai, I, I want to highlight one thing very important. We were asking him for the evidence for Kashmir theory for last 15 minutes. Yes. Just before leaving, he dropped an ayah. Chapter 23, verse 51. I invite all the Muslims. We don't even need to comment on that one. Go and open up any tafsir. Any mother, any authentic tafsir, and read what it says. It has nothing to do. So what they do is, they will keep dodging the question the whole time, and just before leaving, they will throw some ayah, some big name, some big book to give the impression that we have proved this point, brother. Chapters 23, verse 51 has nothing to do with Salam being saved and going to Kashmir. Number one. Number two is. <clears throat> He again said that Tafsir Manar. I have said to him earlier as well. When even when the, the Rashid Reda, when even commenting or saying anything, he is giving the uh, the position of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad of Qadiyan Al Hindi. He quoted his position and commenting on that. When the position of Mirza Ghulam is not evident, how can we have to give any seriousness to the comments of Rashid Reda? Because he is quoting the position of Mirza Ghulam and then commenting on that. Alhamdulillah, we are discussing his position. Now, last point, inshallah, before uh, Dr. Uh, Yahya comes, last point is this one. People need to understand this. They are playing a game here 
they all, all of these details they are not part of our aqeedah these are the small details the froy masail your aqeedah is made up of these details i give you an example simple example for the common people to understand the point if you ask a christian how many gods do you believe in they will say one god right but when you discuss them what you discover is that they believe there is one being and three persons which is either tritheism or, or polytheism okay what i'm trying to say when aqida is disclosed in details only then you can understand what this aqida is now their aqida is made up of all of these small details and alhamdulillah none of those details have any ground to be established how come that you cannot establish the components of your aqida and you still have the audacity to claim the aqida is proven what kind of logic is that <clears throat> now i am done mr bhai absolutely yeah. I, this is this is really disturbing and this kind of behavior shows me that the qadiani missionaries wherever they may be whether they are in the us or in australia or in america or nigeria or ghana wherever they are they know they have no grounds to support mirza mirza landed these people in a very deep quagmire okay and they're trying to climb out and they have to do these gymnastics we call them gymnastics theological gymnastics you know when you don't have any direct evidence for your positions and your beliefs you start to cling on to other people's beliefs and their statements and twist them not i mean like just like the the example he gave on kashmir the evidence i mean he had the audacity to even mention the quran okay in this regard so he just he just like just before he left he said okay this is the evidence for kashmir there's nothing to do with there's nothing about kashmir in the quran and the sunnah okay the word kashmir is not to be found anywhere i mean i i, I don't know you know why it makes sense with mirza because mirza himself was indian so kashmir is very close to uh, india so mirza just and you know sometimes i feel that mirza was saying these things like jesus was put on the cross and he survived and he went to kashmir and he died at 120 he was just laughing he was making a joke of people you know maybe he was just making up things and just to see how stupid people are whether they believe in him or not directly contradicting the quran that he was put on the cross quran is so categorical that he was not put on the cross there was no cross full stop you know wama salabuhu first allah says wama qataluhu they killed him not wama salabuhu they didn't even put him on the cross let alone kill him so this is the point allah is making so wallahi it's very disturbing but we have to be patient we have to be patient for the sake of the masses for the sake of the public the ahmadi uh, public out there those who are willing to listen they will see they are human beings they have conscience okay they will see they will see through this inshallah and yeah brother yahya on inshallah yeah assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh how are you dr yahya you okay alhamdulillah how are you brothers and we're good we're good thank you so much for joining us hopefully we can get some thank straight yahya yeah inshallah jazakallah Uh, brother Imtia, just quickly one thing. I just want to play very small part from last stream, and I want your comments okay. on that, if you don't mind. Okay. Yeah. Is yes. Is it is Israeli? Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that when Sahaba said that Wama Salabuhu, and when uh, it, it does, not, it means that he was not put on the cross. This cannot be from Israeli art because, as you know, the Jews they believe that he was put on the cross. Christian, they believe he was put on the cross. This tafsir cannot be from Ahlul Kitab number one, number two. It cannot be the opinion. Why? It is a. It is the matter of a guy. It is a matter of unseen. That what happened to Jesus. It is a matter of unseen. But the istikhar. It is not coming from opinion. It is not coming from Israeli art. It has to come from Nabi Muhammad sallallahu. I said, brother istikhar, please okay. don't confuse the topic. Now, brother, when we. Uh, when we checked your references, because you specifically said go and check Katada and Tabri. Now this mm -hmm. in Katada and Tabri, the theory of substitution. Sorry, brother, brother, yeah, yeah. Before you, brother, before you, you've played a clip 
Yeah, because now, because you're referring to something that was in a stream that was seven hours long, okay? Many of the people watching this may not have heard this specifically and what context it was said in. So you've played this clip. Now, what we would really useful for us to understand what your next point's going to be is explain the context of this clip and then what point you're trying to make so we can understand. I, I'll, I I'll put your time there, so I'll restart it. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it's just that uh, in during the last stream, Badrim Diaz, when referring to that Hadrat Isa Islam, was he put on the cross or not? These were your words. And you tried to yes. give the impression, yes. brother, be, that because these, he, you said it is from Tabayin who learned from Sahaba, and it is Ilmi Ghayat, yes. so it has to be from yes. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, yes. the question is, when we check the references, brother, the reference is not just about Salaba. It is about substitution mm -hmm. theory in those books. So my question to you is, are you saying now that substitution theory is from Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Okay, so um, let me just, uh, before, you, before you respond to this. So in your statement, uh, Brother Yahya, when you were checking with your colleagues, you said that the the statements being referred to was not not only X but also Y. Yeah, not only other theories but included the substitution theory. Yes. So when you're making the allegation that the prophet that that uh, um, brother Intiaz was uh, saying that the substitution theory was from the prophet peace be upon him, why is it that X is also not from the prophet peace be upon him according to the same analysis? Because what it seems to be here you're doing is, and it's obvious to me when I see this, is you, you've 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 looked at all of the things that because Brother Imtiaz is referring to those theories, and you've taken the thing that you wanted to object to him about, but not the others. So I want to understand why this differentiation is being made before Brother Imtiaz answers. Because but of two I'll reasons. Give you time to answer this. Because of two reasons, brother. First of all, we should be very careful. As a Muslim, when we refer something to our, our beloved Prophet Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because remember when the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said the warnings that if, from, if somebody says anything about me and it's not from me, what's the warning? You guys know that. Okay. Secondly, I got Zayal Quran. Very famous tafsir. And it says about substitution theory. It says, Imran Bhai, is he going to go on and on on his point? So, or so the point here was... He asked me, he asked me why I, br I brought no, no. that. No, no. I'm asking very something very specific. Yeah, yeah. Because the, because the, the theories that were multiple, the, period, the theories were multiple. And what you've mm -hmm. done is you've attributed to uh, the brother MTRs a specific one of those. And you're saying you're saying this is from the prophet peace be upon him. But not uh, uh, this is again what you're doing is you're not uh, you're not actually uh, under, you're not explaining why you've chosen that one rather than the others, and why you're attributing this one rather than the others. What you're going to what you're doing now is you're going to uh, other um, tafsirs of the Quran to try and say that this is what he meant. Now the question the way to do it is with all respect because this is actually a little bit underhand recording people you know that's fine. But the question actually is to say. You're referring to the statements within the uh, of, of Tabari. Which one were you, Brother Imtiaz, referring to as coming from the, the Prophet, peace be upon him, so that we can understand? This would be the, the open-handed way of doing something. Do you understand? So I, so let's let, let's put that question, because that's the question you put to Brother Imtiaz. Uh, I'll adjust your question slightly. Brother Imtiaz, th this recording that was provided by uh, Brother Yahya, is it is it referring to uh, that the the substitution theory attributing it to the prophet's point, or is it something else that you're referring to? Or you can clarify the statement as you like. Please go ahead. Um, so, Doctor Yahya, uh, because you asked me to clarify and explain. Okay, now here's my explanation. I will give you this homework, Doctor Yahya. That watch the stream again. Go to me even once from seven and a half hour. If I ever even use the word substitution theory, number one. Number two, if you ask me, me that what I am referring to the matter of ghaib, number one, 
what I am referring to coming from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and I will give you why I said this. Okay, now be with me here. So basically, I made it very clear earlier as well. Isa alayhi salam was not put on the cross. This tafsir, this understanding is coming uninterrupted without any disagreement from our mufassirun, from the Muslim mufassirun. Now, I then after that, if you remember and go, go and watch their discussion, if I quoted something to iftikhar, and in that quotation, the ghulam used a logic. He said that if something is having diversity in it, we cannot refer it to Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa in that context, using the same logic, I flip the table to him. I turn the table to him. I said, if that is the logic, then on, it, it means the converse is true, uh, is true as well. What is the converse? If something has no diversity, it has no disagreement. From this logic, it has to go back to Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You can go and watch. This was my discussion when this thing came in with iftikhar. So I use principle Mirza Ghulam gave. He said that if something is having disagreement, we cannot refer it to Salam. Now, you said to me, be careful in your turn. Please tell me. Mirza Ghulam said that Sayyidina Isa salam learned Torah from a Jewish scholar. Was he a liar in this statement or did he speak the truth? Was he careful in this one? Your turn. You finished? I finished? Okay. Yes. First of all, the reason I asked you, brother, is because I want to you to clarify that you do you really believe in substitution theory that it is from Holy Prophet وسلم, or not? Because the books you refer to, it doesn't just say salaba, it also goes on to uh, brother. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna stop you for brother, one minute. One because, second, one second, no, no, this is important. Up. I have to stop you for one minute because this is very because you've done something unprecedented. So I want to really hone in on this because you've recorded the brother uh, from from the stream and you've made a claim about what was said in that stream. Do you understand? So I think now, now that one second, one second, why one second. did that, brother? Uh, I understand. So now. Brother Imtiaz has said to you that he did not even use the term substitution theory in any of his discussion for the seven hours. So he doesn't and believe. What, what, and the question that I asked, the question that I asked you was, that if it's referring generally to what Dabri has said about the crucifixion, and there's there's theories X and there's theory Y, why are you particularly selecting one rather than the others? Now, if you if it was simply to clarify whether Imtiaz, Brother Imtiaz believes in this or not, you could have mm -hmm. just asked him. Now the the problem here is the problem here yeah, is that you didn't do that. Now no, one second, because what it does is it leaves a, the the approach that that method of doing the interaction leaves a bad taste. And it doesn't seem very appropriate that you're going to in, impute upon something that they haven't said in the whole seven hours of that discussion. So now, so I'm going to reset your time. I don't I I don't understand why that was necessary. To be honest, to be honest with you, I don't. Because it didn't. Because it, ultimately, the, the word substitution theory was not mentioned in any of that when it was being discussed. All you've had is the statements that some that that something that the companion said may have come from the Prophet peace be upon him. What specifically was being discussed was did, the substitution theory was not mentioned, and this is why this isn't. A, it's not. A, I don't really understand why you would even think about doing it in this way. So that brother Imtaz has clarified for you. So now let's move on to your the, the next topic that you'd like to discuss. Your, your two minutes are up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's fine. Now, Brother Imran, you were not in that program, so obviously you, you might not have heard that. that. There is a reason for that. Obviously, people who are following this program, they must have understood why I've done that. But having said that, you know, all these things, now this is a brother, uh, brother Imtiaz. Look at this. Look at this. That's the topic of today's stream. Death. Yes. Yeah, whether we yep. discuss substitution theory or Kashmir theory, important point is whether Isa al-Islam is dead or alive. I'll give you example. My father, my grandfather, he is ni neither buried in Kashmir nor he was put on cross. They both dead. They died. So details, brother, they come afterwards. 
the important question is whether Isa alayhi salam is dead or alive. And you, brother, are going away from that question. You're bringing all the other details. Details come second. First thing is whether he is dead or alive. According to the Holy Quran, look, these words that we are referring to, you know, the Waqalahim inna katal al ibn Maryam, that is from, for Jews. There were certain allegations. Allah answered those allegations. For us Muslims, the word says, Wama Muhammadun illa Rasul, Kad Khalat bin Kabli Rasul. Allah has categorically told us that the Prophet, that Rasul, before Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had passed away. So message is very clear. Going back to your stream, dead or alive, according to the Holy Quran, Hazrat Isa Islam has passed away, he's dead. Whether he was put on the cross, whether he's gone to the Kashmir, irrelevant. That's what we have to discuss. Okay, thank you very much for that. So, very interesting. So now we have a, a slightly different take. The, the verses that are for the Jews is not for us Muslims. They were for the Jews. And put them to one side. So the fact that the, the Quran says was not killed nor crucified, let's leave that to one side. It's for the it's not for the Muslims. Um, instead, uh, focus on this other verse that talks generally about the Ar-Rusul, please. This is an interesting approach. So, uh, Brother Mtiaz, your thoughts, please. I'll put the time up for you. Jazakallah, Imran Bhai. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dr. Saab, can you please note down so inshallah you can respond in your turn? Yeah. Because you gave me an advice that be careful in saying something to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa to attribute to him. Yeah. Okay, alhamdulillah, I, I clarified my position and people have heard that, alhamdulillah. Now, when Mirza Ghulam said that Isa alayhi salam learned Taurat from a Jewish scholar, would you give the same advice to Mirza Ghulam as well? Because Quran is very clear. Allah says that I will teach him the book and the wisdom and Torah and the Injil. This belief is against Quran. So not only lying on Nabi Muhammad وسلم, Mirza lies on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to either uh, take this statement and give us the proof which will be against the Quran or give same advice to the Quran as well. So this was answered to your advice to me. Now, after that, you said that, you know, all of these things are irrelevant. Dr. Yahya, these are special revelation. Listen very carefully. According to Mirza Ghulam, even Sayyidina Isa salam might have understood this matter. Number one, this matter was kept hidden from all the earliest generations. These details which are being given to Mirza Ghulam to special ilham, you are calling them irrelevant? Brother, he is your prophet. Have some respect for your prophet, brother Yahya. Okay? And, these, and I am saying it again for the people. These details make up your narrative. If details are false, narrative is false as well. I only mentioned two points. Respond to them, please. Okay, Jazakallah, brother. First of all, with regard to the learning the Torah from uh, other people, that is not our today's topic. Our today's topic at death of Isa Islam, whether he's alive or dead. I'm not going to let you move away from the topic, brother. My question to you is... Uh, brother, in, sorry, brother, you're here. You, brother, you, please. You raised, uh, I'll pause your time. You, you, you raised that for the brother already. You raised the same thing. You said to him the same allegation. The same warning you gave him. That is now what you're being in the last stream. And I to you with all due respect, it's not a, it's not someone who would be put in the place of someone like a prophet. Okay, you want me to put now the question is no question is no question problem. is being put to you. But the thing is that you're is no you're problem. you're putting aside something that you've insisted for somebody else. Uh, that's the nothing to do with today's topic, brother. Today's so then, why topic. did you why did you raise that then? It was today's topic. He mentioned about Salaba. That was today's no, topic, you, brother. You, no, you it raised it initially. You raised it initially. You yes, raised it initially. Today's topic, brother. Understand that. So, so are you going to apply the same thing? Because we're talking about Jesus peace upon him. Same topic. Mm -hmm. That he was taught the Torah and the Injil by a rabbi. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, I, can, I can quickly discuss that. Now, that's no problem, and then I will move forward. When okay. we, Allah says that we gave, we taught him hikmah and Torah and Injil. Allah Taala, when it comes to prophet, obviously the hikmah of that of those books, Allah teach them, teach them those uh, prophets. Otherwise, look, Hazrat Isa Islam, obviously he was born in Bani Israel. From very childhood, it's not, it's not possible that he will say, I'm not going to read Torah, I'm not going to read Torah. It's, it's against common sense, brother. Anyway, they, Allah is talking about hikmah there. Now, my question. Brother, we can start, we can do this another another day, brother. It is not today's topic. Please. Yes? <laughs> now. My oh, question so, is going back to the My under one second for my understanding. So you're saying that actually Jesus peace upon him was taught by the rabbis, and you said actually this for all the prophets, they were taught by the teachers of their time. Is that what you're saying to me? Listen, brother, because you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't say just Jesus peace upon him. You said all prophets. It is not forbidden in the Holy Quran the normal day-to-day -day things or languages or old books of religious books cannot be taught to a prophet by other people. Who taught, okay. I, okay, that, who I taught understand. one second, 10 commandments, who taught Hazrat Harun those 10 commandments? Allah or Hazrat Musa al -Islam? So we, but the question is not about this. The question is about a rabbi, not a prophet teaching a prophet. So you you yeah, agree you, that somebody you, can you understand teach them. the difference between somebody the two? Can teach them. No, 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 no. This is the difference. You see, a prophet teaching is not the same as a rabbi teaching a prophet. You, to, to even suggest that these are the same is is a problematic way of thinking. You, the Quran is saying that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala taught this to Isa alayhi salam. That you're saying that. It was, Brother, it was I, think, I think we're away from the topic. We're going. I'm not going to let this you. This is important. You topic. said this applies to all. Please, this is the topic. You said, La yeah, we can. La La Your, time La 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 Your time is La La poor. Your time is poor. This is a clarification no, that's being fine. made. We can discuss another day. It's a, it's a clarification being made on a very important point. We can, brother, discuss another day. No problem. So but today, I just topic, want to, okay. So, for my understanding, for my understanding. From my understanding, you avoid, but you're avoiding the very straightforward question that you raised. Our brother's, uh, yeah, he's, I think he's frozen. Uh, maybe the bandwidth was too much. Maybe jump in and jump out again, brother. Yeah, you're frozen. You're muted, brother Muhammad. I mean, before he comes back, he was saying that language. Is, no, no, no. Quran is clear. You only muhul kitab wal hikmat wal Torah wal Injil. Allah is saying four things. Allah will teach Isa alayhi salam the book and the wisdom and the Torah and the Injil. And this was a specific claim made by Mirza Ghulam. The Isa alayhi salam was taught complete Torah, complete Torah by a Jewish scholar. And we have given this reference, inshallah, if you want. I give you again. Now, why I raised this point? The reason was, uh, I think Adnan, why is there? Yeah. The, uh, sorry. The reason was, the reason was he was giving me a very good advice, alhamdulillah. I clarify my position. His prophet is lying on Allah. Not want to give him the same advice. I wanted to see the same standard because his prophet goes against Allah's book. He's happy, he's okay with that. He doesn't want to condemn this, this man, Mirza Qulam. And when myself, as a common person, even if I make a mistake, my mistake is not like a mistake of a prophet, anyways, to be <laughs> honest. But still, I clarify my position. So I, I think that uh, maybe, you know. There's some problem with the comprehension of I, I believe. I don't know. I have, I have a point to raise. Uh, uh, um, Let me see. Imtiaz Bhai. Now, if Mirza had read the Quran carefully, which clearly he did not, he would have known that Allah made Isa salam even as a baby. This is a point. This is a point no one has yet looked at. Okay? If Allah is declaring Isa to be a prophet salam, as an infant because Isa is speaking from the cradle that I am the slave of Allah and Allah has made me a Nabi and a sign for the day of judgment. All of these things Isa is speaking as an infant. Therefore, 
it is clear that Isa has been given the knowledge, knowledge by Allah even as an infant. Okay? So this dismantles Mirza's entire claim that he had to be taught by rabbis. Why would Isa salam get any classes from rabbis when he's speaking from the cradle as a baby, as a miracle that he is a prophet of Allah? Now tell me why Mirza had to come up with this. Why? Dr. Yaya, over to you. When when Isa alayhi salam is announcing his prophethood from the cradle as a baby, as a baby, as a suckling baby, infant, he's saying, I'm a prophet of Allah. And he explains his characteristics. Why does he need rabbis? Tell me. Tell me why. Okay. Um, can you hear me, brother? Yes, we can hear you. Sorry, there was some problem with my computer. I think I don't know what happened. Okay, brother, going back to your question, because I, I think my time was already started. We, you know, all these other questions. I don't want to go away from the, the, the from today's topic, please. You said that um, with regard to your question, I've answered it. My question to you is, brother, now. With regard to this words of the Holy Quran, Can you please tell us whether Ar Rasul, Ar Rasul, in this Kablehe Rasul, Hazrat Isa Islam is included or not? Secondly, you said that there are certain details. His time, time is stopped. His time is stopped. On I have you started the time because you haven't responded to the question. Um, no, it was my turn, brother. Yeah, I know. Turn. I haven't started your time. I haven't started your time. Because, brother, I've not asked you. And this is really important. Uh, brother, this is a really important question. question. It's not relevant to today's stream, and I'm not going to go away from stream, brother. As today's no, topic, you, we you, have to discuss brother, you, it. You, I, you, I will you, tell you why. I will tell you why, brother. What's happening? No, one second. Uh, uh, brother Yahya, one second. Uh, it's not that I want you to tell me why. You raised the topic. You warned brother MTRs about this. And actually, there's a statement of Ghulam Reza Ahmed, which is actually going against the statement of Allah in the Quran. And this is very, it's not a small thing. And, and, and therefore, clarification on this big thing needs to be had. We need to understand why, what you did the Ahmadiyya believe about this. Because if if you're saying that uh, Isa al-Islam was taught by a rabbi when the Quran is saying the opposite, this is a problem. So I'd like you to please explain this, and then I haven't started your time again because this is—I know this is not on the top, but specifically on the stream topic. But you raised this, and then I will restart your time when we start talking about the verse that you brought up, which is we know we will discuss. But straightforwardly, just explain because this doesn't make sense to me. But to a Sunni Muslim, this does not make sense, and I want you to understand that we're not asking you as a gotcha, a gotcha catching you out or anything. This is something that you made, and this is a point. So what? how would you respond to this? How would you explain this point to us? Brother, first of all, I did not make that point. Brother Imtiaz, according to my understanding, has tried to change the subject that he brought this point in. I didn't bring that point. So let's go back to the point, which is today's stream, please. It keeps on happening in your program. You announce one stream, and then an, a stream goes from point A to B to C, an actual topic, which is whether Isa is alive or dead, has not been discussed. We're going about extra points. So please, if you want to discuss this, let's have another stream. We will discuss this topic. No problem. But today's stream topic is, I told you, whether Isa is dead or alive. So let's discuss so, that. Okay. So um, so yeah? this, so just to be clear, where, where you're being asked about a specific statement of Ghulam Radha Ahmed, where he says, that uh, Isa al-Islam was taught by a rabbi, and the Quran, Allah makes a specific statement where Allah says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that he taught Isa uh, ibn Maryam the, the, the Torah and the Injil. Now these are contradiction, and rather than help us with this, you, you want to move on, even though you raised the issue about uh, applying something to an, a, a, an authority like Prophet peace be upon him incorrectly, and we're talking about applying Ghulam Reza Ahmed, applying something to Allah incorrectly, uh, you're you're walking away from it. Okay, we will leave that. I'll let the you, the viewers decide about this, and That's we can fine. move on. So, please, you got yeah. you got your uh, time still. Yeah. Make your point yeah. about the verse. You yeah, like to yes, that's fine. Brother, with regard to these all these allegations, 
We have answered them for over 100 years. Yeah, but, we, but you're not answering years. them now. So That's the 100 years ago, the 100 years ago, brother, brother yeah. Yeah. 100 years ago uh, the many people in the stream were not present. Okay, that's fine. And they we don't can... have access to those explanations. That's why fine. We, we are that's... explaining our that's stream. Not going to... explain we're that. not no going problem. to allow this escape route. We're not going to allow you to keep saying this, that we have answered these for 100 years, and yet you cannot answer them today in front of us right now. Where is your 100 years? Yeah, when, when it comes to you answering the question, why doesn't this literature help you when we pose the questions? By you just saying what we have answered for 100 years doesn't mean that you have answered the question. Okay, bring the answer right now to us. You have okay. answered the question. Brother, fine. If you want... Why can't you answer them right now in front of us? Where are your answers? Okay, simple question. Jesus was told by Allah... In the cradle when he was a baby, he spoke to defend his mother from the cradle that he's a prophet of Allah. Okay, why does he need rabbis to teach him that? That he's a prophet of Allah. Prophet means revelation. He has already been taught. Allah has already transferred the data to his mind. Because he's a Nabi. He's already a prophet. He's saying, he's speaking as a baby, I'm a prophet. Okay, I will be a prophet. I will be a sign of the... For sign of, how can a prophet... Then go to rabbis. Most of them who were most of them were disbelievers, and the Quran says amazingly, kafaru min bani Israel ala lisani Daud wa Isa ibn Maryam that Allah cursed. I mean, uh, the, the 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 disbelievers from the Banu Israel were cursed on the tongues of Jesus, Isa alayhi salam and Daud alayhi salam. So many of them were disbelievers. Why would he go to disbelieving rabbis, the ones he's condemning himself? Yeah, to learn from them. How does this make sense? Mirza is redundant on so many different levels. Mirza was out of his, his depth, you know, on so many levels. He did not think cl clearly about the Quran. For him to claim that Jesus, Isa al -Islam, had to go to rabbis to, to learn the Torah and his commentary. In fact, he came to confirm the Torah. He's the one teaching them what Torah is. He's telling them, don't abandon the Torah. Don't play games with the Torah. So come on, guys. Okay, you have answered this for a hundred years. Can you give me the answer right now to this question? Why does he need the rabbis to teach him when he's a Nabi as an infant? Okay. Yes. Uh, are you going to start my time now? Brother? Yes. Right. Okay, fine. Start my time, please. So you, this question is, because it's not related to the specifically the, the topic, I want you to answer this question and I'll start your time so you have more time. I think, brother, I have answered this question according to my capacity and I've told you that Allah is, taught, is uh, uh, talking about hikmah of the of, uh, of Torah and, and Injil, not words. I've given you answer. If you don't want to accept it, it's fine. Okay, where did you get this answer from? Where did you get this yes. answer? Yes. Brother, I think uh, now people are listening. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad. Mirza, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad topic, said brother. that Isa Let's go to this Mirza, topic. Wait, 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 wait. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad said that Isa alayhi salam ne Torah ek Yehudi alam se sikhi. And you are saying that hikmah blah, blah, blah. Words. Brother, please, at least accept you it. You know when you say A, B, C, or te alif, uh, alif, be, be. That's Sikhi, not Hikma. Okay. Hikma Allah who, 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 no, no, who said this? Mirza said this? Show me. Where? This is not today's topic, brother. And I'm not going to let you change. Please. At least acknowledge that you, you are saying that you are answering for 100. Brother, yes. you right now have you no don't... answer. And you do not have this, uh, yeah, you can say credibility. This book. All these answers brother, in this book. Go and read brother, it, please. And and you, know, you know what? You know, you know what? You know what? Dr. Yahya, you know why you guys are in trouble? Because this is the book you come when you come to the street. Alhamdulillah, narrative has moved on. The I era think you are in part, trouble. That's why you're not letting me speak. Dr. Yahya, wait. Dr. Yahya, wait. The era of pocket book has ended. Alhamdulillah, narrative has topic. moved on. Condemn Topic. Mirza. Topic, brother, okay. please. Mirza, go. Okay. Every stream, Dr. Yaya, you say, oh, Quran, Quran is hakam. Quran says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught the Torah to Isa alayhi salam. Mirza Ghulam says he learned from a Yehudi alim, a Jewish scholar. And you do not have the iman to say that Mirza was lying. What are you doing, Dr. Yaya? 
Look at your face. You smiling? Brother, is it a, is is so it a joke for you? Why are you smiling? You go away from the Holy Quran. No, why are you smiling, Dr. Yaya? Is it the joke? Holy Quran, Isa al Islam no, passed away. Why are you smiling? Mama, brother, 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 wait, 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 wait. Mirza Ghulam is lying on Allah's book. And you are smiling. Is your Iman, is this your Iman? Brother, I have given you the answer. If you don't want to accept it, it's up to you. Not the answer. You did not like give any answer. You said Isa Ali Fata. Like Rafi Deen. Please. My, it is not what, about Ikraha. What you are by, lying. What Imtaz by saying is that you are saying things that cannot be found in the Quran or the writings of Mirza. You're making okay. things up. You're sitting there. Adnan Bhai. Adnan Bhai. Not Adnan Bhai. It is different. No, no. Not found. It is against the Quran. Against the Quran, against what Allah is saying, and he has no iman to say that Mirza was lying. And there are so many reasons to to believe that Mirza is lying because, as I said, Jesus was given the glad tiding of prophethood as an infant. Okay, Allah Allah is making him speak from the cradle, so Allah is Allah is the one teaching him the Torah, because when he's a nabi, obviously Allah has given him the the characteristics of Nabi as, as, as an infant. So information has already been given to him. We believe that. It's a miracle. He spoke from the cradle as a miracle. He was a sign of Allah. So why does he need a rabbi to teach him the Torah? You tell us, doctor. Yeah, yeah. Just like Mirza was saying that he was put on the cross. Mirza had to nail him on the cross, even though the Quran is saying, no, he was not nailed on the cross. The Quran is saying he was not on the Adnan cross. Bhai. Adnan Bhai, Mirza Ghulam said that Mere Aane ka maqsad hai ke ek nabi ko maru. You want Allah. the reference? Subhan translate that please. Translate that please, uh, Brother Imtiaz. Mirza Ghulam said the purpose of my coming is to kill a prophet, i.e. Isa alayhi salam. And you know when I say, when I say in my discussions with the Qadianis that uh, Mirza killed Isa alayhi salam, they get offended by it. They get, they start itching. And they don't realize that their own prophet said this, that I have come to kill Jesus. And you know, with Jesus, he came to kill the Jesus. The prophet Muhammad talked about, talked about in Mutawatir reports that he will come, the son of Mary. The son of Mary will come near the end of time, near the end of uh, the, the day of judgment, near the day of judgment, son of Mary will come. Adnan Bhai, Adnan Bhai, Mirza, Mirza, Ghulam, Mirza Ghulam said that I hate the miracles of the Isa alayhi salam. I hate. Yes. Do you want me to go on and on? And you want to you, you want to stick with this man and you want to leave the Quran? You always saying on the stream that Quran is the hakam. Quran is the hakam. We are quoting you the Quran. You're defending Mirza Ghulam. Show we me will... from the Quran. Allah says in the Quran, you only muhul kita, you only muhul kitaba wal hikmata wat taurata wal injil. Not just it this ayah comes in the Quran multiple times. Okay, Allah is teaching you Ar Rahman Allah al Quran. Allah is teaching you, Dr. Yaya, the I am the one who will teach the book and the wisdom and the Torah and the Injil to Nabi Isa. Alayhi salam. Your prophet is saying he learned from a Jewish scholar, and you want to stick with your prophet? Have some Iman, brother. I think I think the point here, I just want to sort of because I think brother, I said exactly the same thing. Wisdom from the Holy, from Allah. Uh, Allah. One second, That's brother. What I said. Four things. So, four things. So, what the, the point here is that this, the reason that this this di digression started was because you brought this recording. That's the reason. No, this no, is the reason. This is because, the, because this is the reason. Brother, yeah, one second. Brother, this please. is the reason that it started. And with this, you made the allegation that you have to make sure that you don't say things that go against the Prophet peace be upon him. And this is where this topic has arisen from. And now we're on that point of we're giving an example of Ghulam Raza Ahmed saying something against the Quran, against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the response you're giving is we've answered this for a hundred years, but that's not a response. Or you're showing us a book without telling us what's in it that is a response. Brother, can I speak And you now? know, Dr. Imran, this can ayah, you allimu hul kita, uh, wait, 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 wait. Hul and this ayah is a katiyu sabut and katiyu dalala. This ayah is cut, which means it is definitive yes, yes. in terms we of believe in that verse and definitive. We, we believe Wait. every Allow word of the Holy Allow me to finish. Allow me to finish. Allow me to finish. Mirza Ghulam is going against a definitive ayah of the Quran, and people are watching right now. That in your stream, you are the one 
chanting all the time. Quran is the hakam. Quran between us and and today you want to leave the Quran for Mirza Ghulam? I th- you know, uh, brothers, I think that. Can I speak? Well, I, that's I, fine. I, I think what we should do is we should maybe move forward from this, if you rather brothers allow, and then we can yeah, maybe because I think the point has been made. Jalakala. And I think it's Imran, very clear what happened. Need to, Imran, 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 look, look. Yes. Yes. The problem is this. Okay, they have to respect our time as well. He need to apologize for what? For what? For not being able to say that Mirza Ghulam was lying because we have quoted Quran. Now, on the one hand, we have the honor of the Quran. On the other hand, honor of Mirza Ghulam. Which one you choose, Dr. Yaya? Okay. I will tell you. That's fine. Brother, I Please. said the words of the Holy Quran would be quoted. We, Ahmadi Muslim, believe in that verse of Holy Quran. Your interpret- interpretation is wrong. Allah is talking about hikmah there. That Allah told hikmah to, to, to Hazrat Isa al-Islam about Injil and Torah. That's what we believe in. That's what's in the Holy Quran. Why? Why? There's nothing okay, to now, apologize. Allah says you in the ayah. Differently, you we interpret differently. Wait, wait. Allah says in the ayah. Allah says in the ayah. Allah says in the ayah. Wal hikmata, wal taurata, wal injil. Allah says four things. And yes. you want to interpret all the four things as hikmah? Allah doesn't know this? And you know what? Secondly, you are saying to brother, me. Brother, no, no, brother, listen. Brother, 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 yaya, discussion, brother. Brother, yaya, wait, wait. Letter... You are saying to me, you are saying to me that you do not accept my interpretation. My brother, all mufassirun, give me the name. Who goes with you? No, okay, listen, Quran, brother. That Isa al Can I can I speak? Al- Isa al-Islam. Al- because Imran, you're giving the reception. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're giving the reception. You're giving the deception that they are. Yeah, yeah. You're giving the deception that they are some of a sirun with you. Not a single mm-hmm. is with you. Nobody so, said that that Isa al salam learned Torah from a scholar. Brother, brother, Imran, I think uh, I think that the point is is well made and actually su- sufficiently made and deeply made, and I think that it's clear to see what what position this is. And okay. un- unfortunately, this stemmed from this tactic of bringing a recording on brother, to make yeah. a point which was not. It just it changed the tone of the whole discussion into okay. a bad tone, and we don't really want this to happen. Yeah, brother, fine. Yeah. Just one thing from Tafsir Ibn Kasir, and that will answer your question. Tafsir Ibn Kasir, it is under. Tafsir Surah Fatiha and it's written Ibn Marduya Ibn Marduya I corrected myself I got my glasses on and it's a little bit small Ibn Marduya I corrected myself I corrected myself I corrected myself I corrected जब ईसा अलैहिस्सलाम को उनकी वालदा ने मौलम के पास बिठाया मौलम के पास बिठाया सो प्लीज ब्रदर अपोलोजाइज टू द पब्लिक दैट यू वर लाइंग दैट मस्तेरून हैज गॉट इन लव और कैरी ऑन रीडिंग प्लीज वेट 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 ओके नाउ अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह नाउ इज गेटिंग समवेयर ओके अल्लाह सुभानहु व तआला सेस दैट अल्लाह इज द वन हु टॉट तौरा to Isa alayhi salam. And Ibn Kasir you quoting is saying, he's quoting from someone, I not check yet, but uh, let me take it on its face value. Okay. You're saying that Ibn Kasir claims that he uh, he went to a muallim, a teacher. Do you want to go with Allah? Now, your principle is, if something goes against the Quran, that must be rejected. In this case, when this goes against the Quran, why you are not rejecting that? I will tell you. I will tell you. Please tell me. I will, yes, Please tell you, brother. I will. Yes. I, I am. This this proves that whatever I was saying was right, and from this verse of the Holy Quran, which you were referring to, it means hikma Allah teaches to teaches to the, the Rasul oh. and, and Prophet. Oh. Ibn Kasir is with us. Don't 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 say anything to wait, me. Wait, wait. Ibn, Give wait, fatwa against Ibn, Ibn Kasir. Give fatwa against Ibn Kasir. Wait 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 wait. wait. Ibn wait. Yatayya wait wait wait. Okay, Ibn Kasir is with you, right? This one, right? Right? With this, yes. Wait, 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 wait. So in the in, in the tafsir of the ayah, the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say that I taught Torah to Isa alayhi salam. And you are saying that Ibn Kasir's position is that he learned from a scholar and then you are having the 
audacity to say they make a series with you. Now, listen, Dr. Yaya, let's end it here. In the next live stream, I'm going to put on the screen just to save people's time that you have died or Ibn Kasir as well. That's fine, but let's go back to today's topic. You can do whatever you want, but the next stream, fine, no yes. problem. Let's go to Ibn today's Kasir topic. Is not with you. You Please are lying. My, my time no, look, 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 he keeps saying, he keeps saying this is about hikmah. Allah separately mentions four things. Kitab, four things. Uh, Torah, and Injil. Okay? Now, there are so many other examples. When Allah says, When they make Tawbah, and pray, and give Zakat. So if we were to say now, Tawbah means basically you don't need to pray in Zakat. You don't need to do it because Tawbah is on word. Okay? Or if the Quran mentions with vudu, you know, faksiru vudu hakum wa aidiyakum. Okay, wa 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 is a separator. Wa is a separator in the Arabic language. It separates one idea from another. Brother, I think I have we given you answer. If you don't uh, like it, it's fine. Inshallah, we'll move you on. don't have my to agree with me, comment. brother. Imran. Yeah. Wait, my you last comment, just... brother, brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. My last comment on this one, and then we move on. Now, listen the viewers very carefully. Ahmadiyya clerics, they are chanting day in, day out, that they would not accept anything that goes against Quran. Guess what? Today, when Quran was saying one thing, and now they are trying to find something for Ibn Kasir in order to reject the Quran, it shows that they have only one principle. That is to defend Mirza Ghulam, and use whatever you can use. And this is a perfect example of that. That's it. Okay. Jazakallah, brother. Okay. Uh, shall I start now? Uh, yeah, yes. So, and okay. Jazakallah. Translate the ayah you want to quote. Translate the ayah you want to quote. Okay. So what I will do is I'll, I'm going to just uh, reset the two minutes. Take a okay. deep breath. Because I think exactly. that... We really should approach these things uh, without having these, these, these intentions. So when you bring recordings and you and you say these sorts of things, it can it can change the tone of the conversations. And I'd recommend that if people have queries about what people believe, just ask them directly rather than trying to sort of uh, do these sort of tactics. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't make a good conversation. So if you could if you could, I'll reset the time. Uh, please start again and state your case that you want to talk about. Please, we'll go from there. Okay, Jazakallah, brother. Now. Um... We, what, what I was saying was that today's stream topic or talk, or topic is death of Isa Alayhis Now, whether he is died or alive. Now, whether he was he there was a substitution, he was substituted by some by someone someone else, or whether he was went to Kashmir. I was saying is irrelevant. Why? Because according we have to decide whether according to the Holy Quran, Isa Alayhis Salam is dead or alive. According to the Holy Quran. Isa alayhi salam, uh, Allah Ta'ala says, Wama Muhammadun illa rasul. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is only a rasul. Qad khalat min kablihi rasul. Qad kablihi rasul. The rasul before him have passed away. So uh, my question to you, Father Imtiaz, is in here, in this words, when I said ar rasul, do you include Isa alayhi salam or not? Secondly, brother, when I said is irrelevant, now, whether Isa al-Islam was substituted by someone else or not, question is, what happened to Isa al-Islam? According to you, your details, Isa al-Islam was taken bodily to, to the heaven, which is against your Muslimat belief. This is by Allah Hazrat, Qawar al-Qahar al-Mujismat al-Fujjar. In that book, Allah Hazrat is written about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah Ta'ala has no direction. Allah Ta'ala is with his makhluk. And he said he is not separate from his makhluk. We cannot say he is, a, he is on the right side, he is on the left, he is above or he is below. My question to you is Mr. Imtiaz, Brother Imtiaz, if Allah was, was present where Hazrat Isa a.s. was according to Allah Hazrat, because you, then why they, you, you, when you do Barrafah Allah, why you say it's towards Allah as if it's, it's uh, towards Asman? How can it be towards sky? Because Allah was there. Yes, please. Okay. okay. Um, brother Antias, 
Please feel free to. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, before uh, I begin, Amiramik, you can stop my time, please. I would, I would say, Dr. Yeah, yeah, as Dr. Amiram already mentioned, because you brought up that recording, all of that. So it was a natural conclusion to go on these things and to having heated discussion. Otherwise, brother, I have nothing against you. Nor shall I want to continue. Now, Dr. Yaya, you quoted a ayah from the Quran. Wama Muhammadun illa Rasul, kad halat min qablihi Rusul. Okay, now I want to give you the translation of Mirza Ghulam. Please note the reference. Ruhani Hazain, volume number six, page eighty-nine. He said. वो सिर्फ एक रसूल है इससे पहले भी रसूल ही आते रहे हैं एंड नाउ सेकंड वन एंड अदर ट्रांसलेशन फ्रॉम हकीम नूरुद्दीन मोहम्मद तो एक रसूल है पहले भी इसके बहुत रसूल हो चुके नाउ आई डोंट इन दिस वन दैट योर प्रॉफिट एंड योर फर्स्ट कैलिफ दे आर नॉट ट्रांसलेटिंग दिस आया एज यू ट्रांसलेटेड सो इन योर टर्न you need to explain to me why did you translated the verse opposite to your prophet and your khalifa number 1 number 2 brother is now this number 2 is very important the principal answer we have again got to the same point of discussion that quran has words and meaning how do we determine the meanings or interpretation of a of, of, of ayah of the quran because quran is a text it needs to be interpreted how we would interpret the ayat of the quran now why i said this none of the mufassir from this ayah has said that this ayah is a proof that isa alayhi salam has passed away if you think you have the evidence to oppose it you need to produce in your turn otherwise you have to tell me that how you have the audacity to interpret an ayah Against a thirteen or fourteen hundred years of our scholarship, why? Why are you going? Who who gave you the right? Note down and please answer. Question number one: Why did you translate and uh, against the Mirza Ghulam and your? Okay. Number two: Why did you give interpretation that has no precedent? Yeah, Jazakalla. Now, brother, um, with promise. My promise, Al Islam, and Khalifa Abul translation. And uh, whether he says "kai Rasool," "bahos se Rasool," the important point is that both of them they included are in Hazrat Isa Al Islam in our Rasool. My question to you was: Do you, brother Imtiaz, include Hazrat Isa Al Islam in this verse our Rasool or not? You didn't answer my question. I'm still waiting. Then you said, "Give us a, any mufassir." How many times, brother, we have to quote you the hadith from Bukhari, which brother quoted before me, when Hazrat Abu Bakr radiallahu taala anhu, but at the time of the demise of Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he quoted this words when Hazrat Umar radiallahu taala anhu was saying that Hazrat that the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is alive. Hazrat Abu Bakr radiallahu taala anhu when he quoted this verse, if a Rasul did not include or Rasul, or if it excluded Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, the reaction we saw <coughs> from Hazrat Umar radiallahu taala anhu that would never have happened, because what was the reaction? Hazrat Umar radiallahu taala anhu he had a sword. Everyone knows uh, that he was saying if anyone says. that al the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has passed away i'm going to kill that person what happened my question to you is what was the dalil what was the point of hazrat abu bakr radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu which he presented to hazrat umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu after when he when he uh, you know the, read this this words that hazrat umar radhiyallahu ta'ala reacted that way and he concluded That yes, as a, as the Holy Prophet Sallam has passed away. What what was his belief? Okay. Brother, I'm just going to start on the delay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. 
So, Dr. Iman, I want you to please note down, inshallah, I will answer every question Dr. Yahya is asking, but I have the same right as well. My question number yes. one, why he did the translation of the ayah against the translation of Mirza Ghulam and the first caliph, I have not got the answer, number one. Number two is, he said that uh, Sahab and Abu Bakr Siddiq said this, brother, listen very carefully the answer. Companions have narrated the ahadith of Isa alayhi salam being alive in heaven and he will return in the last days. If their understanding was as you are trying to put your understanding on them, why did they say that? So this is my answer to you. And now you said that uh, the, the event of Abu Bakr, my same question I asked to Iftikhar before. In this event, according to Mirza Ghulam, and you know this, Sayyidina uh, Umar al Farooq, he explicitly quoted the life of Isa alayhi salam in heaven. Okay, quote to me that where Abu Bakr Siddiq who corrected him. You need to give me the reference. Okay, that where he said, no, no, Umar, you are wrong. Isa has died. Okay, so before you quote all of that, you need to address these issues in your understanding as well. So, Ibrahim Bhai, I, I want the answer, number one, why he mistranslated, number one, and number two, which Mufassir he is taking his tafsir from? He said from Bukhari. Imam Bukhari did not believe Isa Islam has died. If he says he yes, I will quote him the reference. He's lying on Imam Bukhari as well. Because Imam Bukhari is not with them. Why he's lying on Imam Bukhari? So there's not a single Mufassir who said that Isa Islam has died as per this ayah. If you think you have evidence, give to me the name of tafsir. So inshallah we can pull it out here. That which Mufassir said, as per this ayah, Isa alayhi salam has died. You have a specific claim, give specific reference. Okay, Jazakallah. Now, um, I'm sure people have noticed that this is the third time I'm asking you the same question. Note it down, brother. I'm asking you a question. In this verse, وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولُ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ رَسُولُ Brother, our Rasul. Do you include Hazrat Isa al -Islam in Ar Rasul or not? I have given you the answer with regard to Hazrat Mirza Sahib and Hazrat Khalifa Awal that both of them included Hazrat Isa al -Islam in Ar Rasul. So meaning of the words doesn't change. They that is the same meaning which I'm I'm employing here. Number one. Secondly, you said that Hazrat, you know the Hazrat the. the who, Wait, let's pause you for one second. Um... Because the point here about the verses, the, the translation is that uh, Ghulam Raza Ahmed and your first Khalif, they translated this as not including everyone, many or most. Yeah, this is the, this is the problem. Now, yes. what you're doing is that you're saying that it included, it definitely included Isa al Islam. So what's the problem? The problem is it's not the meaning that you're giving to it, which is all. Yeah, I you, understand, you understand the difference? So the, the clarification that Brother Imtiaz is asking you for is why is... Why is are you allowing Ghulam Raza Ahmed or the first caliph to, to not say all, but then you're insisting for uh, the, the Muslims that this has to be all? What's the, what's the reason for this? No, I, I so will give you. Jazakallah, brother, 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 brother. I, I forgot to mention it. But then we have to understand many, word many or K, it can be used for everyone. I will give you an example. Like if somebody says, Many doctors have been graduated from this institution. Many doctors have been graduated from this institution. That includes all doctors who have been in, in, graduated from that institution. Okay. So many brother, can be referred as no. all. So no. brother, that, that doesn't make sense. That's my answer. Like, then let public decide. No, okay. No, now you said, brother, what, sorry, you're giving an example to prove, to establish your point. You said there are many doctors graduated from this institution. Yes. That means that there are some that weren't, some failed. So no. it's not. It doesn't. It doesn't if make. Somebody failed. That's not graduated, brother. Yeah. How can Say it be there are many. There are. Yeah, if somebody has failed exam, how can it be graduated? Yeah. That, that's what I said to you. Yeah. So you can't say all have graduated. If only some. Have graduated. I said many. Many doctors have been graduated from this hospital. Means. That he is referring to all those doctors who have been graduated. Say so this one thousand. I will give you a break and mock it. One second, one second. I will... Because it, your analogy doesn't work, bro. That's what I'm saying to you. So you either can, either you can take it in this way, 
or you can take it for there are many doctors and some of them have come from this university and others have come from others it doesn't it doesn't help in in solving this problem so the question is Mirza Ghulam Ahmed and the first Khalifa didn't say every in their translation. Why are you insisting on it uh, when brother, it comes to Muslims? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. No problem. Now, Brother Amdiyaz only quoted one reference, Brother. Brahine Amdiyah Hissa Panjam, uh, volume 21, page 391. Uh, Mirza Sahib has written, has included, he says, Pahle sab rasool fawt ho chuke hain. So please, when you when you refer to a person, include all references. Okay. Now going back to my point, Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, there are ahadith in Bukhari. We also believe in Nazul Isa alayhi salam. We don't deny that. Hazrat Imam Bukhari Razi Allah knew that about about prophecies, name given to the person who is going to come can be different from the person who who might appear. And like the Holy Prophet sallam, the prophecy was. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Imam Bukhari knew all these things, but we believe in Azul Isa alayhi salam. Hazrat Umar Razilatalano. My question to you is again, Brother Imtiaz, Hazrat Umar Razilatalano, he was not accepting. And he said Hazrat Isa alayhi salam is gone. You know, like Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, the Holy Prophet sallam, has gone up. My question to you is. Are you standing with Hazrat Umar Razi Do you think he was right that Hazrat the Holy Prophet is alive? Or are you standing with Hazrat Abu Bakr Razi And why? Yeah, so uh, thank you for your the, appreciate that. So, I mean, you, so all so from it, from your explanation for the verse, why Glaram Reza Ahmed and the first Caliph translated in one way, um, not not saying any, but saying many, I'm not saying all, but saying many, you, you quoted something that contradicts that. So this is just really a contradiction. You're still trying to say the term many means all. And the term no, many does not mean all. That my point. Okay. That when he said many, say, that means all. If, if anything, all that, that establishes, all, all that establishes is that there's an error in the term many. Not that uh, the, uh, the term many means all. Brother. I understand. <laughs> I, I'm just explaining to you that how what the information you're providing is. And and uh, I, I won't talk about the false dichotomy of who you stand with, but I'll let Brother Imtiaz uh, uh, can continue from there, Brother. Okay, Jazakallah Khair. So, Dr. Yaya, uh, what seems to me that you have admitted that in the places which I quoted, the translation of Mirza Ghulam was wrong. Now, you need to explain, despite having Rusul, why did he mistranslate the verse? Not only Mirza Ghulam, but his caliph as well. So you need to tell us today, okay? And secondly, with regard to your question that I am, am I this, I'm a brother, Alhamdulillah. I am standing with all the Sahaba and none of the Sahabi said that Isa has passed away. Okay? If you have reference in your turn, you need to give me that reference that which Sahabi said Isa listen very carefully. Isa Islam has passed away. Isa has died. Give me the name of that Sahabi with the reference, inshallah. I will talk about that. Last point is you are saying that you know Arabic language, brother. According to Mirza Ghulam, the, the author of Tafsir Kashaf, the Makshari, he says that Zubane Arbuka be misal Imam. Kisi Goske Age Chuch Rajaish. He says that the Makshari. Is a is an imam of the Arabs in terms of language. Nobody has the audacity to open his mouth in front of him. Quote to me from the Makshiri that from this ayah, because of Ar-Rusul, he said Isa Islam has passed away. Again, the same problem we are facing here is that you guys are throwing an ayah in the discussion and giving it your own spin and meaning. If you have proof, quote to me the Mufassir. You are not quoting Yahya any Mufassir. Who said that this ayah means Isa alayhi salam has passed away? I'm done. Okay, Zagala. Uh, with regard to you know you, 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 your allegation about the wrong translation, I have given you the answer about the holy about the promise of Allah Islam. People can decide about that, no problem. Now you said uh, that tell us that any sahaba who's told us that Hazrat Isa alayhi salam has passed away. Brother, mm -hmm. I'm giving you the incidents 
of when Hazrat Abu Bakr Razi Anho quoted these words, and I given you, you I, I, the example of Hazrat, the reaction of Hazrat Umar Razi Anho, all Sahaba were, were there. Now, you can, you can, you, you don't have to like, you don't have to say one thing one way, uh, like in certain words. When they yeah, say, okay, one second, brother. Yeah, yeah. So I have to just because we're not moving forward, we're we're going around the circle, okay. And the problem here is, is that because you're not understanding that this is a there's a gen, this is a general statement. This is not a specific statement, and your claim is not generally specific. Do you understand? Your claim is specific that this understanding is that Jesus peace on him died from this from this statement. Now, when you're uh, we the the brother in charge explained to you already that there are. Uh, there are statements from the companions about Isa salam, about him being alive in the heavens and returning. The same companions, we have have said this. Now, the point here is that there is nothing for you, for you to claim a specificity for this meaning. You have to you have to clarify that this is what what is meant. Now, going back to your because we've already said that the Khalifa has said meant your Khalifa and Ghulam Rasul Ahmed has said that this word can be translated. They translated this as many. Now, if you want to say that's wrong, that's up to you. You say leave it to the people, but this is what the, this what you've left for them is a confusion. Either it's all or it's many. It cannot be both because they're not both correct. So wh what you're asking is you're taking a general statement and you're making it a specific statement in contradiction to the statements of the same companions in other places about the the Isa Islam being alive in the heavens and returning. Now, this is so the, what you're doing is you're not helping us move forward from this. So that so it doesn't suf apply suf it's not sufficient as an evidence sorry somebody's correcting me so i'm saying i'm saying uh it is said, I, said, I didn't say that okay that's fine so please clarify uh for us why you think this is sufficient what is the reason that you think this is sufficient to include jesus peace be upon him in light of the statements about the Isa Islam from the same companions about him returning, etc. Please clarify yeah, that because no that problem. might help us move no forward. No problem. Brother, that's the point. I think that's an important point you missed and many people missed. This is a very specific response of Hazrat Abu Bakr There was a specific claim of Hazrat Umar The claim was that Hazrat Isa, Hazrat, that the Holy Prophet وسلم, is alive. That's the reason I asked Brother Imtiaz why Hazrat Abu Bakr read these words. He said, Why there was a specific allegation from Hazrat, Hazrat Umar Anho, and the specific answer was that Umar, you're talking about the Holy Prophet, وسلم, Prophet before him have passed away. Now, question is. If Hazrat Umar Anhu really believed that even after presenting these words, that Hazrat Isa is sitting up in the heaven, he would have said, Ya Abu Bakr, what are you talking about? Hazrat Umar, Hazrat Isa is sitting up in the heaven. He didn't say that. He fell on the floor. And he said, I, I thought as if these words had been revealed today. So this is a specific answer to the specific Question of Hazrat Umar Razila Taranho. And for us, that means Sahaba believed that Prophet before the Holy Prophet had passed away. They've died. End of story. Okay, so I, I want to just uh, before you come in, brother Imtia, uh, brother Imtiaz, I want I want to just clarify because what what you're seeing here is again you're making a general you're taking a general statement and you're making it specific. Now the problem here is this that event. Of the death of the Prophet peace be upon him was one of the is the greatest by consider the greatest calamity that ever happened uh, uh, in the history of Islam, and the companions were distraught, and in their distraughtness they weren't debating specifics at all. They were at, at all. In fact, you can see by the way that Umar Adan reacted that this was a very emotional time for him, and this was a this was a clarification that yes, prophets come and the prophets go. This is their time. Now the the point here is that what you're what you're saying is that this therefore means that every this that because this verse is now quoted that this means that every prophet that has come and gone, ignoring the fact that the same companions themselves, in times when they were not emotional and not upset in this this situation, they were not finding that they're in grief, that they've clarified 
it's in specifics that Isa Islam is alive in the heavens and will return. So you're taking a you're taking one snapshot, and you're and you're painting it as this is a a, a rational, uh, calm discussion about the 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 fate of the prophets in the past. This is not the case. This is the Umar al being Umar al is being consoled by Abu Bakr in, in clarifying that this is what happens to the prophets. They pass away. Do you understand? This does not negate a specific statement of an exception. So the example would be uh, when you die, all of your deeds end. But the Prophet clarified except for, and he gave the exceptions. And there were other exceptions apart from those three classically that I mentioned, but there are other exceptions that were given as well. Now the whole point here is, is that we have specifically been told that Isa al-Islam was taken up to the heavens and will return. Now this is a, this is this is for Isa al-Islam as an exception to the general statement. Now nothing that you've said can go unless you bring a specific thing to counter that statement from the companions. Then you, there's an issue here. Please clarify that for us, please. Yeah. And that's yeah, sure, sure. Brother Imtiaz's time. So let yeah, him. Sure. Uh, brother, that's fine. Oh, that's when, you, when, you, when it comes to your time. So, Brother Imtiaz, sorry, I know that I just clarified. Can I just do well, just, just quickly? Because you. you just be, just before you do that, let Brother Imtiaz have his go, and then you can say in your time, inshallah. Okay. Uh, go, go, Brother. Okay. Yeah. Bismillah rahman rahim So, first of all, Dr. Yaya, you are translating something in this ayah again and again, passed away. Which world you translating as passed away? Number one. Number two, which mufassir you are quoting for the interpretation of this verse that all prophets, including Isa Islam, have passed away? You are not quoting any luga, any uh, lexicon. You are not quoting any mufassir. I don't know that where you're coming from. That's my one point. Second point is when you're quoting an uh, incident at the death of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And Imran Bai has said, and let me restate uh, the, the same point. No companion said in that incident that Isa has passed away, number one. Number two, when we read the Shuruhat, explanation of that incident, no, for example, Imam Bukhari's, uh, you know, Bukhari is uh, interpreted by Imam Ibn uh, Hajar al-Asqalani, rahimahullah, okay, Fathul Bari. He never said that this IME, uh, sorry, this incident mean that Sahaba have consent that Isa Islam passed away. So what you could, you can't just uh, pull things from the thin air. You need to bring some some evidence. And by the way, people should note this thing. Now Dr. Yahya is not saying ar rusul anymore. Why? Because when I said the Makhshiri, according to Mirza Ghulam, the Imam of Lugha, nobody has the, Mirza Ghulam said nobody has the audacity to open his mouth before the Makhshiri. Zamakshi never said that in this ayah a rusul means of Prophet passed away. So, brother, you have no precedent. You are just pulling things from thin air. So, Dr. Imran, my request to you is we are not getting anywhere. I'm repeating my question and not yeah. getting any answers. So, we're coming up to uh, seven hours. Uh, in fact, in the next 30 seconds, we will have been going for seven hours. And uh, I think that uh, really we want to try and... Uh, really conclude and come to a head uh, what do you think brother MTRs? inshallah we will, so, we will give inshallah the, uh, dr yaya maybe one or more two turns so he can he can express sure. his point so, of view we will, we want to play with inshallah there's one thing that restating your position which which you do brother uh, dr yaya you do that there's another point is is addressing our concerns with that position yeah we we understand your position is that when the when the Prophet Peter died, the, the companions were distraught, and they then they consoled uh, uh, Umar al-Dahl with this statement, and therefore you take that to mean this is everyone. And the point that's been made to you is actually uh, Umar al-Dahl Ahmed and uh, the, the the first Khalifa have translated it as many in some places, and Zamakshri also, when talking about has passed away, um, doesn't use this this verse. He doesn't use this term passed away. Now, so what the the question really is now how, not not just restating your position, but how you're going to uh, deal with the contentions that we bring, that the companions have spoken about uh, the 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 Isa being taken up and returning, that uh, this is a general statement or a specific statement, and the translations and the uh, and the the, the seed of Zamakshri for this verse, this the explanation for this verse that you quoted. Well, just deal with those points, and maybe we can move forward. Otherwise, I, if, if, it's, if it's the same thing again, then I don't see the no benefit. Problem, no problem, going no problem. Now, the, the, the problem. Uh, is, okay, now quickly, 
Brother Antiyas, how many times I have to ask you same question again and again? Do you include in this this words Ar Rusul or Hazrat Isa alayhi salam or not? I even said it even last time. You saying why I'm why I'm not saying it because you mentioned it is Makhshi. <laughs> Repeat, rewind the tape and you will listen to it. Now going back to your question, brother, that was it exceptional or not, brother? If there was another, and uh, uh, put it this way. If there was any exception in the uh, in the minds of Sahaba Rizwanullahi Majmaeen, like you are referring Brother Imran or Brother Imtiaz, they, sh- they would have said it there. They would have said, Oh Abu Bakr, there is an ex- exception of Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. Because, and secondly, Hazrat Umar Razila Tarano, that was his, his point. He was bringing no, that I point. Want to, I want to clarify it because this is important because I want to move it forward. Okay. The, the 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 prophet peace upon him was lying there in front of them having passed away exactly do you understand yeah so so the resp- so there is the 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 point here is is that this is not it's not the same at all in in terms of the situation another thing was is that this was just a, the the description is clear this was an emotional response from all of the Lord. it was very emotional on seeing the the death of of uh, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, the, the clarification was made for him that uh, the, 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 the Prophets have passed away. General statement referred to within the Quran. Now, the point here is that it's still not a specific statement about uh, Isa Alaihi Wasallam. Now, to cling to that is still not moving us forward from this. Yeah. So I want exactly to help us move forward from this. How are we going exactly. to deal with exactly. there's no specific statement from any of the companions that the East Islam has passed away exactly or, from, brother. or in the Quran? Please, please. Exactly clarify. brother, you prove my point. Hazrat Umar Azila Talanho, even when he was giving the example of Hazrat Isa Islam, he could see the body of the Holy Prophet is there in Medina. So the, he when he even when he, when he was given example of Hazrat Isa Islam, even he was not saying, Well, you guys claim that he is up in the heaven. Okay. Sorry, that doesn't make sense. Re explain that. I didn't understand. Re explain. Yeah. Hazrat Umar, you know, you just said that the, the body of the Holy Prophet was there. My time is uh, still there. Uh, can yeah. you stop my time, please? Yeah, Jazakallah. Now, you said that Hazrat, uh, the Holy Prophet body was there. Now, it's, it's very interesting point. Majority of Muslims nowadays. They claim that Hazrat Isa al-Islam has physically been taken up in the heaven. Yeah. Hazrat Umar Razila Ta'ala Anhu at that time was saying that the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam hasn't died like Hazrat Isa al-Islam. And he will no, come back and he sorry. will do this and he will do one that. Second, one second. No, no, no. Where was the statement from Umar that like... That, that, that he hasn't died like Isa al-Islam hasn't why, died? Why, why was he given example of Hazrat, Hazrat Isa al-Islam? When was he giving the example? He was. In, at the uh, time... Uh, the Brother Imtiaz just there. mentioned two, three times this point. No, 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 no. You're saying that in that time, when uh, Prophet peace be upon him passed away, the Umar was saying that... that uh, Umar ad was saying that the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him has not passed away, like Isa hasn't passed away. Is that what you're saying? He said... I will, I will tell you what he said. Once because again. that's a very... It's a, because... The, because because then you could make the claim that this is a specific point. Yeah. No, no, he, he okay. did. Hazrat, Hazrat so Umar let's, let's, Tala, I'll, I'll I'll to evidence this. So now we're making some headway. So evidence this. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to go back to the reference, sorry. Um, it was here. Yeah. It's time now, please. So give that reference and a brother interesting coming. That's exactly the same book. Al 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 Milal Wal Nahal. Yeah. He says Umar bin Al Khattab stated that whoever says that Muhammad has died, I will kill him with his sword, with this sword of mine. Verily, he had been raised into the skies like Isa Islam was raised into the skies. Now that's my point. Even when, according to this, Hazrat Umar believe was not what you guys telling us because body of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was there in Medina. Okay, so let, let's let's deal with this point because this is very interesting. Uh, 
Brother Imtiaz, please, uh, because this is what uh, I think Brother Dr. Suleiman was trying to say, uh, but actually never yeah. got around to saying it. So uh, let's, uh, yeah. I'll start your time now, inshallah. So, sorry, uh, baby, I was uh, talking something. So, what was the point, Ahimran? <laughs> so, what what uh, Brother Yahya was saying was that uh, in in this uh, Al Al Milal reference, that this reference is specifically talking about um, that the Prophet peace upon him had taken up like Isa was taken up, but the body of Isa, but the Prophet was still available for them to see, and so he's using this as an evidence. Uh, your okay. thoughts, please. Okay. Uh, let me just restart so, the time. Okay. Yeah. No worries. No worries. So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Because Dr. Yahya uh, was asking me uh, to address the Ar Rusul point, so Allah shall I give him some. Uh, I address it already in one way, and that was that I gave him the Makhshari. I said, please, go. And he's the he knows Luga more than any single one of us sitting here, and he did not agree with you. Number one, number two, uh, I uh, Surah number uh, this Surah number is a uh, fifty-six, uh, ninety-six. Surah Al Alak, okay, and ayah number two. Halak al insan min alak. The Allah subhanahu wa taala al insan al alif lam again al rusul al insan is created from alaka. Now I want uh, uh, to tell us was Adam alayhi salam included in this al insan or not? Because al insan al rusul same category. So this was your answer for al rusul. Now, with regard to the point you guys are quoting from al milal. So, brother, the point is this: Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq, as Allahu Taala anhu, is basically giving this, uh, you can say, solace to the Sahaba by quoting this ayah that Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has passed away. Listen carefully, and nobody denies this. Nobody denies this. Our discussion is that in this ayah, in the tafsir of this ayah, Sahaba meant. The Isa alayhi salam has passed. The, I give you a simple logic that you are wrong in this. Number one, if this was the case, how come that Sahaba are narrating that Isa alayhi salam is alive in the heaven and he will come in the later days? It does not make any sense. You need to explain this phenomenon as well. You can't just you know hold down to one point. And by the way, on this one point, I want viewers to listen very carefully. Quran's words and Quran's meaning, both are preserved. We believe this, and I quoted Mirza Ghulam as well. No Mufassir has said that in this ayah, Isa has passed away. It is innovation of Qadianis. Okay, so we, I appreciate that. So, Brother uh, brother Yahya, this is the last two minutes you have, so please clarify this point. No problem. No problem. And, and particularly in mm. reference to the, the statements of the companions about the Prophet peace upon him being raised, and the fact that he will return, because you now you have to now you have to clarify or, or marry these terms together. Please do that. No problem. Jazakallah. Uh, okay, brother, it is very that was very important point that Hazrat Umar Razila when he mentioned Hazrat Isa al Islam, the answer that was that's the second part in the same book which I referred. Hazrat Umar Razila Talano read this very same verse, Mama Muhammad Allah Rasul Kad Khalat Mil Rasul. And with regard to what's the meaning of Qad Khala, he was asked me la last time. In the same words, Allah says, Afa imata aw qatilan kalaptam ala aqabikum. So Allah Ta'ala has given us the meaning of Khala only the, if somebody has died or somebody has got shaheed. So there's only two meanings. That's the answer from last time. Now this time quickly. You brother, again you said Zamakshiri said it. I'm not asking you answer of Zamakshiri brother. Kulu Kolan Sadida, have the courage. Tell public, do you uh, include Hazrat Isa al-Islam in our Rusul or not? This is not the answer. Zamakshiri. Zamakshiri is not here. Okay, then you said Khalak al insanam in Allah. Brother, exceptions, wherever Allah has mentioned in the Holy Quran, exception has been given categorically clear, black and white. In the words in the Holy Quran, give me my, my it is my challenge to you. Give me one Mohkam verse of the Holy Quran where it is written that Hazrat Isa Islam has been taken up bodily to the heaven. One verse, not a single verse. Okay, 
then you said sahaba rizwanullah alaihi ajmain i have given you the the given you the answer sahaba knew that when it comes to the prophecy the name of the of the person who is going to come in the prophecy can be different as compared to the the birth na- name of that person like the holy prophet sallam birth name was muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but in prophecy it was ahmad so we believe in nazul isa sahaba knew nazul isa will happen but they knew that somebody else can come because they had the example of holy prophet sallam in front of them jazakallah your, your times are okay so that's fine so really we appreciate what you've said um the, i think i think the you didn't mention you didn't clarify the 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 verse from uh, surah al insan uh, imran was bhai, mentioned imran bhai, yeah. can you just give me one minute because something important was mentioned is it okay yeah sure sure okay it's your time anyway so bismillahir rahman jazakallah khair so bismillahir rahmanir rahim so dr yaya yeah, maybe you are not understanding the point you're saying my challenge brother no, look calm down don't just use the word challenge just to give the impression you have challenged us brother look at this one i gave you zamakhshri as one example from luga that luga is not the, the lexicon is not supporting you number one number two not a single mufassir has said that this ayah wa ma muhammadun illa rasul not a single one of them says that this ayah means isa al islam has passed away so brother you do not have any support from lexicon have no support of tafsir what else you want number one number two he said that give me one muhkam ayat guess what i yeah, yeah i love you okay in your turn or maybe if you want to give me one muhkam ayat the isa islam went to kashmir okay use the same standard and last point is very important and this is very important in this discussion with regard to event of uh, uh, al milal brothers i want people to think when he went to umar radiyallahu ta'ala anhu said this thing about isa islam going alive in the heaven where did he take this idea from why he said this it gives you brother listen very carefully it's very important point it gives you this understanding that sahaba including in this example sayyidna umar radiyallahu ta'ala anhu they have this belief that isa islam has gone to is uh, to heaven otherwise there is no reason for him to say this number one and number two when he said this thing specifically not a single sahabi corrected him on this specific thing and last point is this i said before people will understand this point yeah yeah doesn't want to sub to him that sahaba when sahaba we have dozens of sahaba not one two dozens they quoting the life and second coming of isa ibn maryam if they would believe that isa has passed away it would not make any sense them to for them to quote all of these ahadith yeah yeah i don't know what else i can say at this one okay just quickly brother <clears throat> with regard to the words you're asking for have i have i got uh, two minutes or do you just no, ask because, because it's sort of the end you got you, you can have okay, a minute okay okay fine one one minute that's fine. Yeah. that's fine because i've answered yeah. most of the question in any way that's fine okay, no problem you're going to bring a, gonna bring a no, verse no, about kashmir eh? okay where they got to where they got to challenge brother uh, brother imtiaz have you forgotten your videos challenge 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 <laughs> yeah okay where they got to you know the our answer you where they got to mufassirin we you know the where they got to holy quran we yeah, don't yeah, give have me the Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The I, the I am. I am coming to that point, brother. I am coming. Now, everyone yeah. is Mohdam, watching, brother. Mohdam. Yes, Mohdam. yes, yes, yes. Of course, everyone is watching now, brother. I asked, asked, brother, brother, in the ask one more come words about the Hizal as Hazrat Hizal as Salam is alive. He didn't give me even one words from the Holy Quran. When he got to Kashmir. that is not part of our aqida that's a research of a, of hazrat mirza sahab we don't have to uh-huh. have a muhkam verse about a research brother our aqida is hazrat isa alaihi salam has passed away i given you muhkam hai wa ma muhammadun illa rasul qad khalat min qabl rasul that's a muhkam hai and you okay, didn't give me one muhkam hai okay. alhamdulillah thank you very much for your time and just before you go i, I think that probably uh, the verse that w- came to mind when you were saying that would be and every one of the people of the book will definitely believe in his death uh, uh, 
every one of the people of the book will definitely believe in him before his death. And on the day of judgment, Jesus will be a witness against them. Not I think uh, brother, I said Mokamaya. I think this is, I think this is I can uh, show you is, Allah has read. No, no problem. No there are problem. Four, I think this is, there are four different this is, translations. Uh, uh, brother, brother Yahya. Brother Yahya, just you can you can, because when we said to you that um, the good one Musa Ghulam Ahmed and the first Khalifa were translating many and not all, uh, then you, would you say that therefore this is now uh, this That's is not a Muhammad? Would you would they're you say that this call. is? I no, said wait a second, call. brother. Wait a second, brother Yahya, because you this is the this is I'm talking about applying standards. If we said to you that Ghulam Reza Ahmed and the first Khalif translated. A uh, uh, Rusul, not as all, but as many, and it's and, and other places, and, and in other places they said many, uh, said yeah, all. Maybe. That this means because there are different translations that this is not a muhkam ayat. Then you would agree then with that? Completely different situation, brother. No, no, it's not. It's the same the because in one place, one second, uh, one second, yeah, yeah. Because on one, yeah, yeah, place, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you define? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because maybe you don't understand muhkam. Yeah, yeah. Can you define for us what is the description of a muhkam? Yeah. No problem. According Please, go to, ahead. According to the Mufassirin, you know you like Mufassirin. They say Mufkam which verse one, is the which one. one you quoting? Which one you quoting? Uh, it is, um, it is, um, um, uh, Tariq, no, no, no. It says, uh, uh, it will come in my, just, you know, sometimes you don't remember. It's, it's by no the problem. way, it's, uh, it's uh, some uh, Brailvi uh, Tafsir. And it says, Mokkam verse is that which has got one meaning. Black okay. and white, one meaning. That's Mokkam verse. Okay. 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 And uh, now, and Dr. Imran, I asked Dr. Yahya that to give me that one Mokkam verse, which says, Isa Islam has gone to Kashmir. And then he quoted that ayah. And he says that Mokkam ayah means that only has one meaning. There's not a single verse in the whole Quran which has this one meaning, Isa went to Kashmir. Brother, what are you doing, Yahya? I, I gave you answer. We don't have to prove that. The point is whether he's dead or alive. The other things, not important, irrelevant. Whether he went to Kashmir, whether the substitution theory, irrelevant. Whether he's dead or alive. And Mama Muhammad and Illa Rasul, Kad Khalat Mil Kabri Rasul, with Sahaba Ijma. I am feeling sorry. I am feeling sorry for Mirza Ghulam that today every Ahmadi, the details, Mirza Ghulam received through special revelation the detail which Allah kept hidden from all the people the, the detail Allah gave him in his, in his ilham today no other cleric is having courage to defend he said it's irrelevant I challenge you to have a Allah. discussion about this I had discussion about the same topic with Shamsuddin he okay. ran away you are not going to interrupt let's have a discussion uh, brother, I was less, less the because this is now just becoming a a little bit of an ego fest. So, if the whole point here is is that um, we've had the discussion, I think it's very clear from my perspective, and uh, you know, the people can decide from what they see. We've spent seven and a half hours almost going through this, and uh, in the end, what we, uh, you know, I often feel that with these conversations, we don't really make much progress. We, I think a lot of things were. There were a lot of, I think, in fact, even especially with uh, Brother Iftikhar, I think we moved forward quite, quite, uh, quite well on some topics. Um, but actually, this is the same uh, things that we see hashed over and over again, and and it doesn't. None of them really establish for me uh, the veracity of Ahmadiyya. But we can have we can have further discussions, I'm sure, and we can take these things. Uh -huh. Maybe I think maybe what we can do is narrow down the the range of the topic to maybe even a subtopic because i think that's the only way to move forward and we can sort of narrow it to that but what the other thing i would request is just come to these discussions with you know uh, good and clear intentions i know there is a lot of this debate going on now between the ahmadi and the and the muslims particularly online but don't e e people can often say, even i may often say something and misspeak or something like that we have to understand if you want to understand what somebody meant if we think they said something incorrect the best thing to do is clarify with them rather than using that as a yeah. something to be it will, it will change the nature of the discussion but dr i appreciate your time thank you very just much just one coming. small thing brother brother and Tiaz, you know the it wouldn't be better if if you when you you should also come to our stream you remember you said you will you will be coming to our stream we will have discussed about that what happened to that discussion Remember, you said next Dr. time yeah, we will yeah, talk about yeah, this. Yeah, Dr. Yahya, yeah, you know, look, because you asked me a question, I'll be very honest with you that, for example, uh, 
Alhamdulillah, brother, for this one stream, which I do almost for last three months, every Saturday, Alhamdulillah, it requires around 30 to 40 hours of homework for me. Brother, you can understand, Alhamdulillah, I'm no, a father. I, understand that. I, understand. I have family. I have full-time work, Alhamdulillah. It's not my job. I, I have full-time work. <laughs> On the top of that, brother, it becomes very challenging for me to speak. But inshallah, brother, one day I will come, definitely. Then one thing, why don't we, we come here, but you know, it's a message we want to spread. Allow us to just without any cutting, any editing, like I can upload my call on my channel. Allow us please, because the message is spread. No problem. Dr. Yaya, here's my invitation to you, brother, because obviously you are in contact with your high ups. My request to you is get me the permission to use the videos of official MTA because they are taking a lot of videos which do not make any sense. If you give me, do me this favor, ask MTA to allow me to respond to their videos. Wait, wait, wait. Allow me to respond to their videos by playing them on my channel. Inshallah, brother, I will give you permission to use my videos as well. No, but brother, MTA is different. We are talking about here, like MTA you talk about my channel. I give you permission about my channel. Okay. Give you this, is official, this is so this is brother, I want to you know yeah. my brother I, I want you you know why brother I'm not why? official I, have, I just come because, yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, I come here yeah, yeah. I, look, 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 yeah, yeah. look I have no interest I have no interest to refute Dr. Yahya or to refute Razi and then they end up saying it was my personal position I have no interest in that I no, am here to, to refute Ahmadiyya on, really. on our challenge is your message will spread brother I want to spread the message, no doubt about that, but I no, want no. to refute. Look, look, if, okay, no problem. If you or Razi, if you make a disclaimer, because I can tell you without mentioning the name, one very prominent uh, Ahmadi uh, cl uh, cleric, okay. I had a discussion with him on one topic on Telegram, like, you know, a private discussion. Yeah. I asked him that, okay, after three hours of back and forth, finally, he gave me one and then he said to me, this is my personal understanding. I'm not representing Jamaat. That's waste yeah. of my time, brother. That's yeah. waste of my time. No, no, I'm, I'm not saying that, brother. Look, why don't we allow each other to okay, upload maybe, maybe, videos? Uh, brother, Dr. Imtiaz, maybe, maybe I can try and help with this. Because, uh, sorry, uh, Dr. Yahya, the, the problem here is, is that maybe this discussion isn't something for here. Because this is a stream now, seven and a half hours, and this is not time to have this this, this particular point. There are there are things that uh, uh, well, the MTRs would like to do with uh, Ahmadiyya claims from an official level. And there are things that you would like to do as well, uh, taking these and put them, maybe promoting your channel, put them on your channel. Now, this can be done in a mutual way, and this is can be discussed offline. And please, by all means, contact uh, uh, brother. Shall, shall I write my number here, brother? Because just, brother, just, I'm going to write my number here. We put, we put uh, Doctor Yahya, please don't. Uh, Private, private, private. Yeah. So you can you can put the you can email MTR. It's probably the safest way of doing it because there are people in the back chat. We don't know who they may be, and we don't want your personal details okay, going to fine. anybody else. And then I'm what they can do is they can have a discussion I'm with you about what to allow this. Yeah. But thank you very much for coming. We appreciate your time. Okay, you take thank you very much. Okay, alhamdulillah. Uh, Imran Bhai, uh, okay. can I make one request, Imran Bhai? Yes, please. Yes. Please. With all honesty. I, I'm sure that same is your case. Now I am pretty much exhausted, brother. So I would say, inshallah, if any Ahmadi is left, please accept our, we are human beings as well, brother. And we yeah. promise you that next time you will be the first one to join. Wallah, we do not have more, you know, you can say energy even to speak. You know, I have not done my breakfast and it is two o'clock. It is two o'clock PM. I have yeah. not even done my breakfast, brother. So my request, Alhamdulillah, I'm happy. I'm happy. But I'm a human being as well. I have no energy left to talk more. And everyone knows that I am already having some problem with my throat as well. So my request is, Brother Ahmadi, if anybody is there, Wallahi, it is not a tactic, no nothing. Allah knows our niya. Please, yes, yes. come next time, inshallah, I mean, we'll entertain you. I mean, seven and a half hours is uh, almost like a full day uh, of work anyway. So, Hamda, so I think that Jazakallah uh, um, khair, Brother Imtiaz, for, for your, all of your efforts and to, to Brother Adnan for his uh, really very, very sort of powerful points that he put forward. And for all the interlocutors, I think it was very useful to have those discussions. I think we made uh, a lot of headway and a lot of things. I think in the end, what it comes down to is um, the, 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 we need to clarify 
why the companions have the understanding that um, the, the Isa al-Islam is in the heavens and will return, inshallah. And I think that uh, also clarify uh, some of the the understandings from uh, the, the, the Quran about uh, Isa being the sign of the end times and the people believing in him. And really there was very useful discussions on uh, some very important points. And I think for me what stood out most was Although this was a difficult part of the consult, uh, of the uh, of the discussion, was actually this whole concept of Glory Muhammad directly c contradicting Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala from the Quran when it comes to how Isa Alayhi Salam received his uh, revelation and was as taught the Torah and the Injil. I think that was for me quite profound, and the, just a lack of recognition of that point. Um, you know, yeah, may, may Allah guide uh, everyone closer to uh, the truth, Inshallah. I mean, and Brother Mtiaz, any final words, please? Uh, Dr. Imran, first of all, I want to thank you. I want to thank Brother Fazil, who was, mashallah, uh, you know, admin in the chat. I, I want to thank Brother Adnan. I want to thank any brother who was helping and being part of this high in any way, shape or form. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers, reward all of you, inshallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put this for us on our scale of hasanat on Yomul Qiyamah, right. inshallah. Brothers, uh, the take, uh, if I want to say just three things, inshallah. That's what I want to say. Now, <coughs> the Ahmadis, they were saying that why we are not coming on the topic, why we're we going off topic. This was the topic. I give you example. The reason I opened up discussion of mu'jizat, miracles. Why? <coughs> I wanted to uh, expose that Ahmadiyya religion, they do not believe in the supernatural. As we Muslims believe. And at the end of the day, <coughs> Isa is Salam's personality, he is born without any human father. The miracle he was performing, the way he was taken to heaven, the way he will descend, all of these are things of miraculous nature. They cannot be explained with natural explanation. So I wanted to expose them on this one that they have problem in their thinking in their mind in, in the frame of mind <clears throat> they do not accept they want to give explanation by calling it metaphorical or whatever <clears throat> so number one <clears throat> number two i wanted to highlight this that nobody can deny this now mirza ghulam's narrative is rooted in the bible in the new testament the, the, the passion narrative so the reason we did all of the discussion with uh, razi to expose that biblical narrative is really <coughs> that goes against the quran we can't accept this one <coughs> so they have problem in the sources they are quoting and i asked them clearly if mirza ghulam was not quoting bible what else he was quoting obviously quran does not have passion narrative and as dr imran mentioned the the, the historians they took narrative from the from the gospels so if we have proven that this source of information has no credibility, or it is only credible with two conditions. Number one, it must not go against the Quran. That's one, that's the one main thing. And in this case, Isa is not being put on the cross. It went against the Quran. So we cannot accept. And the second condition is, <clears throat> so one is that it must not go against the Quran. Number two, it must be uh, additional support to the Quranic narrative and not to destroy Quran narrative. For example, in the case of Isa uh, sorry, in the case of uh, Maryam Salamun Alaiha, Quranic narrative has Zakaria and biblical narrative has use of the carpenter. So by putting Sayyida Maryam with somebody, Yusuf, when she was pregnant, that we have destroyed Quranic claim. So this was the reason of all of that discussion. People can see that Ahmadiyya sources are not credible. How can we trust their narrative? And then the point, next point was <clears throat> that no, all of them are saying that, look, Quran is with us. Guess what? Not a single eye of the Quran is with them. Because Quran means two things, words and interpretation. You can't separate both of them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has preserved the Quranic text. Allah has preserved the Quranic understanding as well. We have got the both. And when we take Quran from this holistic perspective, none of their things can be proved. They are quoting Quran. 
but they are giving their own interpretation which has no basis in our Quranic interpretation history of 14th centuries. This is called treachery. You are traitors. You are traitors. You are not saying something new. You are saying something opposite to what we have learned from our sources. We can't allow you to do this. And last the point is this. Uh, I have said this in private to one very prominent Ahmadi cleric, and I'm saying it here again. Not a single prominent Muslim scholar, not a single, they quote Ibn Abbas, Bukhari, they are lying to you, brothers and sisters. They are lying to you. Not a single one of them has the position which Ahmadiyya Jamaat has. Not a single ayah has an interpretation which they quote. So what they do is they take Mirza Islam as the final authority and that is something very important for you to understand. They take Mirza Ghulam as final authority. After that, they will go and research whatever they can find to support his position. A example will be Dr. Yahya on the topic of Allah says, I have taught or I will teach Isa al -Islam, the, the Torah. And Mirza Ghulam has said he is a Jewish scholar. Now, instead of going with the Quran, you see, he was trying to quote something from Ibn Kasir. And I am 100% sure Ibn Kasir does not agree with them. So I want people to understand they're dropping the name of the book, scholars, etc. I want you to remember the example of Razi. He quoted Abdullah ibn Masood. I said, no problem. Let's make him the judge. And then he backed off. He withdrew. So brothers, understand this point. It's all a name dropping game. It's all about deception. And this was the purpose of me going on this approach to deal with them. Why? Because they have a transcript to discuss this topic. And because this thing was not according to their transcript, that's why they had a very difficult time. And everyone, they were saying, it's irrelevant. Please imagine, anybody can ask me for the reference. It is my obligation to give you the reference. These details, which they are calling irrelevant, Mirza Ghulam said that Allah kept these details hidden from all people. He said that even Isa al-Islam was maybe not knowing this position. Sahaba did not know this. Allah ex exclusively kept this knowledge hidden and gave it to Mirza Ghulam. And now they are saying it's irrelevant. So special knowledge, which Mirza claiming to be heavy for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they call it irrelevant. How pathetic was that? So people, please understand this tactic and deception. If you are able to navigate your path from the deception and the tactics, it will not take more than 10 minutes for any person who wants to investigate. Not more than 10 minutes that Mirza Ghulam was a lawyer. Zakimullah khair. So just to, just to say final words. So I know that this, these streams can be uh, uh, quite difficult conversations and they can come across quite antagonistic nothing ever personal is meant towards anyone who has come on we appreciate their time and this is really done from a place of trying to find the truth and we are you know we are respectful to the the Ahmadiyya community we really want them to come to uh, Islam this is what we hope for them so uh, please feel free to engage and ask questions uh, in the comments and uh, please come on to any further stream so we can discuss we'd like to get more different uh, Guardian is this we seem to get the same group of people repeatedly and it, I, don't, I don't know if there's a prohibition I don't know if there's any restrictions but this shouldn't be the case you should be allowed to with a with good conscious discuss your beliefs and so please come on and, and discuss with us and just finally that anything good is from Allah and anything many mistakes or errors are from ourselves may Allah forgive our shortcomings and uh, make dua for the ummah there's lots of people suffering around the world especially the people of Palestine at the moment you know may Allah protect them and preserve them inshallah <laughs> I mean, okay. Imran, can we please, yes, inshallah, yes. can you can we please, Imran, by apologize from the Muslim viewers that we were not able to take them because of the time? Yes, please. So anyone we haven't taken, so, whether it's from the Muslim yeah. brothers or from the the Ahmadiyya community, who are in the back chat, we apologize, and especially we couldn't invite any any of you on. But as you can appreciate, seven hours and 34, 36 minutes almost we've been on the stream. It's uh, it's past three o'clock in the morning here. It's uh, past. Uh, uh, it's, uh, two o'clock in the afternoon for Brother Imtiaz, and he's been up uh, since Fajr time. So, you know, may Allah reward, reward uh, him for uh, all of his uh, efforts, inshallah. And uh, 
please, uh, for for now, we won't take any more people, but uh, next time we'll try and endeavor to get you on. If you come on and let us know that you were waiting previously, then we will we'll prioritize you, inshallah. And with that, uh, I'd like to give you our salams. as alaikum alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaykum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakum Allah khair, dear brothers.